You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this feeling that is broken to me. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government the hell out of the business of speech. And yours has been wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Civilization is weird. That's tricky. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say Try to free your mind. It is this feeling that is broken to me. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. And yours has been wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this feeling that is broken to me. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. And yours has been wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this feeling that is broken to me. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. And yours has been wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. 
You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this feeling that is perfect. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. And yours has been wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this feeling. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. And yours has been wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through. that is tuned in right now we are we are going live in the next couple of minutes everyone that's tuned in on the true perspective on spotify apple iheart radio youtube rumble we are in the studio today with will turbot fake mike real news is here shout out to everybody on the fake mike real news channel uh 
make sh- and, and follow those links. Come to the links if you want to watch the live. The live is going up. The live is already up, but but uh, the the we're gonna go. We're gonna officially start the discussion in the next couple of minutes. Uh, we got to take some pee breaks and all that stuff. So <laughs> uh, stay tuned with us. Bear with us. Uh, and then make sure you like, share, subscribe this live on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. And what's that? Oh, you could donate to Cash App, uh, True Norseman Crafts, Cash App, TRU Norseman Crafts. That's the uh, that's the Norseman Crafts business, and uh, all donations go there. Anything helps. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be going live. Like I said, in the next couple of minutes, and I'm just going to keep the intro on. Everyone that's tuned in, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. On the Fake Mike Real News side, I appreciate and love y'all too. Um, and, and I'm thankful for Will, you know, blasting me on his live right now. That's, that's what's up. So make sure you go to uh, The True Perspective on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble. And you can also like, share, subscribe on Rumble and, and Spotify. I tell everyone to go there because uh, cause, uh, YouTube tends to be very, um, you know, they, 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 they shadow ban the hell out of me. And Facebook currently seems to be doing that. Uh, but, yeah, um, throwing the intro back on, just letting y'all know that we are here. We are we are live. Uh, we'll be back with y'all in the next couple of minutes. So stay tuned with us. Thank you. Once again. The True Perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. The TRU Perspective, Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, Rumble. I love y'all. Thank you. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You good? You take the blue pill. Appreciate y'all. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this faith that has brought you to me. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government the hell out of the business of speech. Many of us have been brought to the brink. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. The world is changing every day. Civilization is weird. Life's coming. And the tricky can be stopped. And the door right here. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit check, hole check, goes. Mike check, Mike check, This is a struggle for the survival. All right, everybody. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this all will be the our truth. last chance to say. Try to free your mind. Try is this mind. Is to At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government the hell out of the business of speech. Many of us have been brought to the brink. I can only show you the door. Wake it up. You're the one that has to walk through it. The world is changing every day. Civilization is weird. Life is coming. And the tricky can be stopped. And the door right here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the True Perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and YouTube and Rumble. You're with your host once again, True, uh, and we are in the studio. We are in the studio live. Let's not do that on air. Um, <laughs> we are in the studio live with Will Turbot of Fake Mike Real News. Uh, just give me a mic check over there. One two one yeah, two. Oh yeah. Uh, we are today. I'm excited about this one. We have for anyone that's been following the show for a while. Will, good friend of mine, he's always he's he's been on a, uh, at least three times, um, but we go back and forth. We 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 go back and forth on and offline about numerous conversations and world updates and all this stuff. And uh, whether it be about religion or Alex Jones, David Icke, whether it be about transhumanism, transhumanism or transgenderism, uh, 
all kinds of topics me me and will go go back and forth on uh make sure you follow also fake mike real news it's still fa- fake mike real news.com right mm-hmm. fake mike real news.com he has a facebook page i believe he has a facebook group uh he's all, also on instagram fake mike real news youtube fake mike real news fake mike real news everything yep uh look him up this guy is probably one of the smartest that that i know out here sure. doing you know he he's a political activist i would i would call him a political activist also a journalist he he he's confronted politicians uh such as Kamala Harris Joe Biden uh uh many many numerous Rhode Island uh politicians out here calling him out on Epstein uh stuff and all and and the guy's amazing he he he's got balls of steel as far as well, he's got ball of steel just just approaching these people, and 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 uh, and also he does. You know, I don't know if you're if you're still doing this. I know that we've talked about it before, yeah. but he has he has done First Amendment audits as well, uh, and it's 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 an amazing pleasure to always have him, and it's an amazing pleasure to to be friends with Will, and because I because you yeah, know me and, and True him, we be, we go back for a long time. I met True because he was already doing his own thing and. <laughs> I put a call out once I woke up to people to come together that were like-minded. We don't have to agree on everything, but we came together on on different things. And we were like, oh, what's going on in the world? And uh, what can we possibly do about it? Mm-hmm. And so we had discussions. We shared knowledge. And then we, we, we made it practical. We got into the real world. We did, uh, we did food drives. We did you know, clothing drives, we did park cleanups, city cleanups, we we helped out people. We did a whole bunch of stuff and I'm really proud of that. And then, you know, as every as you know, because you've done a lot a ton of projects, mm-hmm. projects usually start, there'll be a lot of people get excited, and then it'll fizzle out to a core group of people, right? And you know, projects are only for you know, not all, everything is uh nothing is infinite. You know, right. things are always finite. So but through that, you and a few other people um, I stayed close with. And through the craziness of the years, like you said, we've been talking at, uh, here and also consistently behind the scenes because from when we first met each other, things were things were already crazy as it is. Right. But since then till now, it's, it's a whole new ball game. We're, if we weren't already in the New World Order before, we are most assuredly balls deep in the new world order right now so yeah i mean this is and and it's a it's a pleasure to be here with you because uh my favorite thing to do is to uh is to talk shit Mm -hmm. um not really talk shit but i i do think that like like literally it's it's something that we can't get away from this this whole thing uh the federal reserve banking system the cia all the things going on in the world and anytime i get an opportunity to uh to try and, and anybody that doesn't know what I am about at Fake Mike Real News, the mission statement is our goal at Fake Mike Real News is to create a more altruistic world through nonviolence in the Socratic method. We don't all we try our best to adhere to it. Sometimes we goof off and get a little bit silly here and there, but but mm. that's the goal. That's what I'm standing for. We're trying to be nonviolent and we're trying to uh, trying to find remedies for uh, all these malefactors mm. effing up society. Right, right. Can you uh, and also real quick, I just want to shout outs to all of your your uh, followers. They just they just came into the to the YouTube part, and I, I want to appreciate y'all for I want to appreciate y'all for uh, coming out, guys. If you're here from Fake Mike Real News, I share the video, yep. subscribe, leave a comment. Not only on this video, but another comment, so it helps the algorithm. Share, share, share. This guy's my boy, my boy, my boy, my brother, man. Mm. He's he's a warrior, and like I said before. He's done stuff in the real world. He's he's done things here, uh, and he's also a beast rapper, bro. Fucking, he's 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 out here with like like in in nowadays everybody's a rapper, right? Everybody's a rapper. Yo, check out my yo, check out my beats too, yeah. bro. But this guy actually rap with real rappers. Mm-hmm. And they're not he, he we're not talking about like the cha cha slide rap. I'm talking about real rappers like Deb Prez, Rosca. So this guy's legit. You're gonna want to hear what he has to say. And you know what? He always has guests on 
that are pretty dope. And they're going to make you think no matter what. You may not, and there's nobody that I 100% agree with, mm -hmm. but even the people I disagree with, I end up learning stuff from. So, yeah, shout outs to you and everything that you're doing and continuing to do it for all these years because there's a lot of people that didn't do that and they faded out. And, uh, like I said earlier, your shirt looks fresh as heck. I appreciate that. Looking fresh. Today. I love the glasses, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm on my. I'm, that's a. That's and a, the leather jacket, the Negan leather it's, jacket. It's, it's exactly. It's a vegan leather jacket. <laughs> no, I said you know Negan from Walking Dead. Oh, but, okay. Uh, is I, it, it's is vegan. It, is it vegan also? It's vegan, oh, yeah. Because I, I ain't killing no cows for this, man. This is this is <laughs> vegan, bro. Vegan um, friendly here. I wanted I wanted to add that on that too, since we're you know we're going back and forth and, and breaking bread here. Is that. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the stuff that uh, I had dove into was because of you back when we were having all those meetings at your house and all that stuff. When we were, you know, the, the whole Open Minds Alliance. Well, uh, we were all just coming together, sharing what because we, we were all people that have found out that the shit wasn't like we told us. Yeah. And we were just coming together for the first time. Yeah, I was sharing stuff with you, of course, but you were right. sharing. Everyone was sharing right, stuff right. with we everybody. Were, yeah, right. You know what we I'm saying? Because bread it's like with each other. Yeah. Is that the wind? No, no. They, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of people moving it's, in and out of oh, this building yeah, yeah. here. Oh, especially at the end of the month. Yeah, 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 yeah. But luckily, this is a very structurally sound building. I'm not going to say where we are, but it's definitely yeah. Tartarian. <laughs> I, I, I yeah, want to talk I, about Tartarian I, later, yeah, we, too. Yeah, we could talk about that. Um, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm kind of saying it jokingly, but I got I, as everything, I have my own opinion on, yeah. on everything. You know? Yeah. Um, so you and I, we go back and forth a lot, uh, like... On, online or, or on Instagram or you call me or I call you or you send me a voice message on on hey what do you think about this or we hey go. did you hear about this and 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 you send me a lot of stuff all the time and we go back and forth and do this and which I love because like it keeps me it keeps me on things that I may be missing and I think that I think it also uh it 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 it's like break it's like we break bread like how how we conversate and discuss things we're analyzing what's going on in the world in front of us yeah, you know 100% and and, and the good thing about this too, because Will, we're good friends, so it's like we can disagree with each other and not like be at each other's throats, right? And the thing about you is, first of all, you you said behind the scenes that oh, you yeah, have a couple feelings. <coughs> pardon me about a couple things. Excuse me. Yep, you got it. Um, yeah, this. this so yeah, a couple <laughs> of those things was like the whole Alex Jones and <coughs> David Icke thing. You good? Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, so the, the David Ike thing is that you put me on to because I've always I've always known about David Ike, but I didn't know you put me on to when he tweeted out about so, yeah. Alex Jones. Um, um, let's talk about that tweet and we yeah. can kind of delve into it. But first and foremost, here <clears throat> when me, at least me, I can probably speak for true, but I don't want to necessarily speak for true. But when I got into this, <clears throat> I found out about not only David Ike, Alex Jones. Bill Cooper, Fritz Springmeier, Doc Markey, Jordan Maxwell. Mm. Those are the people I found out Big about. Big names right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And over the years, I mean, I God, God damn it, I can't believe I've been lucky enough to say <clears throat> I, I did a radio show with Doc Markey. Mm -hmm. I work with uh, Jordan Maxwell heavily, and I work with Fritz Springmeier to this very day heavily. Mm -hmm. um, I still have yet, I, I've confronted Alex Jones twice, mm -hmm. once in person, once on a show. And then David Icke. Now, all these people... You confronted both of them? No. The only person I've yet to talk to is David Icke. David Icke, okay. And Bill Cooper's obviously passed, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, he, he's passed away um, early 90s, late 90s. I, I want to say off the top, hopefully someone can put it in the comments, it was like 1999 or 2001. I think it was 2001 he died or yeah. but right around there. And he was killed by police on his own property. Yeah, FBI showed up at his house or something like that. Yeah, I and believe it was police. I forget the the whole story, but yeah. And so and there's audio of that actually too. I there. didn't know Some, that. Somewhere there, somewhere around there, there's audio of of that last few last moments. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Holy I should shit. I should try and look that up again because I don't know if I downloaded it. At, I'm not saying like I don't want to have that because it's you know it's it's gross, but. At the same time, it's like those are the last moments of a man that was actually exposing a lot of I things. I mean, that's, that's amazing. I would love to check that out. I'm but the reason sure I'm bringing up these audio. names is they're essential to, <clears throat> at least they were back in the day. It's obviously a different game now. But when you woke up back in the day, <clears throat> those were uh, some of the big names. You find other information made by random people, mm. but some, those are some of the bigger names. And now, as I said beforehand, I've said it a million times. I shouldn't have to say it, but I'm always going to say it. All these people... Anybody, if I bring their name up or I say a quote about them, mm -hmm. doesn't mean I agree with everything that they say. 
Um, personally, when Alex Jones first started, I was like, oh, you know what? He's kind of rough around the edges, yeah. but he's saying some good things. Now, at best, Alex Jones is a terrible sellout. At worst, he's a complete tool of them. Now, there, then you go to David Icke. David Icke's got some things where he says <clears throat> reptilians run the shit. Now, mm-hmm. that, that may be possible, mm-hmm. but I don't know that. So I'm not going to say that. You know what I'm saying? I I only go with what I can prove 100%. And that's when we're going to get into Christianity, too, mm-hmm. and all these other things in history. You, there's very little things, and that's why the Socratic method is in the can mission you, statement. Can, can you go over the Socratic method for anyone yeah. out there that yeah, doesn't so know? Because sometimes I struggle with the... Yeah. So Socratic method, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you what it is, <clears> and I'm going to give you an example, right? I'm going mm-hmm. to role play myself. This is going to be kinky, guys. Just share the video, okay? <laughs> I'm going to, I'll, I'll keep at least my pants on. I'll promise that. So the Socratic <laughs> method is this. It's a series of questioning aimed at finding out the truth. And throughout all the years of, of human history, yep. the Socratic method is the best way of coming at least coming towards truth that you can get and so i'll give you a couple examples <clears throat> i'm just gonna i, I won't go in depth but we'll, we will do it maybe when it comes to christianity <clears throat> um i'm a bernie su- hey will i'm a bernie sanders supporter oh really tell me why you support bernie sanders well i believe um well bernie sanders says he's about this and that and i saw on the news that bernie sanders is oh really um why do you believe what bernie sanders says why do you believe what's on the news right <clears throat> oh i'm a i'm a christian oh okay really tell me why do you um i believe in christ okay um what evidence do you, why do you believe in christ well i believe that christ was the son of god and he was put here okay what evidence do you have to support that well uh there's the bible um and then there's some quotes and books outside the bible that refer to jesus okay um and why do you believe those well, because scholars have taken the information and they believe that that information can be corroborated with other information. Okay, interesting. Why do you so on and so forth? And you just keep asking questions and you can apply it to anything. Oh, I, why do you, I, hey, I believe that the uh, humans went to the moon in 1969. Oh, why do you believe that humans went to the moon in 1969? <clears throat> well, NASA told me, science told me, and then there's video of it. Okay, why do you believe the video? Well, the video, why would they say anything about the video? Okay, well, do you know that NASA was <clears throat> uh, created by a bunch of Nazis, occultists, and Freemasons? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I may or may not have known that. Why would you trust people that are Nazis? You know what I'm saying? Why would, is it your policy to trust not? And so you just get, get questioning, questioning, questioning. Uh, and it's also very important, too, because... <clears throat> but what, does, but, let me say this one point, because sure. I think this is very important. Sure. Uh, this... And if you please don't forget whatever you're going to say, yeah, yeah. but it's very important to the Socratic method because for years I was just trying to tell motherfucking shit, mm-hmm. right? And this corresponds to cults. I, I study cults in my free time. And it's my personal belief that whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, a Christian, a Muslim, if you prescribe to any belief system unflinchingly, you are in a cult. And I've seen this one dude, and he's been on a, he's, I believe he's an author, he's a researcher, and he's helped get people out of cults before. And I've seen him on several documentaries about di- uh, different cults. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know your name, homeboy. I'm going to find you and, and shout you out. But <clears throat> he said the, the best way to get people out of cults, because people imagine you're Scientology, right? You're mm-hmm. in Scientology. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're crazy. You can't believe that's, that's, you're not getting anywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, 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 that, because that person thinks you're a brainwashed outside person and you can't trust anything you say questioning is asking questions love Mm -hmm. love is the the first thing but asking questions Mm -hmm. because if i'm telling you hey you're you hey uh the fucking the the earth is flat the earth is round what i'm oh the republicans are right the republicans are right i'm just telling you something Mm -hmm. right right but when i'm asking you a question that i'm just telling you something and you can get defensive your ego can come in but i ask you a question you have to think for yourself and find out why do i believe this Mm -hmm. Show me. Um, and, and the the thing I'll say to that, and that's how we do program everybody out of all these cults, Democrat, Republican, Christian, whatever. <clears throat> and Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens said, uh, I'm going to butcher this quote, but he basically says, most 
people's opinions are other people's opinions. They come at second hand without any any glance and are not worth the brass farthing meaning people's opinions are just regurgitated what they heard on and david ike has a, a great point on this and i'll shut shut the heck up after this but david ike calls everybody repeaters uh-huh. right if you if you're a journalist you're not a journalist you're not looking into the official story you're just repeating what the government told you history teachers are repeating what they told everybody's just repeating things and so in order the, the reason socratic method is so important is because instead of just talking at people, and it took me a while to realize this, you have to get people to question their own assumptions because that's mm. the only way you're going to wake somebody up. Sure. Unless you get somebody. Well, not the sure. only way, but it's the, the best way in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully you remembered your, your point. Yeah. I'm, because I'm, I got another two hours and a, <laughs> a musical to bust into. Okay. The true perspective. Okay. <laughs> Break How about my that? real news. We're going to turn this Sorry. into a musical, guys, if we get a thousand likes. I don't have a singing voice at all. Um. No, so what I was going to say in the beginning when you had mentioned the, you know, the Nazis being a part of the uh, NASA program, does that automatically say that the NASA program is complete farce, fraud, no. bullshit? Just no. because of the, just because of the, like, for, for, instance, for instance, if, if we say Caesar, if we say Caesar, right, is in control of that, of that portion of history during Rome, right? Yeah. If we say, is it just because that Caesar's in power that that makes the, the history of, uh, like like if the Roman Empire is in control of that time, does that mean that all of Christianity and all of, you know, Jewish history is all could be is all could be it could be, yeah. but and is it but does, but does that mean that it's completely non-existent? That is completely Napoleon written? Bonaparte says that history is a is a and I'm gonna I'm fucking up all these quotes. So guys in the chat, get the actual quotes in there, share the video, like, subscribe. I'll try and pay attention. I'll try and pay attention as much to the uh, to the chat as possible. I I, I I try my best. I don't have a Jamie on board or anything like that. Tommy, like, get <laughs> your butt in here. You're the best moderator in the world. Tommy V. To- if you see Tommy V in your chat anywhere in YouTube or anywhere, Tommy V. Mod him up. He's the best moderator of all time. Napoleon Bonaparte said history is a set of lies agreed upon by the winners. And so let, let's talk about history, right? Okay. Let's talk about that, right? Yeah. Can we throw out? Should we throw that out? Okay, yeah, I mean, first of all, and this is a great example of the Socratic method, history in general. Okay, so we got a piece of paper right here, this yeah. piece of paper. This piece of paper is a writing from Julius Caesar. Okay. How do I know that's a piece of paper from Julius Caesar? You'd, you'd be able to trace back what, where it came from, witnesses, uh, witness accounts. Witness accounts. You could do it by... One Arti- of, there's there's, there's artifacts. There's, 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 they would carbon date it is one of the things they would well, do. What is carbon dating, though? Radiocarbon dating, and it, it only works on things that have, and correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, chat. I'm just a dude that carries around a whisk. So keep in mind, everything I say, fact check it, right? Yeah. Did um, you bring that with you? No, you didn't. I think I left it in my car, and I actually walked here today because I knew I was going to have a couple couple drinky drinks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, cheers, by the way. Cheers. Cheers. Skull. Brother. Skull, brother. I'm about to skull fuck these people with knowledge. Um, um so yeah, but all right, so let's let's talk about that because you can say that a an ancient text or an ancient scripture that comes from, you know, three thousand BC. And can you immediately just write it off as being complete bullshit because we don't have living witnesses? You don't write I anything d- off as being bullshit, but you take it for what it is. Okay. Because at the end of the day, the people. Okay, so the people that run the world now. Mm-hmm. Would you agree or disagree that the people that run the let's just take it for the United States. Mm-hmm. Agree or disagree that the United States has been caught and is still doing child trafficking. Hundred percent. Would you agree or disagree that the U.S. has lied about history? Yes. Would you agree or disagree that the U.S. is is doing a whole bunch of fucked up shit right now and lying to us and has lied to us in the past? Of course. <clears throat> okay, so... The government, yes. Yes, the government. Mm-hmm. And throughout history, it's either been the government mm-hmm. or the kings or the church mm-hmm. that have run things. And if you look at all governments, I defy anybody to find me one government mm-hmm. that has never told a lie. I f- defy any... Anybody to find any church that has never told a lie. Mm -hmm. I defy, and so on and so on and so forth, right? So king, so on and so forth. So 
you're taking the word. First of all, Napoleon said history is a set of lies agreed upon by the winners. And you're taking the word, whether it's a church, whether it's Julius Caesar, whoever, whether it's Ben Franklin, you're taking the word of somebody. And again, every single person in the world has a bias. They can say they don't, but every single person has a bias. My bias is, my bias, I have a, I have a whole bunch of bias. My bias is trying to create a more altruistic world through nonviolence and the Socratic method. That's mm -hmm. my bias. If you go to CNN, their bias is to tell you whatever the corporate sponsor or Fox News or whatever, <laughs> that everyone has a right wing or a left wing. Mine's not left or right wing. Mm -hmm. Mine's not controlled by, any, by anybody but me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're depending on the word of all these people, and all these people have lied. Right. And they they're and on top of that, when you're taking the Bible, the word of the church, you have the Holy Roman Empire. And Well, the, you can't even you can't even begin from there. You have to begin from also Genesis. Let's so let's begin with Genesis, right? <coughs> and And mind you, you have to take into, into account there's there's, there's okay, roughly so no, a six. You, you no, know, you have to even take it you have to take it even a step further. Who wrote the let's let's start with the Bible, right? Uh huh. Because because to me, and I, I'm just going to sound rude to people in the chat here, but if Your you're... Your camera's right here, by the way. Sorry. I'm, I'm pointing at the, the computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Remember Zoolander? They're in the computer? They're in the computer. They're in the computer. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are in the computer, I'm going to keep talking to the side of it's the monitor. Good. It's all good. I just, I don't know if you wanted to be dead on with them. Yeah, I'm going to try to be nice. It's about love, too. But, so here's the thing. <clears throat> Start with Genesis. Who wrote, the, for, who wrote that Bible? Supposedly, it's the book of Moses. Moses. Who was mm -hmm. Moses. Moses is a prophet. Why do why do we why do we attribute that book to Moses? What evidence do we have to attribute that book to Moses? We don't. As a matter of fact, even mainstream Christian and Jewish people will say eh, they attribute it to Moses, mm -hmm. but they're just attributing it. They have, there's no evidence whatsoever that Moses wrote it. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that he did write those books. Mm -hmm. Who was Moses? He was a prophet. Okay. What evidence do we have? So we have allegedly. It, several thousand years from then to now, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and obviously for a long time it was an oral tradition before it was written down. Well, it began, yeah, and it began it's as an oral tradition. It's song, yeah, yep. And then so a after a while it gets written down. Mm -hmm. But then from from when it gets written down, mm -hmm. and let's just say for the sake of argument, which I do not believe it is, but for the sake of argument, it is the word of God, the actual omnipotent true God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> to hear now, present day, where we are right now, it's changed hands a bunch of times. It's been rewritten a bunch of times. They had the Council of N Nicaea a bunch of times. And one po question I always pose to Christians is, <clears throat> you guys believe that... Uh, I always ask them first. I've, n I've yet to get a no. There are people I'm sure that will say no. Mm -hmm. But according to their the majority of Christian theology, and I've yet to get a no on this, they believe that Satan has dominion over the earth. Mm -hmm. And they say that Satan is a clever and wise being. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> Satan's going to be more clever than me, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm clever enough to know the first motherfucking thing I'm doing, if I have dominion over the earth, is changing that Bible so they worship Satan instead of God. That's mm -hmm. the first thing I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change that bitch. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> even if it was the word of God, which I do not believe it was, then... Let me... Sure. Let me let me interject here. I don't know what to drink next. There, there is too many cool there drinks. is definitely the presence of, of of the adversary within the Bible for sure. There's there's the presence of Satan in the Bible. They for mention sure. God. And, and uh, they mention Satan. And well, you, one other thing we'll, you'll say. Hold on, too. Let me yeah, let me, sorry, let me get okay. this point real quick because all of the things that people throughout that his, throughout the biblical time, historical time, when they're when they're going against the Holy Spirit, when they're going against God's uh, command mm -hmm. or 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 His request of of what the, specifically the Jews, yeah, they fall, they be out, they're they're ousted, they're exiled, Great. This and is all perfect, this stuff. This is a perfect. So, but, but hold on, this is perfect. Let me hold on, hold on. Let me let me. I know I know you want to interject, but let me let me let me let me hold the floor for for a second. I know. I'm is sorry, that, guys. Guys, I'm sorry. It, it it's that. No, don't be sorry. It's that because it's 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 it's, it's a complex topic. It, it even even for a Christian, it's a it's a complex topic because even for a Jew or even for even for a Muslim, it's a complex topic. 
know what I'm saying? We're, t- we're talking about the word of God here. We're talking about could, because we have to discern here Heavy what quotes. is the what exactly is the word of God, right? Do you think? Do yeah. you think? Do you think that? Okay, okay. If if they're exiled, for instance, if the Jews are being mm-hmm. exiled, is because during that time, and and forgive me out there, I'm paraphrasing a lot. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a biblical scholar by any means of the stretch of the imagination, but I do understand. Uh, a, a good portion of the story is that once once you go once they when the, up, they when get the Jews, punished. right? Well, no, no, it's not about punishment either. It is. God, God on, doesn't on, necessarily me, I know where punish. You're going with this. I've heard this argument a bunch of times. Here's the, here's the, here's what happens, right? Okay. God is all knowing, all powerful, according to the Bible, right? Sure. Okay. He is. Okay, so let's just imagine me and you are God right now, right? Mm-hmm. We create a being, mm-hmm. and we know that being is going to fuck up. Mm-hmm. We know it. We know the future. We know that we create this being. And we create it knowing it's going to fuck up. Mm-hmm. And then we punish it for fucking it, fucking up. Well, Think about how sick that is. Stop, stop for a second and think about how sick that is. You know, let's say right now you created a life form mm-hmm. that had feelings, mm-hmm. that had feelings. Mm-hmm. And you created it knowing it was going to fuck up at some time. Mm-hmm. And so you punish it for fucking up. How is that, how is that not sick? How is that not the most sick shit you've ever heard. I don't view it as punishment. I don't view I don't view that as punishment. That's torture. Here's the thing. Here's why and it's it it's an understandable argument. In fact, it's probably it's, it's probably the hardest question to answer when when you're faced with when you're faced with that question. I don't view it as God punishing us. Why not? I view it as we have steered ourselves away. We separate our, ourselves from God, whether whether we whether we knew it or didn't know it. We separated ourselves from from God. Okay, perfect. So what we what what our punishment is is the is is the sin of ourselves. That's our punishment. Okay, so he doesn't specifically punish us. So let's get, let's get even us. better. So okay. great. So so let's say for the sake of argument that you're right. It's mm-hmm. not punishment. We mm-hmm. strayed away from the word of God. Okay, what's the word of God? Well, I'll tell you what the word of God is. <clears throat> the word of God is. <clears throat> is a bunch of baby killing. It's so ironic to me when I see Christians protesting outside, and I've been there multiple times, <clears throat> where Christians are protesting outside of Planned Parenthood. Meanwhile, the God of the Old Testament was a baby killer. The God of the Old Testament, in that Exodus you talk about, <clears throat> he w- Are you talking about the Amal- uh, Amal- Amal- Amalekites? I'm, talk- I'm talking about several, <clears throat> several groups of people. Can you... Do you, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I might be testing. No, no. You, you're gonna trust me. I've read, and, and this is another thing. Sure. I'm, I'm gonna fucking lay it on the line right Go now, ahead, Christians. Do it. Hey, Christians. Guess what? I've read the entire Bible mm-hmm. front to cover years ago. Right? I've debated multiple Christians. Right? Mm-hmm. High-ranking Christians. It does like the people that are like the the heavy hitting Christians. Mm-hmm. And one of them, Doc Marquis, who's a conspiracy guy too. Anyways. Okay, so the so God is upset, and so he and so what so God you, you steer away from God, so you get punished or what? It's not a punishment, but you, you did the wrong thing, so bad things happen. You cause and effect. Well, cause and cause and the effect. The punishment is upon ourselves. Cause and effect. Yep, it's upon mm-hmm. ourselves. So we because we steered away from God's word. Okay, well, what's God's word? Well, it's weird because in Leviticus, it's God's word says it's okay to have slaves. Uh, also, that might be a <laughs> contextual thing too. No, it's not. I mean, the uh, the book of Leviticus, and that's a great a great point we'll talk about real quick too. But the book of Leviticus literally says, "Oh, you should not eat shellfish, or you don't any, eat anything that chews in the cud." It's literally laying down the laws on established God supposedly laying down the laws on establishing a new nation. And on that, he says, "You can take slaves, but don't take them from the Jews. Take them from your other tribes." And um, it literally condones slavery there. Hmm. So to me, that's not the real God. Any God that condones slavery is not the real God. And then this brings up another point, right? How do we... Okay, so Christians believe that the Bible... <clears throat> well, it depends on who you ask. But is the Bible... And this is a good question, bro. Is the Bible literal or is it metaphorical? <clears throat> and guess what? If it's both, which most Christians will agree that it is, how do you know what's metaphorical and what's not then? Mm. Was Jonah in a whale for three days? Do you motherfuckers believe Jonah was in a whale for three days? Because if you believe the Bible's all literal, you have to. And if you don't, then you means that meta- it's a metaphor. So then how do you know what's a metaphor and what's not? Was that slavery a metaphor when he literally says, <clears throat> don't eat shellfish? Well, what's that a metaphor for? Don't eat cows. Don't eat, th- like, they <laughs> don't eat things that, ch- that chew in the cud. Mm-hmm. 
So what's a metaphor not? And even Jesus, Jesus talks about peace, 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 but he even says, and one thing he says, I, I don't come in the name of peace, I come in the name of the sword. So what's a metaphor and what's not? And how do you know? And if there was really a God that really knew mm -hmm. and he really loved us, it would be one, it wouldn't be a whole book where you could have misunderstandings and whole different splinter groups of splinter groups of splinter groups. It would be like, don't be a douchebag. Don't be a douchebag. Mm -hmm. And then you could have like a whole, and God's a God. So he wouldn't even have to write it down so it could get mistranslated over the years. He could just appear every once in a while and just be like, hey, don't forget, don't be a douchebag. Here's a rainbow, bitches, right? But he doesn't do that. He gives you a thousand, two thousand, a thousand, nine thousand, over nine thousand pages mm -hmm. of Jonah and a whale. Slavery is good, right? Let's go kill some babies. This is not my God. If God exists, I don't want to race this slavery, slave having God. Mm. <clears throat> I, it, that, that's the God, right? And then, and then the new, oh, well, that all, and then Christians will say, I'll preempt your argument, Christians, talking to you on the side of the monitor, the one Christian right here on the side of the monitor. Well, well that, don't worry, when Jesus comes, he changes everything. Okay, well, that brings up an interesting philosophical question. Why would an all-knowing, all-powerful God change his mind? Why would he change his mind? What do you mean? You know, what I, do you mean? Well, in the Old Testament... And I'm about to fucking sprinkle you with some shit right now. We're about to talk about... Guys, everybody put some Fs in the chat right now for... Are, for you, about to, are you about to sprinkle, Chef? I'm about to... Yo, I'm about to cook some shit up for you. Special. Everybody put Fs in the chat for Harambe and Jordan Maxwell. Fs in the chat for Harambe and Jordan Maxwell. Share the video. This is the true perspective, guys. True perspective. Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. Why would God change his mind? Why would God all of a sudden be a douchey God in the Old Testament? Oh, sa I demand a sacrifice, and oh, um, I'm gonna tell you slavery's good. Oh, and uh, you can't eat this, and uh, and uh, I'm 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 a vengeful God in the Old Testament. And then, and then all of a sudden he comes about peace and love and turn the other cheek. So to me, so are you saying that perhaps that there are two different gods that we are referring to in the biblical? What I'm time? saying is the Bible is something, mm -hmm. but we don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And anybody that thinks that they know what they know, they they think they know what it is, is a charlatan. We and also, so we, hold on, God, sorry. I'm just gonna say. Like I'm just listening to what you're saying. Yeah. I have responses to to much of what you what you're saying, uh, and I'll be the first one to say I don't I don't understand the entirety of especially the Old Testament because there's things in there that are. It's, I I do think and I do want I do think it's an interpretation and a contextual issue a, a context issue. Uh, there's actually quotes in the New Testament too about slavery and. There's nobody. So there's no. Slavery, there's no. There's no. His, so for, there's no historian, Christian otherwise. Especially, there's one in the New Testament where you can say, "Oh, well, they're saying to to be like a slave to Christ," which is not true, anyways. But you can make that argument. But in the Old Testament, there's nobody that will argue with you, unless they're crazy and delusional. That saying, because Leviticus is literally pull up Leviticus. What it is? It's a list of on Wikipedia. It's going to tell you it's a list of ways. Wikipedia. And, Wikipedia is the mainstream consensus. I don't. Okay, so, okay, cool. I understand, but look, Wikipedia is. All right, a let's hit, go back to the Socratic method in Jesus Christ, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Before we go there, okay. be, I, I just, let me answer this. Yep. Also, the word slave and the word slavery is also a is also an interpretation issue as well. And I'll, and, and here's Perfect. why. Here's why. Slavery or slave is actually meant as servitude and someone who. From my understanding, too, from my understanding, forgive me out there, I'm paraphrasing some of this stuff, is that uh, servitude to someone who you are in debt with. But my, not that's, my point, that's not, my point, though. It doesn't talk about chattel no, 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 slavery. No, 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 no. That, it doesn't talk about... No, it does. It doesn't, it doesn't, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, the Bible does. It says, it says that's because it's, it's not it talking about say, people that are indebted. It says you can take your slaves from other thing. But let's just say you're right. Right? Let's just say that you're right. Then it goes to yeah, prove. Let's on, just say, let's just, no, no, no. I want to know. I want to know if I'm wrong. If I'm if no, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Okay. I'm going to tell okay. you. Okay. Because let's just say I'm. Let's just say you're right, and the, I'm wrong about the context. Well, just, that, just can you face the? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Just, and I'm right. wrong about the context. Well, then that just goes to prove my earlier point, which is, then it, not only do you have what's a metaphor, what's real, and why wouldn't why would a God that wants you to truly understand Him 
mm-hmm. put, makes shit so convoluted. And the Gospels don't even line up. So the thing is, right, mm-hmm. if you're God and you want people to know, okay, so that's the case, right? Okay, so then, then on top of it, you add to my point by saying, yeah, then there's all these different translations. And from, that's from your understanding. Servitude means this. Your understanding is based on what you've been told and what you've been taught. All the Christian people that you've interviewed and all the and almost now I don't want to say all, but even a, a lot, the majority of Christian scholars, they don't read Aramaic, they don't read Hebrew, only a small number of them do. And they don't they're not well versed in the ancient ones. We're just repeating what we've been told. We have the truth is, you and I, we don't know what that fucking Bible says. We have no fucking clue. We can talk about what we've heard from other people, but at the end of the day, we're just going off what they what they told us, the raping pedophile genociders mm. that have destroyed this world. We're going off what they told us. Mm. And I, 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 another thing I live by is I don't take the word of, of known liars and pedophiles. And so I'm not taking these people's word at anything. So at the end of the day, we don't know what the fuck that means. And until we fucking study all, and learn those ancient languages, and even then we will we'll have a closer understanding, but we will not know. And that's the, and people need to come to grips with that, first of all. And then one of the things that I really wanted to bring up about the whole Christianity thing is now there's a lot of things, like I said earlier, just because I say a quote, if somebody doesn't mean I agree with them or all their beliefs or anything like that. But Carl Sagan has a great quote. Carl Sagan says, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And I wholeheartedly agree with that quote right there. And so Christians claim that Jesus walked on water, he was uh, fl- he, flo- he floated up the sky, he was resurrected from the dead, mm-hmm. right? All this crazy stuff. He fed a whole bunch of people with things, this and that. If you look on Wikipedia, even mainstream, the people that supposedly hate Jesus, will say that Jesus, it did indeed exist as a historical person. Mm-hmm. But I do not believe that. And, the, and I will tell you the reason I do not believe that. So first and foremost... For, even Luciferians and Malachians acknowledge that Jesus rose and rose from the dead. No. Nah. They do. No. Mo, and that's Freemasons a, also no, do. No, 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 no. So do no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> that's another common misconception that we'll get to. For, okay. Yeah, for, most Satanists mm-hmm. don't believe... the, the Most Satanists... Don't believe the Bible is real. And Lucifer, they don't. There are some Satanists that do. Freemasons, another thing, we don't know what Freemasons believe. And anybody Freemason that tells you know to believe. Sure. They, it, you, we don't know what Freemasons believe. And we definitely don't know what the Illuminati believe. And most Satanists will tell you that they don't believe in in God. They're atheists. I actually, and just for... Who, Freemasons? No. Uh, no. I would never speak to know what uh, Freemasons say. But... Who? Satanists, Satanists are mostly atheists. Now, mm-hmm. let me say this too: just because I do not believe in a biblical God does not believe does not mean that I don't do not believe in the possibility of something bigger. I definitely, and I, I don't think my intelligence could possibly quantify it into words, mm-hmm. but I do think that there's something bigger out there, and I don't I don't even want to try to put it into words. But that's a side note, and I have my reasons, and maybe we can get to that. But mm-hmm. for Jesus. Even the mainstream people that they, the Satanists, whoever, they mm-hmm. say he exists. Let's say the Satanists say he exists, right? Okay. What's the evidence? Well. There's over 200 witnesses. What if I told, okay, who are those witnesses? And then, well, by name, 200 witnesses? I don't know the names. I'm going to I'm gonna break it down for you. I know that I know that there's Luke, there's, Paul, Mark. Nope. Uh, okay, there's, okay, what there's, if I told you, what if I told you? Uh-huh. What if I told? There's you? also the Romans. Yeah, yeah. There's also the Jews. That's what I'm getting into. There's that, also. Yeah, I'm there's about, also. I'm about to shatter that right now. I'm about to destroy all of that. Okay. I'm about to. Whole, I'm about to destroy. Okay. So what if I told you? In most, in literally most, in the people that hate Jesus the most, right? Mm-hmm. And the Satanists and the atheists out there don't even know this information. There's only a small amount of people. Even most atheists and Satanists will probably say that yeah, Jesus was a real person and he existed. Mm-hmm. No. Maybe he did, and I'm not saying he didn't, but there's no evidence. And I, you, that you just listed all this evidence, 200 witnesses. How is there no Hold on, I'm going to tell you exactly sure. how okay. there's no evidence. Mm-hmm. And fact check me, everybody out there. And I, I, I'll, I'll provide links to, to all this information here. Did you know that in Jesus' lifetime, 
there is not one record of Jesus at all, including Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Did you know? And wait, hold on, hold on. I, I, I know you got a whole bunch mm -hmm. boiling up in you. Did you know that even mainstream Christian, the best Christian, mm -hmm. cr they called Christian apologist. Doesn't mean that they're apologizing, but it's just a term that they use for people that will stand up for a cause. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a weird term, but that's a side note. I'll, I'll rant on that another day on another 17-hour podcast. Mm -hmm. The word apologist. It's not, a good, it's not a good term. I don't like it. Even for Christians. Who, anyway, so the Christian apologist will tell you that the, the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. were written decades if not hundreds of years after Jesus wait okay good I was going to say there's about a 30 or 40 year gap prior to prior minimum, uh, af minimum. after his crucifixion and there's there, minimum. There, there's also a reason for that because during that time the Christians were being persecuted so they had to with ha they they couldn't praise out outwardly they were be they were okay, being killed okay uh, let me let me negate that point okay. let me let me sure. rebut that point sure. pardon me during Jesus' time... The Roman pagan empire was doing that, by the way. Yeah. And the same people that would adopt his... his The same... The evil people that persecuted him then took on his stuff. So even if Jesus... It, it was completely real. Okay. For the sake of argument. Well, you can't say for the sake of argument because the Romans documented it. So did the Jews. What, okay, there's... Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you right now... Go ahead. I'll let you finish. I'm, what I'm trying to tell you right now mm -hmm. is during Jesus' lifetime, there were a number of people... Mm -hmm. That were secular. Yes. Tech, no, actually, no one was technically secular, but some. That's a side note. That were <clears throat> Jewish, Greek, Greek. Mm -hmm. All these people, Roman during the time, and they wrote about people. There are some people that wrote about natural disasters. There are some people that wrote about uh, people that claimed to be messiahs, mm -hmm. and and were just documenting it. There were there were literally half a dozen to a dozen people that were documenting everyday life during the time of Jesus, and not one of them mentions Jesus. The first time that someone mentions Jesus is in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to keep this short to the, to the, to real quick. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm -hmm. In all of those, in all those things, even, even they'll admit they're attributed to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John because nobody knows who they are. They're, like you said, they're written at least 30, if not hundreds of years later. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows who Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are. And for, if they were all good guys and they were there, they still didn't document it during Jesus' lifetime. And their four stories conflict with each other heavily. Not a little bit, heavily. And then the first time that we have a writing about Jesus outside of the Bible according to Christians and the mainstream, mm -hmm. is a guy named Josephus. And the, in that very passage where he mentions Jesus is known to be what they'll term is an interpolation, which is a term that you're familiar with being a musician. But most people are probably not familiar with that term. And it's interpolation is a fancy way of saying a lie in this context. Interpolation in musical terms means you're going to take a voice or a, a key or a sample or a melody or something from another song mm -hmm. and use it into your song. You're taking a part of something else. But in an interpolation, and this means is, is basically even mainstream and Christian people will tell you that this first writing about Jesus is basically like a put together lie. And in this other, in, in, in a couple page, in speaking for context, a couple pages before, he goes on for like pages or paragraphs talking about some sex drama, right? And then there's a little part. Josephus. Josephus. Uh -huh. And then there's a little part, oh, by the way, Jesus was the Christ and they called him the Christ. And then it goes on and it goes on. So during Jesus' lifetime, there's no writings, even though the people that are writing about crazy things. Then Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John come up 30 to hundreds years later, then the first outside of Christian writings of Jesus is Josephus, and it's a lie. And then on top of that, like I said earlier, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. These people say that this guy was walking on water. If there, if there are, if 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 you want me to believe that Jesus Christ was a son of God and came back and did all this stuff. And there are all these writers at the time, nobody wrote this down. All his followers, nobody wrote this down. Even the Romans at the time, nobody writes this down. This guy is walking on water. And now, and, and so, so I don't even necessarily believe that Jesus himself existed. But this goes to my other point. I do think that there is something in the Bible. 
There's mm. actually, I believe, and I could be wrong here, there are multiple things in the Bible, but we're, as Lupe Fiasco says, the books that take you to heaven and make you, help you meet the Lord there have become misinterpreted reasons for warfare. We read them with blind eyes, I guarantee you there's more there, right? Mm -hmm. Jordan Maxwell, F in the chat for Jordan Maxwell. You remember the movie Zeitgeist? Mm -hmm. Remember what, remember what they're telling you about Zeitgeist and Jesus was the son, the son of God? And they related to Horus and yes. <clears throat> so that was from the OG, my boy, Jordan Maxwell. Mm -hmm. That's his information. Based, well, it's not his information, but he popularized that information. Mm -hmm. And just, just to give you one layer, because I believe, you, there's, I believe personally there's multiple layers there. Mm -hmm. But one layer... There's an astrological layer. I believe it's the book of Job. I forget. I'm almost positive. Someone correct me in the chat. But they talk about God. Yeah, it's the book of Job. And God says, talking about the Maseroth. And when you look into the translation, the Maseroth is the, the Zodiac. So God talks about uh, creating the Zodiac. And the Old Testament as Jordan Maxwell would say, and I feel it's a duty to continue the work of Jordan Maxwell, at least let it be heard and let people make what they will of it. During the Old Testament, we were in the time of Aries. We were under Aries. So the Jews to this day still blow the ram's horn. Mm -hmm. Aries is the ram, right? Uh, and during that time, God was a, a more God-like, vengeful-like, war-like character. Jews had the, the ram's curls, and they still rock the ram's curls to this day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then when Jesus came, we entered the age of Pisces. And the age of Pisces is passive and love. And what is Pisces represented by? Pisces is represented by two fish. And Christians to this day on the back of their car will have a, Chris, uh, a fish on the back of their car to represent Jesus. And Jesus fed all those people with, what, seven loaves of bread and bread. two mm -hmm. fish. Two and Jesus is Jesus is representative. Now, whether Jesus really existed or not, the the Holy Roman Empire certainly hijacked him. Mm -hmm. And so, even if he was real, we can't trust anything we're saying from the. I mean, do, would you trust the Holy Roman Empire? According to history, they're even crazier than our current government. Mm. So why would we trust anything they said? Oh, so just imagine from the mainstream his, the mainstream historical perspective. Oh, yeah, damn, these Christians are getting really out of control. And damn, they, that guy might really even be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, they're getting a little fucking crazy. Yeah, it's time to uh, take them over and repurpose their stuff um, and make them worship our same gods on our same days. Um, and so we still get all the glory no matter what. We'll change the Bible at the Council of Nicaea and a couple other things. We'll we'll leave books of the Bible out. I think, so you're, I think, a no you, I think you're answering what 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 actually occurred is that they noticed that the that But why would you think that instead of instead of the fact that I just told you that there are there's literally not one piece of evidence at all that Jesus even existed. So let's just say, yeah, so that could happen from the history. But also yeah, but there's but, but, no, there's, there's but, depictions but we have to, of him. We have, there's we have, depictions of him for There's for, depictions of people that they say are Jesus. I think it's related to their depictions there are, there are depictions of uh their depict okay. Like Russia, for instance. Just imagine. Did you just see, imagine, did you just see what Russia had put out, Putin? And I'm not saying Putin's like you know, but he's just one of the, he's one of these we'll call we'll so called elitist people, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's so, he's a friend, so, he's a Rothschild World Economic Forum puppet. Okay, on so, record. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that I've noticed, Will, is that a lot of these Freemason types, Illuminati types, Freemasons lot, are not on, all me, bad. I know. Let me let me let me get into this a little bit. I know that yeah. they're not all bad, but at the same time, they're not all good either. They're more they're Agreed. more they're more not good than they are. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. They're more bad than they are good. Right? I don't know about the Freemasons. I think the Freemasons. Well, Albert I, Pike I, would be a perfect example. Yes, and um, so that, and, and and so, and I'm not sure about this, right? The first and foremost, every every the the vast majority of Freemasons. Uh, True and I are talking about the the top level Freemasons here. We're not talking about the we're not talking about degrees one through thirty two. Right. We're mm -hmm. talking about thirty three and up. Even that, we have to go with. We don't know. It could have just been the Masons from back in the day, and now they're not doing anything. So let me ask you this, though, because uh, 
historically Freemasons, the Illuminati. I, I, I almost can join. I yeah. almost can join them as one and the same thing. And you should because uh, George Washington, after yes. the Illuminati was supposedly disbanded in 1789, according to mainstream history, the uh, anybody looking up in the Encyclopedia Britannica, I believe it was 1789 mm-hmm. that the Illuminati was was disbanded. But in Library of Congress, you can look it up online, George Washington's writings. And I'm not saying you have to believe any of this because I don't necessarily believe any of it either. In 1793, four years later, George Washington is saying your very point, which is that the Illuminati was infiltrating Freemasonic lodges. He has that in his own writings and correspondences. Mm-hmm. So, yes, that point, at least historically. So, yeah, continue. With so, question. yeah, and, 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 and also they're known for infiltrating uh, uh, Jewish tradition, Muslim tradition and Christianity tradition. Uh, I don't all, know about. All, all I don't about, know. If, of, I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're meant to. I don't know if they're known for infiltrating, because the the one thing is that they say they're. they're they may. They they're probably. The most, probably they're the we most can say, infiltrate. They they are the they are they are beyond. I mean, listen. We could, How so? Cause, Give cause me an could, example. Well, we could talk about the Khazarian Empire. They're they they are the part of them are the root. I wouldn't of do all, that if I were you. Part of them are the root of that. But I don't want to. And That's I'm not, not against talking. Gonna. I'm not talking on, me, against talking about that. Will. I'm just saying for <laughs> to stay up online, brother. Will let me get let me get through this because the what I was going to say here is that all of these ancient uh, secret societies that have existed for at least from from our well known knowledge is at least within the past two thousand years, roughly, give or take. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, they were they were a pagan society. They they they. Uh, they became the Holy Roman Empire yep. through, c- c- through Catholicism yep. because they adopted Christianity. After Hold Constantine, on. yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah, after Constantine, uh, and but also you gotta, we we have to remember that all of these kings and generals, high-ranking generals, high-ranking kings, all of these uh, people, they were much heavily involved in pagan type culture, occult, occult. Can occultism. I stop you there real quick? No. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. No. Good. Why is Okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And I'm not saying I'm a Because pig. I'm trying I'm trying I'm going to bring through and I'm going to bring this full and circle. And I'm always trying to make people think about the other side of things. Sure. The Christians Which I'm trying to do which I'm trying, I know, to, help, I'm I trying know. to help here too. I know, I know. I hear you. The thing is though, anything that any when you say pagan, mm. there's a negative mm. connotation with that, right? Dude, I'm Celtic. My lineage is Celtic and and probably so probably saying, Viking. There's so two I, ways, I, I totally there's two understand ways, that. There's two ways of looking at it. Pagan can be seen as a bad thing, or pagan can be seen as a good thing, or pagan can be seen as something that, hey, you know, I don't know too much about, but I, there's probably some nuance here. But to look at it from a good thing could be like, hey, this is the natural way our ancestors had been worshiping for a long time, and then the Holy Roman Empire came out and, worshiped, and killed all the fucking Druids, and they killed all the Native Americans, and they disconnected it from the earth. So I, when I, when you say paganism, that's not necessarily a bad thing to me, is what okay. I'm saying. All right, so let me see. Let me let me talk about the uh, the the realism behind paganism paganism is also all almost always associated to the roman empire almost always associated to the greek empire and almost always associated to the yeah, vikings but not so let's but be more go, specific here be, no no because we re, this is really important this is the why i do the modern version of what i do mm-hmm. is because the words are important and the thing is paganism means different things to different people so i don't so some people would say yes you are and i'm not saying you're wrong mm-hmm Pagan is a word that it's a loaded word. Mm-hmm. So some people would say, yeah, pagan is what the Romans were. But then some people would say, no, pagans were what the Romans killed when they killed the Visigoths, when they killed the barbari- the, the different barbarian tribes mm-hmm. and, and all those people. Mm-hmm. Those were the pagans. The Romans weren't pagans. They The Romans believed in the Roman pantheon. So the word pagan can be used to con- to, con- to to talk about the Roman pantheon of gods, which were built on the Greek gods and so on and so forth, with the same very pagan tribes. So those are two conflicting ideas. So that's what I'm saying is like, when we use words, I'm not going to you. I'm just saying in general. Mm-hmm. This because the truth movement goes on, and all of a sudden, like they'd be like, "Oh, anything that anything that they don't understand, be like, oh, that's Satanism. That's Satanism. You don't, these motherfuckers don't even and me either. I don't know what Satanism. Oh, that's Freemasonry, and you could tell. How do you know, bro? And that's part of the the, the reason. And, and this is the one of the biggest things I want to bring to this movement. Right? Mm. Is show me your receipts. Show me your receipts. I can't tell, and just on a small level, because we're now we're talking about Christianity. Mm-hmm. We're talking about whether we should worship somebody as a god or not. That's a big deal. Mm-hmm. On a on a small level, it can be like, oh damn, 
Will's out here. Boom, he's sharing information. Oh, damn, he just did a protest. That's cool. Maybe I'll kick him, kick him with him next protest. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, he's sharing this information. That's an interesting link. Hmm, let mm-hmm. me think about that. Oh, man, he shared this quote. I'm going to look this quote up. Oh, man, that quote checks out. That's that's weird. I can't believe. Wow, maybe Will's on some. Oh, Will puts this quote up. Oh, this quote. I can't see any sources for this quote. This quote has been debunked. Mm-hmm. Mm. Will's gone. This is why it's so important. Every word is so fucking important. What we talk about, we can't. We can't. Okay, so let me, let me, let me. And I'm not attacking. And I, I'm, no, I'm, I, I'm, I know I'm, you're not. I'm definitely, I know you're not. I know you're not. You know we're having, not talking, we're having a discussion, bro. But the thing is, is so especially with people that are trying to bring truth to other people. I'm talking to the chat here yeah, because yeah. all the people in the chat are people that are trying to bring truth to other people. Sure. And it's so important whether it's Jesus Christ or a meme, right? I, I people, people be out here. Right, the, I'll see them that have good information. Hmm. Oh, did you know this about the Council on Foreign Relations? Hmm. Did you realize the federal banking, the Federal Reserve banking system, is unconstitutional, illegal, and immoral? Oh, wow. Did you realize the CIA was poisoning children's milk in Cuba and faking Saddam Hussein videos? And then all of a sudden they'll be like, "This a thousand percent proof. Brittany Griner is a man." Who cares? And it's not even a real video. And you just fucked up everything we you did. Mm-hmm. You was get, and that's why the Socratic method is so important. Is because you need to know for a fact. Especially because we get extra scrutiny. All these motherfuckers are looking at us, waiting for us to fuck up. Mm-hmm. They're waiting for, so they can discredit because they can't. Le- they're waiting. Because they're still not letting our minds around. Then they can't wait for that moment to slam it in your face. Say, mm-hmm. Look, I told you this motherfucker is a fraud. This, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, but even 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 if you do get something right, someone's gonna try and take it out of context. They're gonna to do it anyway. Anyway, but and that's so, and that's why it goes. But we're, but we're talking about. I'm gonna shut the fuck up for a second and pour this drink. I please promise. do. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll, no, I'll this is you. one of my biggest <laughs> fucking flaws, and everybody this is knows to- this. This is your toxic trait. It no. literally is. No, no, it no. literally is. And I've apologized. And I, <laughs> literally, when I have guests on, I have like fucking amazing guests. And I'll just, I'll, I'll go to ask them a question. And the pe- the question turns into a fucking ranting monologue. 17 questions. And by the way, did you know? Yeah, it's yeah. terrible. No, no. It's, I, I, I completely understand because I do, it happens to me on the same thing, on the same, say, at the same time. But it's like, so what I was trying to say was earlier is that, um, <laughs> Much earlier, I think like I think like thirty minutes early. No, no. Uh, share like and subscribe, motherfucker. We're yeah, having fun. Yeah. Just just share, to like, put up with me for true, for Spotify. true. Come on, he's putting up with me now, you guys. And I'm had a couple of drinks and I'm also operating off no sleep. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we both are. Um. So look, what I was trying to say, Will, earlier is that the Illuminati and the Freemasonry, I, I view them as both as one of the same. Skull and bones, one and the same. Uh, sure. Uh, Luciferians, Malachians, I, I view them as one. Hold on. I, I, view I them don't as, say that. I view them as one of the same as I put, I categorize them in the same place. They have, they, 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 I think they're different. Depending it, on your term of Luciferian, I agree. Put it this way. They're different sects, sectors, sectors of, of a, of a, of a religious for the most part. I, for the most part, I agree besides is, some semantics. Well, let me get this out. Let me, let me get this out, brother. I, I love you, brother. Let me get this out. I, I I view them. I view this. I view Satanists. I view Luciferians, Malachians, the Illuminati, and Freemasons as the same thing. Meaning that they have different. They have a slightly different belief system, but they are under the same umbrella. Sure. So yes, and pagans. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Sure. So pagans, yes, I do agree. Pagans is a pretty loaded statement because we, we could say the, that the Aztecs were, were were pagans or the Mayans were pagans. We could say it's just that, a loose term. We could even say that some American Indians were were pagans to to a certain degree. I know that I know. Believe me, that's that's a loaded thing for for to to say out loud. But that's it, we it, just it, went it, there. It, it can, yeah, I we just went there. That. I went there. That just happened. So and we can also say and listen, this is not an attack. Suck we can also it. even say that Islam and Catholicism are also pagans. <gasps> So yes. listen, Catholicism, and I say Catholicism because Catholicism is it, it is separate from Christianity, even though that it comes from Christianity, but it's also it also began from Rome. It also be uh, Greek in Rome. So Fact. why am I saying all this? I'm saying all this is because none of these, all of what I mentioned, the Freemasons, the Satanists, the Luciferians, the Malachians, they do not denounce Jesus. They do not denounce that he existed or not. Now, do they, do they say that he was the son of God? They struggle with that. I think that they struggle with that. 
but they don't denounce him. Islam doesn't denounce doesn't denounce him. Even the Jews don't denounce him. They just don't think that he was a, that he was a Messiah. Why am I saying this? Will hold on, hold on, because I know you want to say something. It's loaded. I get it. I get it. it it's loaded. Why am I saying this? Is because if you go back into the Sumerian, all texts, the pedophiles won't on, denounce him, but on. I will. <laughs> the Sumerian texts, right? Yeah, it talks about the Anunnaki. Supposedly, David Ike probably knows more about this than than you or and I. It's all from Zach- Zachariah Sitchin. or Zachariah Sitchin too, but he, he he's no longer with us. Uh, there's a deity or a deity like figure within the Anunnaki Sumerian text that slow, that almost looks like it could be Jesus or Jesus could have learned from this per- from this person this figure I- I'm gonna call him a person I don't think it's an alien from outer space that came down here and said hey I got all this knowledge for you because in 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 my research I have found that that is, that is coming from a singular source who has sent someone down here in order to uh, amplify that my point here and the receipt here and this is just my perspective ladies and gentlemen this is Oh, yeah. this, this is this is this is I'm taking from research. I'm taking from history. I'm taking from biblical uh, canonical scripture. And I'm also taking from just my perspective interpretation of a lot of this stuff. Because this is there, true perspective. There, 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 this is the true perspective. And I know I, I know and I understand that it's a lot of information to break down. But when I view Satanists, Luciferians, Malachians, the Jesuit order and all that stuff, they fall under a certain they fall under the opposite of this. Where and what I mean by opposite it, Catholicism is it, um, it, the Islamic faith, uh, paganism, all of that falls on, on this in that same category. And then you have Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, and all this stuff. But Christianity, it it ha, it's it's the most, and this is my opinion, but I do think that there is that there is, I do think that there are receipts to back this. Is that it is the most. It's different and different How as so? in different as in because the ways of the teachings of Jesus lead us to be compassionate, loving and stern with one another and to and to also have this ability of discernment, discernment, meaning you can call out what is evil or what is unholy or what is Satan or the adversary or the evil one. And you can also uh, you also know what is good. Do you believe this is an adversary? Yes. Why? <clears throat> because this is this is all the spiritual war. This is also physical. It's unseen and seen. It could be, but that doesn't mean there's an adversary. Why do you believe there's an adversary, though? Because it's it, because evil is an is an influential. It's influenced. We agree it's that an, there, it's influenced by agree, an outside source. I think we definitely agree that we. Live I, you in know a, why I believe it? Because the Illuminati and Freemasons they believe in these ulterior uh, spirit world Al- alistair crowley everyone i, I believe that there's a spi- i no, we i i don't i don't i wouldn't i'm not asking if you witchcraft believe and all spi- that stuff i'm all, not saying i'm not saying that doesn't exist yeah but what okay so let me ask you this then i'm not saying it does or doesn't because i'm not saying you're i'm not saying you're 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 not you're wrong i'm not saying that but what if these people go to these do you really th- okay so hold that's on, the thing hold on, yeah. let me ask you this real quick because we we know the famous story by Alex Jones where he exposed the uh, uh, what's that called uh, Bohemian, Bohemian Grove. Grove yeah yeah but then and then later as much as recently I think what's that boxer named Garcia he he said that he went there and he went a little I don't know but anyway we have we have historical references we have to things what? of of worshiping pantheon gods uh, sacrifice here's the truth uh, blood sacrifice yep. to gods yep. and all that stuff mm. and all these things and. Malak- the Malakians and Luciferians are very weird because they have. I've never this- heard or seen a Malakian. Uh, Moloch. I know who Moloch is. I've never seen a Malakian. I've never seen a church. I've never seen anybody you see, that you identifies see him. Every, you, you see him every day on TV. Who? I've never seen anybody that I, I've never. So that that's the thing, I'll, right? Okay, so so Klaus Schwab, the, is, the World Economic how he, Forum. How is he related to anyone, Moloch? Everyone that's. I'm not saying he's related to Moloch. I'm saying that they they find these deities to be these blood sacrificial mm. whatever deities. And they think that they're going to harness. Do you really think that Klaus Schwab believes in Moloch? I think he believes that he himself can be God, as well as others who he who he wants to be. That's a whole that. different story. That's a whole different story, and I think that which, that could by be the true. way, which by the way is what is if you go into Genesis when when the serpent talks to Eve and says that oh if you eat this fruit from the from the tree of knowledge you can become like God. That's what they believe. They think that they can become like God and be greater than. That's the whole. That's the whole story of the Tower of Babylon. What if? Okay. 
Yeah, maybe. When Nimrod when Nimrod builds the tower up to Babylon, he wants to invade heaven so he can overthrow God. That's the arrogance of man. That's That's what the pedophiles tell that, us. Well, that's what the pedophiles okay, tell us. Okay, that's if that's what the pedophiles tell us, but is that pedof- is, is that the pedophiles that's, that's, telling us? I don't know, or but is that's that, the, or that's, is that the actual story? That's, that's the same people that told you Jonah was in a whale for three days, and it's okay to have slaves. That's the only story that I I'm not a hundred percent privy on. You're, in fact, when you mentioned it to me, I, I you know I was like I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I don't only know. use Jonah because I mean, but literally, why that? But why only that story? Because there's multiple stories, but it's just like one of the most ridiculous. Like if you really like you you, you really think that a motherfucker was chilling in a whale for three days. I don't know, but a human body could fit in a human will. It could. But do you think that? I mean, it's, but do you, I mean, do, I don't, okay. Do you think? I don't do you know. think? Okay. Do you I think? I wasn't there. Okay, do you think Samson beat up a whole fucking army with a raccoon's jawbone? Possible. It's possible, brother. It is possible. It's also it there's is, mighty it, warriors in our history that have that have destroyed. Give me armies. an example of anybody that with a raccoon. I mean, come come on, bro. With a raccoon, one guy. Well, how, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. on let, let, let's think of this though. Let's think of this. How big was the raccoon's jaw? How big were raccoons back then? Do we bro, know? I don't care how big a motherfucker. And how is. big was was Samson? I mean, Samson was supposedly. <laughs> and he lost his power when he cut his beard. Uh, bro, yeah. these are fairy tales. These are fairy tales, bro. These are these are. It th- might not be though. Okay, maybe it, they might not be. But at the same time, you have to you have to say at the same time, bro. Mm-hmm. If if literally if our civilization was destroyed by a comet right now and mm. everything that was everything was gone except for Harry Potter books, motherfuckers would think that <laughs> Harry Potter was a real wizard. It's it's true, bro. It's true, but oh, it's only worse in this situation because now we know who's been giving us information and they're pedophiles, mm-hmm. and we believe yeah, pedophiles. But hold on. When you say oh, no, but, but no, listen, no, 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 I'm gonna take it a step when, further. When you say we're talking, pedophiles, we're talking about people. We're talking about people that burn women at the stake for being witches. We're talking about. Until government, the most murderous, ruthless, demonic people you can ever talk about. You're ta- yeah, this is the word of God. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Let's specify who, who, who the, are we talking church, about? The Vatican Church and all okay. the other well, and all and you always Vatican- say, yeah, I, I know, I know. You always say Catholicism is different from everything, but everything also it splinters is, off of Catholicism. Re- it really and, is. I know, though. but where does it all come from? Well, Catholicism. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Think Catholic- about this. Catholicism came from paganism. Paganism is a perversion of Christianity. Okay, and everything else Catholic- came I'm sorry, from Catholicism. Ca- Catholicism, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and Catholicism and is every the other perversion form, of Christianity. And every other form of Christianity came from perversion of that, because every form of Christianity comes from Catholicism. It's impossible. It's impossible. Every vo- every form of Christianity comes from Catholicism. Impossible. Every form of Christianity. No, it's impossible because Christianity was Christianity was first. Christianity is first. No, no, you're Catholic- saying you're saying no, Catholic- no, 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 no. Christianity started. Mm-hmm. In the early, uh, this is all allegedly, and I'm not saying I believe this. It started in the from the z- from the zeros to the early third century, mm-hmm. and it was in that, and until Constantine saw Jesus in a battle and said, "Yes, I, God wants me to, c- the loving God wants me to kill these motherfuckers." Instead of turning the other cheek, like Jesus says, "We're gonna kill these motherfuckers." God wants me to. So ironic. And then everything Are you changes. Talking about the Crusades? No, no, Constantine. Con- okay, yeah. He's like, you know, inst- we're inst- we're gonna adopt the teaching of Jesus right after we kill these motherfuckers, <laughs> and so <laughs> what an idiot. And then and then so, and then from there you get the uh, where am I? Where are we talking about here? I just I just thought I was just. I'm glad you her. asked. Um, <laughs> the the thing is is that it's it's impossible. It is impossible for Christianity to be the the lightsaber of war. And 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 famine and uh, and slavery and destruction. Because the reason why I say this, will is because the teachings of Jesus. Jesus says, Jesus says, I come not in the name of peace, but I come in the name of the sword. That's from the Where, Bible. I'm gonna pull it up right now. I'm almost fun, done folding this blunt. If anybody, okay, but what what is the con- ah, okay? But what is exactly. the context? So it goes of that? back to my earlier question: What's a metaphor and what's not? How mm-hmm. do you know all the times he was talking about peace wasn't just a metaphor like Jonah? Let's mm-hmm. just say, for the sake of argument, Jonah was a whale, and those three days was a, a days of rebirth, and that was a prophecy for Jesus Christ. I'm, look, I could be a preacher too. I can make up shit on the fly that makes sense like that because the Bible uses those same same important numerical astrological numbers, mm-hmm. and I could talk. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, well, so wait, wait oh, so, so astronom ast- like numbers are numbers. Like zodiac. Yes. Okay. Zodiac. It, yeah. Zodiac it's, is not practiced in in Christianity. 
as a matter of, I know well, it's not. It's not practice. Like it's it, it's actually looked at as that it's it, frowned upon unless, of course, the God has given special, uh, special occultism in general is frowned upon unless God gives special Jesus powers. Never men- Jesus never mentions anything about zodiac, from my understanding. No, but God Himself does in Job. Like I said earlier, talks <clears throat> about the Maseroth, which mm-hmm. is translates as the zodiac, and He brags that He created it. Mm-hmm. So he talks about the zodiac himself, and he brags that he created it. So yeah, there's so anyways these numbers, right? Mm-hmm. That are in the it. it so at the end, of well, the day, and, I, and I'm not saying like I just so, want, I just want to clarify too because yeah. we're we're having a, we're having a discussion. We're not, yeah. we're, you know, it's not it's not this not necessarily a debate, but it is in in a sense. But it's also a discussion on like trying to find like, you know, what what really is all of this. Well, stuff. yeah. So let's say Jonah wasn't a whale for three days. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's say he's not. Let's say for the sake of argument, he's not in this but one. Hold Wait, on, hold but on. Why this is that, important. Why is that? Why is that? Uh, let Forget me just that. ask you why no, that's this important. This goes okay. to my point. Okay. So, so Jonah was in a whale for three <laughs> days, but it's a metaphor, right? Uh, it's a metaphor, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And I could see that as being a metaphor. And if I was to be a Christian, I would say that that's a metaphor and not an actual thing. That's one of the aspects of the Bible that is a metaphor and not actual fact. God is trying to teach you something in a metaphorical thing. Mm-hmm. Then it brings up my earlier question. What is metaphor and what is and thing? And like I said, Jesus brings up the fact peace and war at the same time. So how do we know when he's saying peace is not metaphorical? How do we say when he's saying war? And and it goes to my general point, which is why would God that wants you to know and love him and do the right thing give you a book of thousands of pages with with conflicting information because Jesus himself gives you, according to, well, not Jesus himself because Jesus didn't write the Bible. That would have been nice if Jesus just wrote it instead of relying on on these guys decades later. But look, I'll, I'll pull this passage up mm-hmm. and, it, and because it's like, why would you do that? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't, I wouldn't do that and God's smarter than us. Mm-hmm. So we wouldn't do that. So there's also, there's also the aspect of that As as mankind, as human as human beings, we do not have the full capacity of of God's wisdom and why things happen the way that they do, or why uh, God sends a particular message to someone or a particular pathway to someone, or why this war. Why has happened. would God be? Fa- why would God show favoritism? Who does He show favoritism to? The Jews. How so? Because he. F- and because they call themselves, so, because they are called the chosen. He, he, God even says, I, God in the Bible says is God's favorite. Right. God himself says he's his favorite. That's a racist. That's a racist God. God God uh, is racist. I, I don't think so. He says it himself. No, he's not racist. It, no, he, he is. He does not say no, that no, he's racist. It says, no, he, it, it he doesn't. Does, he, he says, does he said the Jews are his favorite. So that means everybody that that's not. That doesn't mean that he's racist. If, if you have a. If you let, have me, a let, let me, let me, let me. So I had I Okay, ha- hold on one sec. Matthew, let me just say this last point right here that I was looking at. Matthew 10:34 to 36 describes Jesus telling the disciples that he came not to bring peace to the world, but a sword. Mhm. Is that metaphor or not? Because you just said that Jesus was the peace. He was the bringing the peace. He is. But okay, it- so but he say, he's saying he's saying right here according to Jesus, mm-hmm. he's saying he's telling his disciples he came not to bring peace to the world, but a sword. Mm-hmm. So that contradicts your point. So So what's up? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so here's the thing, uh, it, by by bringing the sword. So he is the Prince of Peace. It does say it does say it. But I'm he not, also says he's not here for peace or the sword. So there's an obvious contradiction here in the own scriptures. The own Bible that's telling you to believe God has a, has a contradiction here. Mm-hmm. And either one, there's a few things that could be happening. Here. And what? And, and what, there's a few things that could be happening. Matthew ten thirty four to thirty six. There's okay. a few things that could be happening here. One is could be they're both literal. Which which means which I, we have to just, 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 just take these all through through the logical path mm-hmm. that they have to go through, right? One one is they're both literal, mm-hmm. which means Jesus comes in peace and in the name of the sword at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's a contradiction. So that's fucked up. I don't think Wait. it. I don't think it is a contradiction, because if one must be of peace, he almost he also must be of capable of war. You know what, you know what I'm saying? So why preach so, peace? Because that is the that is the foundation. The peace must be the foundation. He's not saying go to war, kill all of the all the non. He's, he's, he's not saying kill all the non-believers as Prophet Muhammad would say. I'm just going to throw that but, in there. But 
the prophet. But according to Jesus himself, though, he's not even saying what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You're putting words in Jesus' mouth. Jesus, uh, according to him, says he came not to bring peace. He came not to bring peace. But for the sword. And what, what so, website? But what, what? This is Matthew 10, 34 what website, to 36. What website, though? I just pulled up the first one. This is Got Questions. Mm -hmm. I, I can pull up a million websites. I've went, I've covered this all before. I've he debated, says that he's not to bring peace, that he came this, to bring the sword. He came to bring this. I've literally, I've debated Christians for decades. Interesting. I've debated Muslims, too. Mm -hmm. I've debated atheists. I've debated Freemasons. Live on my show. I've debated them all. Yeah, right? I've, seen, I've seen some. Um, And so that's the thing is like, so that's a real fucking thing from the Bible. Yeah, I'll take another. I'm going to take a pee, too. Everyone oh, yeah. share, like, and subscribe. But that's a real thing from the Bible. So what I was saying is, so... As, as a logical thinking person, if you're a Christian, if you're a non-believer, whoever, if you're a Christian, just think for a sec. Get your, put your ego back. Take mm -hmm. your thoughts back. Okay, so either they're both actual literal, which means there's a contradiction there. So mm -hmm. Because you can't be in peace. Say you're all about peace and then say, I don't come for peace. I came from the sword. Those are a contradiction. Mm -hmm. So either way, well, that's a fucked up option. That's not a good option for us, right? And so the other thing is one is literal and one is figurative. Mm -hmm. Okay, brings up the obvious dilemma is how are you supposed to discern which? God mm -hmm. should get, give you a little heads up. That's a problem in and of itself. And the other one is they're both metaphors. And then that brings to the point where it's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to understand from that metaphor? Thousands of years have passed. Transcriptions have passed. Languages have changed. Mm -hmm. Implications have changed. Context has changed. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's a not good situation mm -hmm. at all. There's no, there's no situation. And on top of that, that's not the only contradiction in the Bible. There's a shit ton. There's a sh and I'm not talking about little things like, oh, well, I saw James and James had a red shirt. And then my mark would be like, well, he actually had a blue shirt. I'm talking about big events. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, the Bible itself contradicts itself. You don't know what's metaphor. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's fact. How are you to believe? And then on top of it, even if it is the word of God, the word of God was stolen by someone that said, yes, Constantine, I'm going to take the word of Jesus who comes in peace and also says he doesn't come in peace and mm. kill people. And then we know the Council of Nicaea. And then we know since then the Holy Roman Empire was a bunch of witch burning, pedophiling stuff throughout the ages. Mm -hmm. You're going to take their word for it? No. You, there's no way right. as a thinking person that you can... that you can take any of that for belief. Mm -hmm. as in even further... Take a step and say, I believe that this person is the son of God. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You cannot do that. By taking by, by taking the Roman... There's no like, way, as a logical thinking person, that you can unequivocally say mm -hmm. that Jesus existed, let, is especially was the son of God, and is here to save us all. Because if you're, if you're saying... Yeah, but that's if, that's if... The pedophiles are, are are saying that that's what that's what that we sh what we should be believing in. That's what they say. I'm not. I'm not here. Well, who who's saying that? Everything we've learned from history. Because as far as I, day, as far as I understand, the pedophiles are denying the fact that he's he's even the son of God. They acknowledge him as a person. They acknowledge him as a man of history, but they're denying his actual divinity. That is a perversion of what of, some of what are, is. but then there's uh, now, no, no. So the now, not, are you saying no, no? Because the pedophiles are also in the Vatican. I'm, when I'm talking about the pedophiles, oh, well, I'm talking about the Vatican. Right, so if we they're the biggest okay, pedophiles, they are the biggest, absolutely, hundred so percent. I'm, 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 so I'm, I'm, so, I'm on board so, with you. So don't change the, the because what's, what's, what's happening is now, yes, because people don't believe in Jesus anymore. Now people are making the new God, which is science. So they're discrediting Jesus and making the new God science. So yeah, that's happening. But also doesn't mean that that Jesus walked on water and Jonah wasn't a whale, because. Either way you look at it, if the Bible is all literal, mm -hmm. then you then 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 you have to believe. Yeah, but you're 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 taking you're taking. Hold on, the hold Vatican. on. Let me just lay out my final you're... point. Let me just lay out my 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 points because you have sure. you have a few options here. Sure, sure. If if you want to believe in the Bible, one is you believe all the Bible is literal. Mm -hmm. If you believe the whole Bible is literal, then that means you have to believe that Jonah was in a whale. For three days, that means you have to believe that slavery was good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you have to believe in a whole bunch of other crazy nonsensical shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine, fair enough. If you want to believe that, if you want to believe that the Bible is all figurative, then good luck finding out who who can interpret thousands of pages of figurative stuff. Now, if you believe that the Bible is a combination of two the those two things, which mm -hmm. is what most Christians do, mm -hmm. then how do you know? what is real and what is not, and then mm -hmm. add one more layer to it, mm -hmm. what is figurative 
and what is literal. Mm -hmm. And then add one more layer to it is we have no evidence for any of this ever. And the first evidence was known to be a lie. Mm. And then for thousands... But do we of, know that it's known to be a lie? Yes. How? Josephus. Josephus who, first... But who the, was Josephus, though? Josephus, according to, uh, to mainstream people... Mm -hmm. Was a, was a scholar. I, I don't. I want to say hundreds, definitely hundreds of years after Jesus. I don't want to. I don't want to guess on the thing. I want to say between like nine, uh, six hundred to. I don't know. Uh, six to eleven. Some. Nah. Definitely before that. I don't know when Josephus exists. But, stuff, but are we are we going to take one man's account versus? My, my thing is. My thing is. There's the thing is versus okay so here's the account like five I mean five what is it five written uh, written accounts two hundred witnesses and then the entirety of the Bible the over, bi over oh, one over one oh, man the, like I just told you bro mm -hmm. sure. Matthew Mark Luke and John were written decades if not hundreds of years later and they contradict themselves heavily so why would you what? believe they contradict themselves heavily and even if they didn't mm -hmm. Jesus comes in peace. But what I don't come in peace. Yeah, but okay, so so let's just say, human error. There's a contradiction between Mark, Luke, Paul, John, all of you know. Yeah. Everyone that no, wrote no, about. No, no, this is. Yeah. Let, let, let's, yeah let's, let's let's just say, let, for the sake let, of let's just yeah, say yeah. that there is a contradictory issue. Sure. Which human error, possible, very possible. Definitely Hi, agree. Pro probably highly possible, right? Yeah. However, these are also uh witness accounts or no they're not hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i'm sorry but they're not witness accounts but but we're told that they're 40 between okay we're, we're they're we're not told, witness accounts hold on, hold on. We're, we're told between 40 and 100 years that these are written right yep uh they are accounts of witnesses no they're not or they are accounts of witnesses and witnessing themselves hold on just just for the sake of this argument okay, right now, sure, sure. is what I'm saying is, is that even if it does contradict, right? There's still these are still five people rather than the one person that's saying, oh, he never existed. It's it's what was the word inter, what was the word inter, interpolation? In, interpolation. Joseph, no, and, and Josephus said he did exist. Josephus was but the one but saying he, said he did that exist. But he said that's based on a lie. No, but mainstream. No, no. I no, thought that's what you, the the first. Okay, so here's how it goes. Mm -hmm. The evidence. So this is this. Is, let, let's say look at my tablet for a timeline of 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 history right yeah. now. This mm -hmm. is where we are now. This let's just say for the sake of argument zero because there's different scholars that think this is Jesus zero right. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So then during Jesus' lifetime, the 33 years that he he lived, mm -hmm. and keep in mind Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John don't mention anything from 12 to uh, 30. Which mm -hmm. is just really interesting. They all conveniently leave out 17 years, mm -hmm. the most valuable years of the most important person of all time. They all said, hey, let's just leave out 17 years. There are also texts that fill in those gaps, though. Not in the canonical. Which have been dismissed not, not, by Christians. Uh, and Jews. And Jews. So yeah. that doesn't, that's not, that's, that doesn't make no difference. So... <laughs> So you got Jesus, he's existing. He's walking on water, he's doing all these miracles, he's floating up in the sky. There's there's a whole bunch of scholars, historians, and authors. Nobody writes this down. There's mm -hmm. other people writing fake messiahs down, but they don't even bother to mention his name. Mm -hmm. They're chronicling fake messiahs. They don't bother to even write his name. Then 30 to hundreds he, of years... Because maybe he wasn't a fake messiah. That's why they didn't chronicle No, no. <laughs> they... They were from the f opinion that everybody was. If, and if they really believed that he was a messiah, then they would have said, well, you know, we were writing about all these fake messiahs, but actually I believe in this messiah now. Especially if you have the tools to write, this is Jesus Christ, I found the one. Hmm. They didn't write that. They didn't even mention him. There's nobody. Literally, we, we, have, we know more shit about fucking ancient Egyptians mm -hmm. than, than Jesus, right? So there's, So anybody that believes that Jesus exists has to take this leap of faith. And this is a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. And faith is blind obedience. Mm -hmm. That's what the people of Nazi Germany had. I don't have blind obedience. I don't have faith in anything. I have discernment, and I use a Socratic method. I don't have faith in anything. So Jesus exists. 17 years, we don't know what happens. Then he pops up for three more years. He dies. Nobody writes about him at all during his whole lifetime, despite the fact that he's performing all these crazy miracles. Then decades to hundreds of years later go by, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which even the best Christians will tell you, nobody knows who the fuck they are. And they all contradict themselves. And then you have Flavius Josephus, who says, who says, oh yeah, Christianity is real. And that text, that part of his text, has known to be mixing other texts. It's a fancy way of saying it's a lie.
So, so, he, so, so he, he said that Christianity is real? Well, he didn't say Christianity is real, but he basically said, oh, and there's a guy named Christ, and they and the Christians worship him like he is God. He wasn't particularly of the belief, mm -hmm. but he was saying, yes, people do worship him as God. And that's the first extra-biblical evidence, besides Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that people will point to that Jesus exists. And mm -hmm. it's known to be mixing of passages. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, right before that, he goes on for pages about some drama soap opera shit. And then he only mentions, oh, by the way, this, this guy was a Christ probably too. Uh, and then they go on. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of weird. And so you have the guy, the, the, the son of God shows up, no evidence, no evidence during his whole lifetime. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of decades, of years later, you have the contradiction stories. And then the first thing you have is a, is a mixed lie. So there's no evidence that he even existed, let alone... And like I said at the beginning of this, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Mm -hmm. So you can say, well, maybe the Romans did this, maybe the Romans did that, or maybe they changed this, maybe they changed that. It really doesn't make a difference until you show me evidence mm -hmm. that he existed. Because the best evidence, and the best evidence that he existed is, is the Gospels, which mm -hmm. nobody knows who wrote them. And then the Gospels throughout the years have been controlled by the Vatican, that's a great place to be controlled by, the pedophiles. Uh, and then you got Josephus. So if that's your best evidence, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that's shit evidence. And it's funny because it, a lot of these people are are people that will question the government, will mm -hmm. question the news, will question everything, but they'll totally believe hearsay from people we don't even know who they... I don't believe... When... when I don't care who gets on TV in front of me and starts talking. I don't believe what they're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and verify what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Themselves. We're playing thousands of years of leapfrog through the different pedophiles, different translations, different book burnings, mm -hmm. different languages. Mm -hmm. And you want me to believe Jonah was in a whale, bro? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not happening. And now, uh, uh, now that, let me just say one last thing. Now that having said, Jesus may have existed. Mm -hmm. He may indeed be the son of God. However, I'm going to need to see more evidence. And on top of that, God that created me, he knows me. He knows my mind. And he knows that I'm a rational, logical thinking person. Mm -hmm. And he knows if given the proper evidence, I would, I actually, a little known fact about me. Before I became a conspiracy theorist, I mentioned I read the entire Bible earlier. I carried that bitch around for two years mm -hmm. reading it and studying with other people asking, hey, what does this mean? Hey, what do you think? I, I studied, I don't, so, and because at that point in my life, I was like, you know what? They want us to get into a box. And yeah, I wasn't awake then really. Mm. I was like, damn, they want us. I was a little bit, not even really awake. I wasn't awake. And I was like, damn, like, what am I going to do with my life? Like, do I want to just work for a corporation? Like, what am I going to do? Hmm. And I was like, well, think about it. What is the, the dopest thing that you could do with your life? Spread the word of God. Okay, cool. So I read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Then I had all these questions. This was in like 2005, mm -hmm. nearly 20 years ago. So then I've debated Muslims, Christians, Freemasons, all that. And I, I've had questions, and the questions have never gotten answered. The biggest, most important questions. And that's why I'm still asking these questions and bringing this up. Now, like I said, Jesus may very well exist. He may, he may be with us here right now. I don't know. Or is that an archetype for something? There's many levels to this. Who knows? I don't know. But you, it, it's, 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 it's a leap of faith to say with no evidence that this guy is the son of God and then base your whole identity on worshiping this person, uh, this being. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's a whole nother leap of faith. And the same, th and, and and guess what? It's not just Christianity. It's if you believe in the modern day version of science too, unquestioningly, the people that said we believe in science, anybody, it, it, what what whatever it is, same goes to you. Whatever your religious b belief is, but yeah, that's there's no evidence for Jesus. I'm sorry, there's absolutely no evidence. And uh, if if God if God knew me and He know my knew my soul and He created me, He would know that I would wholeheartedly believe in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. if just given proper evidence or at least for, i'm a young man comparatively over the 20 years some basic or oh i could see how that would uh, like something that i could at least see the other side of it for an answer mm -hmm. haven't have yet to do that and I'm, i welcome any information from anybody but 
now it's almost and this goes to what we're going to talk what we're going to talk about too with the whole the new age Let's get into that. Let, let's. Take, I gotta let, take a pee. Too. Yeah, yeah, me too. All right, uh, you go first, and so, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap seats with you and, and entertain the chat, and then I'm gonna go. All right. Oh, you're, okay. So, so, but when I come back, when we come back, I want to talk about because I want to relate this to how because you say that there's no evidence of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. There's no. I mean, there is evidence, I, but I disagree. I disagree. Not good evidence. I disagree that there's no that the that there isn't any. There Ooh. is evidence. I. Uh, uh, but I want to add that there's many things in human history where the evidence is only by artifact or the evidence is only and, by and exactly and, and on, why there, do we but, believe but, that but there is but there is artifact of jesus christ also there's there's artifact of a home there's artifact or uh there's artifact of uh uh i it this doesn't i don't think that it recalls it in the canonical version of the bible the 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 christian canonical verb version of the bible but it does it does uh record it in the ethiopian version of the bible where it discloses because you said there's a there's a gap between jesus's life the ethiopian bible actually describes him going into egypt and learning the ways of the teachings of the alchemy and all that stuff that's that's and that i know that's a that's a that's a bit of a de, a, 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 a debated oh, part of his pagan, hold, on, you're a pagan. hold on it's a it's a it's a bit of a debated debated part of his life because now it involves the esoteric mysticism and all that stuff there's an argument there to to why jesus would have to have done that uh, but notice. But I want. But hold on. I, I just wanted to add here is that there's many things in history. I don't know dinosaurs. Well, dinosaurs supposedly actually there's there's some evidence of bones and all that stuff. There's never been a complete. This is a perfect. There's never been a complete. Hold on. I, what I'm getting at is that there's parts of history that doesn't have a full. Uh, there's there are some missing pieces. And that's my point. There's some and missing that's my pieces. Whole point. And that's that my whole point. And that's, that's not, that that that's my whole point. And I don't believe. But that doesn't anything, say anything, that it hasn't happened. I, I, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's not saying. Like, no, no, no. The burden if of World proof. War, if World War II, if you didn't, if no one told you that World War II happened. No, I mean, World I'm War sorry, II is too close. World, World War II World is too close. Let's say let's say anything in the 1800s or before. Okay, so let's say any of that. If no one told you that the Industrial Revolution began, what, 1800s, mm -hmm. early, early 1900s? Mm -hmm. We didn't, we weren't alive in 1900s. Yep. We're only going by what someone exactly. is telling us, right? Exactly. But it actually happened because, mm -hmm. there, because there's evidence of it. False. False, which is my point. How, how is that false? Hold on. Let, can we break here and yeah. then come back to this? Because Industrial are, Revolution are, 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 didn't happen. Are you... you are you okay? So we're gonna no, go. No, no, no. Uh, what I'm saying is. Are you is, saying that the Industrial Revolution didn't happen? No, is what I'm saying. This is my point. We, okay. We're gonna leave it off here. Sure. Yeah. What I'm going to do is show you that we don't even necessarily have evidence for the Industrial Revolution, let alone, let alone wow. somebody. That's deep. It gets, and that's what she said. I'm trying to understand that statement right there. We're gonna get into. We're it. gonna get into. We're gonna it. get into. It. So, and that's what she said too, guys. Look, I'm gonna take over the captain's chair for one second, right yeah, here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Will's gonna Woo! take. Will's gonna take pilot for a little for yeah! next couple of minutes. I'm gonna take a quick pee break. Then we're gonna switch out, and uh, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Share stay, the video, guys. Stay, no, share, I'm, I'm like, gonna, share, subscribe, and Will's gonna, gonna take over for a moment. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely, right here. I know, I know stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the the. All right, here we go. Oh, snap. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We got Ripple Effect Media in this beast. Thanks for subbing. We got Food Toy in this bitch. Thank you. We got the top chat on. Let's turn that to live chat. Let's get your questions or comments in here, guys. Let's see where you guys disagree with me. Disagreement's going first. Oh, yeah. I'm up on the screen. Look at me. Oh, yeah. My name is spelled correct. You know, motherfuckers be spelling. I'm not an atheist, guys. Um, motherfuckers be spelling my name wrong, too. And it's literally like on Facebook. All right, we got Brian Drums in the house. Bible is a story handed down from generation to generation, obviously changed over a long period of time since it was written. My thing is the gods that the Egyptians were talking about. Great point. Maybe the Bible meant Jonah was in the whale sexually. <laughs> That's food toy. Can we put that comment up there? <laughs> that's, that's my take. Constantine sees the cross in the sky. Jesus. The great prince of peace. I see the cross in the sky. I will now murder my enemies instead of turning the other cheek, which is what Jesus taught me. Hi, Dios mio. Hi, Dios mio. Oh, that was a fast P. That was a fast P. All right, guys, share, like, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, Brandon Mitchell just hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, bitch, you sent me a check for 20,000. 
Okay, 20,000... Likes? 20,000 gold bars. Gold okay. bars. 20,000 shares of the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Very much appreciate y'all for everybody tuning in. This has been a great discussion so far. And, you know, Will, he, he like I said early in the beginning, one of the smartest people that I know comes with all of his receipts. He even, he even uh, you know, he tests me on my knowledge as well, which is a part of why this podcast began anyway. For me, uh, for me personally, just looking for answers, looking for that discussion and common ground, because not everything that uh, I'm speaking on, you might agree with. But if we can come to some term of common ground or where there's information exchange, there's a learning experience here, that is the mission of this particular podcast and, and, and why I even have this channel on uh, Facebook, uh, uh, YouTube, Rumble, Spotify, Apple, and iHeart, uh, soon to come on to other platforms uh, later on. But like I said, the purpose of, of, of even having a podcast is you know, to discuss a lot of these hard topics because it's, it, it's, it, it means something in order to get to the, into the root of this information and all of the, and and also it's exactly, we got to get to the truth. And a part of this too is a learning experience for me because I am not perfect on any, on any stretch of the imagination of the information. None of us are. And that's how we get to this. I would disagree with you. I am perfect on all the information. You are perfect on all the information. Well, you know, that's pride (laughs) and ego right there. No, no, no. no. Will, Will is one of the, one of the smartest people that I know. I'm not necessarily the smartest. I'm definitely the most humble. I don't think there's ever been a humbler person than me. I'm like so humble. You're well, you're well, you're well <laughs> no, researched in certain areas, yeah. But in certain areas, I'm not. Um, I, did I get? I didn't even kill this because I've been drinking thought, the whiskey I, I and the sandwich drink. It. Yeah, get grab me. Um, grab me another one. I'll chug this one. All right. So the industrial revolution, right? Yeah. And you know what? I'll be I'll be honest with you too. You I you yeah yeah. I didn't even practice my own preaching for a while. Yeah. We can say anything here. A few years ago, somebody commented on my channel. Oh, Will. Oh, you're covering up for Tartaria. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Da, da, da. Mm. And then so <clears throat> my version of porn, because it's no fap over here, but my version of porn is literally old photographs, old, old photographs and videos. I love it. I li- literally. You're I said not this, talking literally about. Not porn, but like <laughs> just old photographs in general Vintage. like it's like porn to me you know people say yeah, yeah, food yeah, porn yeah, yeah right i got you like that's i'm super interested in history mm-hmm. I, I mean i've read countless books on history i've watched every single upload that the history channel has ever uploaded mm-hmm. i'm a pretty I, I can give you a pretty good overview of the mainstream version of history mm-hmm. right uh american history oh, roman history you know world war ii civil war all, all this stuff, right? I can give you a pretty good going of that. However, I recently came to see something that really blew my mind. And I saw a video, and again, I don't necessarily agree with everything that this channel says. There's a video called, I think it's called Old World Photoshop. And photography, according to the mainstream story, was created in the 1830s. But also, according to mainstream history, they've been able to manipulate and doctor photos since at least the 1850s. Mm-hmm. And this one video, I, I'm going to send you this video, bro. Like, like, like completely changed. Like, okay. Like, any way you want, almost. Yeah. I'm going to show you this video. This it's uh, Shout out to... You want me to pull it up on here? It's an hour long. But it's called Mind. It's it's from the channel Mind Unveiled. Mind, mind, mind unveiled. So, okay, so yeah, I was talking about Tart Tartaria, right? Yep. I'm, a, and you know, honestly, true. Yeah. Like I said, there's <coughs> definitely things on that channel that I d- disagree with vehemently. Mm-hmm. However, that channel I've watched every single upload from, and it's, I thought I went down every rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. And I don't agree with everything they say, but they've forced me to look at things in a completely different way in certain instances. Now, the reason we're talking, the reason we were here now is because I was talking about how Christianity, there's no evidence for Christianity. And I said, not only that, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. And then I went on to lay out 
the fact that there's not much evidence for Christianity. And then you quite astutely rebutted and saying, well, if you look back at any historical fixture, fi figure or any event of history, there's, there's not, I mean, you'd be going through the same process. Mm -hmm. And I said, I agree. Mm -hmm. And um, even recently, so it all started, people, oh, you're living in Tartaria, you're Tartaria, you're covering up on my channel. I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that you're talking about. And I get, I get shit ton of comments on my channel, or used to anyways, and uh, didn't think much of it. Then I also did, I've done a, I've done a lot in my, in my days. I also did another radio show, my boy V, and we would do a two-hour show uh, every night, and that one was nationally syndicated it was so every night i did my due diligence i spent an hour or two before the show mm -hmm. and i would go through google news i would go through new york times i would go through chicago tribune la times all the mainstream all the local everything and i would search for news articles and and look over things plus the other things that that was like the mainstream research plus the other research that i do and so i bring things up Yeah, and um, I'm going to write something here, guys. So pay attention to the screen because I don't want to say it for his uh, thing. And now, I definitely don't ag agree with these people, and I can show how these people are. It's all a psyop, but I saw this article for researching, and it says, oh, Tartaria, the new... Cons the new Can't say it, you can't say it all out? Anticipation. I wouldn't say it. Okay. The new... Gotcha. Conspiracy about architecture. And I didn't know what it was. And it was like an MSNBC article. And I was like, damn, how have I never heard of a conspiracy in MSNBC stuff about a conspiracy? And it linked to a YouTube channel. And I watched a few of its videos. And since then, I really... Did, I, I, it was tough to kind of discern what they were saying because, of course, it's the mainstream news and they're not going to link to, like, the best channel or whatever. Yeah. So I've always been a, a sucker for, for old photos. That's why I love I love history. I really do love history. And I'm, I want to know about all these things. And if Jesus is real and true, I want to know so know. I can worship I, him I, and I, I can be on the right side. I respect side. that. I respect that. You know I'm just looking for the truth. I absolutely you know I, that. And I, that's what you, I respect you, about you. You and I both. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. why we're here to, together, brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you were a normie simp... We wouldn't be chilling yeah, here. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We'd be online and be like, oh, man, she looks so pretty today. Uh, but we're not. <laughs> yeah, right. We're out here. I got all three of my balls hanging low. So <laughs> where, 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 what the fuck are we talking? Oh, so, yeah. So, so, so I got into this um, Tartarian shit. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't pay no attention to it. I brought it up. I was like, it's weird that the news is trying to dismiss this, whatever. Didn't think much of it. Then for whatever reason, on my feed, a, a video came up. And it had pictures of like old. It said old world something. I didn't even know it was a Tartarian video. Mm. And like old, you're talking. I know you're talking about like like old structures. I'm gonna like, tell like, you what the Tartarian thing is. Like and I'm, I'm gonna get to sandstone. It. I'm, it was, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna okay. get to what gotcha. it really is in a sec. But so <clears throat> I started watching this video just to look at old pictures of some city. I forget mm. it was because I've been fortunate enough to travel all across this whole country. And I love seeing how things have changed. I love the before yeah. and after, like looking up Providence photos of like the 70s and yeah. the same thing. You, the I love that are shit. different. Yeah, yeah. And just like the people, how they've changed, the mm -hmm. cars, the mm -hmm. styles, how life has changed because it's the closest thing we have to time travel. Mm -hmm. If there was a genie that manifested itself out of a bottle right now and gave me three wishes, the first wish would be to be able to dunk. <laughs> Not going to lie. Sorry, world peace. You guys can wait till number three. But same height, same everything. Just be able to dunk. I'll just be coming off. Boom. Right? I'm good. I'm pretty good at basketball. I'm pretty decent. All right. All right. But if I could just dunk. Oh, man. You know. I, you be like. Oh, I walk on to the Orlando yeah. Magic. Yeah. And get a tied to 10-day contract for 50 grand. <laughs> and we're going to upload this shit even better. But. So the second wish would be to time travel. Because I mm. would love to be able to verify, hey, is Jesus real? One of the first things I'd do is go back to the debut of the pyramids. Can mm. you imagine 
the party they must have had with wine and grapes and fucking them shits would have been fucking so fucking fresh yeah. with a metallic in gold fact, they dome. They, 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 look- they would have looked different than what we know them as now because I think they were. I think on the outside of them was full of gold and, and whatever. They say right? at least the top was cased in gold. The other sure, thing yeah. had maybe other shiny metal in the top. Mm-hmm. Was, who knows? We we don't know. Right. But right. that'd be dope. I would love to spend a week in the twenties, the thirties, the fifties. So I always kind of like said, oh yeah, I was kind of of the ilk like, oh yeah, you know. History is history, and yeah. there's probably some lies about it, but history is history for the most part. And, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sure they lie about things, and I've read books. So <clears throat> then I started watching this, so this one. I have this weird shit where it's like if I watch a video of somebody and I kind of enjoy it, I got to watch your whole channel. Yeah. And so I ended up watching this whole Tartarian person's channel, and this person was a college professor, and they were... The person they, that created the channel? Yeah, they okay. were a college professor. Mm-hmm. But they wouldn't make any statements. They'd be real subtle about things. Just ask questions. Like, what? So then, just because I love... And so the thing is, they... So here's what Tartary... And so I've watched several channels now. And I don't agree with everything they say, but there's... They they at least pose a good question. And it goes to my point with the Industrial Revolution. An ancient Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Old school Photoshop. Mm Mm-hmm. The Tartarian theory is that the structures you see, whether you, you know how all the structures in Rome and Greece were pillars and columns and domes and shit like that? Yeah. Well, all over the world, you see them. Our state houses look like that. Yep. So the idea is there was a worldwide cataclysm not long ago, like Graham Hancock says, but much closer to our time period. Yeah. And that these buildings that we have were not created by us with horse and buggies and carrying these tons around and moving all these things. They say it's implausible. Now, I don't know anything about really building structures of that type, so I can't say. Like the current, like, are you talking, like, let's, state house? Let's just, let's say the Coliseum Rhode Island, let's say the Rhode Island State okay. House, for example. Okay. Yep. They say that, um, that one I believe was created in 1903. But there's other buildings that are the same, if not better. Definitely better yeah. that even predate their industrial revolution, according to the mainstream time, mm. where they were and they were. And keep in mind, even Rhode Island was before they had cars and shit like that. There were horses and moving all those. Mm. I mean, that's just fucking big, dog. You you been there, right? Right. So I'm not yeah, saying I, I'm it's... not saying I believe in all this, but what it made me realize is one: if they have ancient, if if they have at least from the 1850s that they can manipulate photographs. And they have famous photographs that we take for granted that we think that are real photographs. There's one that's Ulysses S. Grant in front of a horse and the background's a battlefield. And for many years, they thought it was, but it's actually different layers. Huh. And it's actually not Ulysses S. Grant body. They put his head on somebody else's horse and body and the background's a different layer. And honestly, I had no idea how skilled, I'm gonna show you this video, it's gonna fucking blow your mind, bro. And the, talking about how they were able to do this stuff. So. Their idea, and I'm not saying I agree with it, but I do have the premise, you got to prove it to me. Mm-hmm. So their premise is, hit the timeline is all fucked up. And so you, you said before, the industrial, the industrial Revolution. We take it for granted that it happened. but And honestly, before the last couple months, I would have taken it for granted too, that yes, indeed, and I would have given it to you. I would have said, yeah, the Industrial Revolution did exist. Maybe we got the buildings. We got the structures. Mm-hmm. But guess because we have the building structures doesn't mean that it was built on that timeline they gave us. Mm-hmm. Could have been made by somebody else. And, and, there, and there are many reasons. I won't go into specifics into the details as to why. Because at first I laughed at it. You know what I'm saying? But then over the time, because I, I would literally watch, just for full disclosure here, I would literally watch this channel late at night because... I get so fucking pissed about this everything going on in the world that at night I need to watch something. I, I still I still need to learn something. Yeah. But I need to. Mm-hmm. I can't watch videos of auditing cops fucking people up or politicians doing crooked things or I I, I don't want to watch that at night. I can do that all during the day. Mm-hmm. But at night when I'm chilling, I'm gonna smoke my final blunt of the day. I'm gonna watch something to relax. And one of the things I do. I used to fall asleep to World War II documentaries. It's sick, but I, I w- old shit kind of like, or a boring lecture, mm-hmm. right? Or whatever. 
something that is not about current state of affairs. Mm-hmm. So I watched. So I got into watching this Tartarian shit, and I'm watching all this stuff, and I'm like, you know, even if I disagree with what they're saying, I'm just looking at old photographs. And two, I'm learning about architecture and history because one, they're going to tell you the mainstream architecture, which is something I've always wanted to learn about and, and haven't got a chance to until this. They're actually teaching me architecture. Mm. And two, they're telling you the mainstream history of the account too. So I'm learning history at the same time. I'm just looking at old photographs. I don't worry about the pedophiles that are here now and the cops that are doing terrible shit right now. Mm. So I'll, I'll get, get to <clears throat> a mind to this stuff. and But then I really got to the point where... If they can manipulate these old photos since at least 1850s, and some of the evidence I've seen at least makes me question some of the things. And again, I, I disagree with a lot of things that they say and have questions for them on a lot of things. But the only evidence that we have that the Industrial Revolution occurred is is these. And we're we're a couple miles away from where the Industrial Revolution supposedly started, Samuel Slater. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, <clears throat> so we're just taking... And so at the end of the day is... <clears throat> my whole thing is we're just taking the word of <clears throat> the people that taught us. And so if they could bring wash our grandparents or our great-grandparents... Mm. So, because I'm I'm somewhat familiar with the, with the, with Tartaria, because, like, there's, like... I can give you a rundown. So all, all of these structures that that you're talking about, we're not building them anymore. Like globally, I, I'm I'm pretty sure. We're the not reason even building why is they like say, that. "Oh, we got to save money." Or we don't have the technology. We, well, not, no, not 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 the technology, but we're going to be cost efficient, yes, right? We're being cost efficient. Yes, Money's yes, not printed right. out of thin air. But wait, oh, what, 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 actually, actually, money is, is. The printed is. out of thin air. And so, why would you make these build and and and? There's a lot of questions. Honestly, first I kind of laughed at it, but there are a lot of questions that they bring up. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, why? I won't get into the. End. There's a lot of really weird shit about it, right? Mm. And but at the end of the day, regardless of what they're saying is a hundred percent false. What I know about the Industrial Revolution, and this goes back to a point I was making earlier on your show, and this goes into even modern day stuff. Mm-hmm. So imagine Jesus. <clears throat> so according to modern history, there's a dude named Carol Quigley. He was a Georgetown professor, and he wrote two dope books. One is The Anglo-American Establishment. The other one is Tragedy and Hope. He actually wrote several books, but those are the two that are pertinent to our discussion today. And in those books... Uh, and he's a legit historian. He's not a tinfoil hat wearing. He's a, like he he was a mentor of Bill Clinton. He's Harvard and Georgetown, blue blood. He's dead. He died in like the sixties. But he wrote these books: Anglo American Establishment and Tragedy and Hope. And in these books, he details how in the late eighteen hundreds. Let's go to the uh, court, mainstream version of history. Let's say it's true for a second. You have America. They break free from Great Britain, and then there's the War of 1812. Britain's pretty pissed. You know, they burn the White House to the ground. Mm-hmm. And so Britain's still salty about uh, losing America. And so, meanwhile, it's the British Empire. America's still a piece of shit back then. You know what I'm saying? We're nobody. We haven't gone through World War II, let alone World War I or mm-hmm. the Industrial Revolution. We're still nobody. We're backwater people, according to them. And then, so Brit- Britain's salty, and Britain's... According to mainstream history, you've got the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, the Middle Ages, and then obviously there is the Portuguese, the Spanish, and all the other things, but England. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? England's the next big power to take over and run everything. And all the evil motherfuckers end up running up through there. Mm -hmm. So, Carol Quigley gets the will, I believe it's the fifth or the seventh I forget, of Lord Rothschild's will from the, from the middle to the late 1800s. Going off memory here, guys, I'm sorry. And he reproduced it in his book, The Anglo-American Establishment. And in that book, Lord Rothschild, and this is not my, it is not any conspiracy theorist. This is Carol Quigley reproducing the will of Lord Rothschild. And he says in his fifth or seventh will, the creation of a secret society to make sure, basically, long story short, to make sure the British Empire runs forever, recapture America, and they're all under British control. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. 
So in order to do that, in these books, Carol Quigley talks about how there's a guy named Cecil Rhodes. And Cecil Rhodes, uh, Zimbabwe used to be called Rhodesia. Mm -hmm. Cecil Rhodes is like, he's he's where blood diamonds come from with the Rothschilds. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys, you've heard of being a Rhodes Scholar. Oh, that person's a Rhodes Scholar. Well, what does that mean? Rhodes Scholarships were set up for people like Bill Clinton who furthered the goal of this elite people. Gina Raimondo was a Rhodes Scholar. Mm -hmm. So anytime somebody's a Rhodes Scholar, I could go through the list of them. Watch out. Rhodes Scholar was created up for, for this very thing. So this group, in the late 1800s, create basically... They wanted to dominate every avenue in which you could get information from, and they did. So, and this is at England in the time, in, in the late 1800s. You've got The Economist, The Times, the largest, all the largest newspapers in England at the time. They put their people as editors, on record. Mm -hmm. You've got the, lar the best schools in Engl England, Oxford, All Souls, Balliol. Boom, they put their people as deans or presidents. Uh, then, you ever heard of the Encyclopedia Britannica? Yes. Yeah, that was like everything until Wikipedia came around. Mm -hmm. Still better than Wikipedia, created by those people. You ever heard of uh, The Jungle Book? Mm -hmm. Ryer Kipling, member of this group. So whether you're getting information from fiction, it was controlled by these people. Whether you got information from the schools, it was controlled by these people. Whether you got information from the newspapers, it was controlled by these people, or the encyclopedia. Every avenue in the late 1800s of information was controlled by these people. And then they created a group called the Royal Institute of International Affairs. And they created this group. It was a foreign policy think tank group. And just we'll pause that. We'll table that because who cares about that? Nothing. But like I said, they wanted to recapture the United States. And this time they weren't going to do it like the War of 1812. What they did this time is they created a sister group to the Royal Institute of International uh, Affairs. And we now know that group as the Council on Foreign Relations. Mm -hmm. Boo, hiss. Mm -hmm. The Council on Foreign Relations, you know the guys, the Bushes, the Dulles, the Rockefellers, J.P. Morgan, all those great characters that we love. And so... Do it live! We're, go write it! Uh, fucking well, thing fucking thing sucks! sucks. <laughs> Sorry. So, so then in America, they controlled their sphere of influence more. So... All the newspapers were controlled by J.P. Morgan back in the day, mm -hmm. on record. Then you have the three main TV stations when TV's finally invented. You got NBC and David Rockefeller's autobiography entitled Memoirs, written in 2002. He admits that he met William Paley. And William Paley, at the time of World War II, he was the head of the Psychological Warfare Department for the, for the Army. Hmm. He would later go on to found CBS. Uh, <laughs> and then you've got then NBC, which is located at 30 Rockefeller Plaza to this day. Mm -hmm. Need I say more? Then you have Operation Mockingbird mm -hmm. where the CIA, yada, yada, yada. You know, every piece of information is controlled mm -hmm. from the 1800s, mm -hmm. the late 1800s by these people. These people are the same pedophile people. And then before that, you're going off the word of the British Empire, the terrible people. Then before that, you're going off the word of the pedophiles in the mm -hmm. Vatican. Mm -hmm. Stone Cold Steve Austin taught me a very important lesson. He said, don't trust anybody. And I don't. There's only a few things that I can say for certain. The official story of 9-11 is a lie. I know yes, because 100%. I can... I know that, though, because I can see the official 9-11 commission. It's available online. I can go purchase the book, mm -hmm. and I can read it, and I can see how they don't mention Building 7. Anymore. Yes. I know, that fraction, I know that fractional Federal Reserve banking is bad and it's destroying the country. I can go to the Federal Reserve Bank. I can touch it. I can see its policies affecting me. I can take out. I actually don't have any cash on me, which I should. Mm -hmm. And I could. we could take out one of those Federal Reserve notes and see it. Yeah, we have to pay. that. We, we know this. Right. 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 I know the CIA. I, I, I <clears throat> listen to CIA officers say, yeah, we poison kids' milk. Right? Yeah. So these are things I know to be true. Now, then there's the philosophical thing where it's like, well, how do you even know that? True. That's another discussion. But for all intents and purposes, I know those things to be true. 
Christianity, the Industrial Revolution. Hey, you're going to have to show me some really good evidence to say that because even the Industrial Revolution is suspect. Let it, because because mm -hmm. we also know, and I don't necessarily think it's aliens too. We got the History Channel, which also has... I have a... Go ahead, yeah. continue. I have a question for you on this. So, I'm, uh, so my, my long story short here is maybe the... Let's just say Tartary is wrong, but let's also say that maybe the Industrial Revolution didn't happen the, mm -hmm. the way they said it did. Maybe that was from a prior civilization because we do know for a fact that there were prior civilizations like in Puma Punku and all these mm -hmm. other things that they do shit that that is a lie that we they they can't they, according to history they couldn't have done, done it. Mm. Even now, we might not be able to do this shit. You mean like built their built structures? Puma Punku has some shit that you have to have like diamond trip drills. You ever seen the H yes. blocks at yeah. Puma Punku? Yeah. yeah, so you yeah. know, like that's not. It's it's it's, it's bizarre. It's beyond given, the pale. given on the time frame that they were in. It's beyond. It's it's they shouldn't they should not and, have and been. And we're able still to do operating it. over the timeline that Samaria was first and this and that. Even sure. though we have all the things that even the mainstream history admits is old and that we still haven't changed the timeline. Right. Right. So who's to say that the timeline that the close-up well, is giving us is real? Speaking of timeline, too, I'm glad you mentioned that too because we're also the, the we're also going. So here's where I agree with you on that. The victor always writes the writes the history, right? First, we this were is go a good combo, man. Yeah, Cheers. absolutely, Abs dude. I every time that you come in the studio. <laughs> Not even just the studio. When we talk, when we talk, we always go back and forth behind the scenes. Too, yeah. yeah, we do. We do. And this is this is what we need to have. And this is the discussions that we need to have. This is why it's so important. Because <clears throat> the thing is, as as members of our community, mm -hmm. the quote unquote truth community, mm -hmm. we just take shit and we run with it. And the thing is, we need to have discussions on on what is true. Yes. How do we know Here, what's true? And here's the path that I've been on. Just to just to clarify my position on why I'm in this. Here's why I, I don't want to go. I don't want to dive too deep on on why I'm in the, on why I'm in this walk with Christ. But there's been things that have been revealed to me personally. That's another thing that I now, always now, get from people I, too. Now now now, 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 I don't want to go too far into it just right now. Sure. Because I respect you. I don't want to. I don't want to veer off of what the conversation we're having right now about about what we're talking about because I think there's a lot of things to 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 pull from this. The thing is, is that you mentioned earlier, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but you said something along the lines that the victor writes history. Napoleon says that history is a bunch of lies agreed upon by the winners. Thank you. So <clears throat> I think that we were going, there was a time in history where human beings were going off of the Julius calendar. But before that, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not familiar on what, on what calendar that we were going on. Maybe the Aztecs. I don't know. Something along the lines, there's, there's, there's some missing links there. And now we're on the Gregorian uh, calendar. So there are timelines that are... that are. Uh, I already knew that that are the get. Well, what I'm saying is, like, we don't know entirely All I'm where, saying where, is where we're just taking the is. word of pedophiles. Everything we are... I don't... <clears throat> I, yes. I don't yes, know if yes. I. Yes. No. You have to come there with me. You have to. You have to come. Help, okay. I, well, help. I, help I, I'm, I'm the pretty but, but, girl but, but, with the red hair. I'm no, Rose. No. I'm on Titanic, and I'm waiting for you to hold me. Because here's the thing. <laughs> you, what you have to acknowledge uh -huh. is, every, the Federal Reserve. We know the Fed. We we can turn on CNBC. We can go touch the Federal Reserve. Yes. We can see Federal Reserve notes. Yes. But everything that we've been given to, to us from a history is written by the worst people and the pedophiles. Just? Yes. Just by? Yes. There's not, a, there's not an inkling of... Tell me, once in, tell me once in history where the good people came out on top. And even if they did, how do you know it? Let's just say, for example, the, so there, let's just there, say there, for the example, the American Revolution... So okay, that was just about that's funny exactly. because I was just about and to say that. And, and, then, so, on. and then the American Revolution. Let, let, let me speak yeah. on. Let me speak on that. Yeah. Um, because I know that there are there are places in history where the good has overcome the evil, or, or good has overcome. Uh, according. However. According. However. Uh, wait, wait, wait! But again, there there is time where history, where good overcomes evil, but that's according to the people that won. And of course, the people that won are going to say that the good guys. They're never going to say, "Damn, we're the piece of shit rapists." I do. I agree. I agree. And that's and that's. And, I agree and, with that. And so that what we well, have to understand. Let's put, what we have to, let's put World War II. That's more. That's the most recent. Yep. Let's put World War II. Sure. The, we're now, now, 
now, now we're gonna get okay. Not, let's not I, do World yeah, War II. Yeah. Let's not. Yeah, do because World there, there, there's a there's a conspiracy that involved America no, and shut all up. that stuff. Shh, shh, shh. We're not talking about this here. If you guys want to talk about this, so what I'm gonna do for you, True, is <laughs> I, I've been telling you this, but we we always you're a busy guy. I'm a busy guy. Uh huh. I can do for you, and I think Mellows is still here. Um, we're, we'll get you a domain. We'll get you some shit. Okay. And what we can do is I can do now. I can Are you trying to save you from getting shut down? Yes. Okay. And But what I'm, <laughs> well, not only am I telling you a problem, but I'm offering you a solution, which is I can do this now live from my website, fakemikerealnews.com, shameless plug. Mm-hmm. And you can be able to do it soon, too, from your website. Okay. Stry, uh, stream live. And so we can talk about stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And not have to worry about wherever we are. So what you can do is you can go, hey, guys, I'm on YouTube. Blah, blah, blah. And, hey, um, I'm about to say something that is not. Blah, blah, blah. So here's a link in the chat. And then we go live on your ch- on your website. And then mm-hmm. we could talk about that. It's, it's synchronistic because I was having that conversation today. Mm-hmm. Because even World War II. Perfect. You know what? I will get, I'll answer your question skirting around the main thing but still providing evidence. Okay. Even better. Perfect. World War II. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and this is this goes to books written by uh, the Anglo-American establishment specifically. Also, Wa- Wall Street in the Rise of Hitler by renowned historian An- An- uh, Anthony Sutton mm-hmm. and other books. But this is all backed up by mainstream history. So, fact check me, bitches. According to the mainstream story. Do it live! We're doing this live, motherfuckers. Like, share, and subscribe. The True Perspective. Find us on all platforms. Um, and make sure you share this. And uh, how do motherfuckers donate, bro? Oh, yeah. Go to... Uh, you can cash at money sign True Norseman Crafts. T-R-U Norseman Crafts. Yep, T-R-U Norseman Crafts. T-R-U Norseman. N-O-R-S-E-M-E-N. Not man. M-E-N. Crafts. True. And you always going to say something. I learned this from studying the psychology of these psychopaths. Three times. Yeah, you got it. True Norseman Crafts. That's dollar sign. True Norseman Crafts. One more time. Give a donation. True Norseman Crafts so we can continue to do this. True is literally a one of a kind soul, man. And he is in it for the And this is why we're here, bro, because him and I are kindred souls. We're mm-hmm. only we're not we're not in it for egos. Because mm-hmm. if we were, we'd be fighting and arguing right now. We're right. in it for to try to find out what the fuck is going on. Yep. M- me and this motherfucker are just two motherfuckers on this. Whatever the fuck we're on right now, we found out, holy shit, this is not exactly what they told us in school. Right. We got together, and over the years, we've just been trying to piece together. Right. And that's what we're doing here live, live in front of you. Right, 100%. Yeah. Uh, we're bre- we break bread with each other's knowledge. And I'm, a, I'm either... And, and to be honest with you, I learn more from you more than anything because you're you're very well researched. You, you're out there. The only you, thing you, you need you to learn is the Socratic method. That's the only thing people really yeah. need to learn. Yeah, That's yeah. The only, no, like, I and and I think I think I do that. I think I no, do, you do. No, I'm not saying you. I'm, I'm saying no, no, you. I'm I, saying I, to I people know that, you're not, that are watching. Sure, sure. I know Any, that because literally, like, I could sit here. But and like tell when mother- you when you mention certain things, it's like okay, I gotta I gotta look at some things. In a different way, in a different light, or I gotta re- I gotta be more well researched on this. Okay, so World War Two, iron, iron sharpens iron, which is in the Bible. Exactly. Right away. World War Two, <laughs> smoked. <laughs> oh, no. Iron sharpens iron. Shout out to Jay Chatel. World War Two. Yep. According to the mainstream history, Germany lost World War One. They got yes. fucked up, right? Yes. So not only did they lose, but when they signed the Treaty of Versailles, correct me if I'm wrong. I just remember my question. Go God. Ahead. Write it down. Or uh, tell me. Tell me. I'll, I'll write it down. Well, let me just. Bef- I'm, I'm gonna. I'm write just my, gonna. Say- I'm gonna write my point down. Okay. Germany. Yep. Fucked up. So, my question is: Is that all of the? Because uh, back in Tartaria, because I we we, had, we just unpacked a whole bunch of shit right here. Uh, the history that we've been told about the Industrial Revolution is this technology, or is this? Are, or are these structures were they already there prior to us? This is finding what the them, Tartarians. What they, what this we've been told? I'll give you the whole Tartarian theory mm-hmm. as quickly as I possibly can. Okay. What happened is you know how you Graham, have to be quick. We, we, Gra- we, you know we, how, well, we I will. Time, I will because I, I take too long. You know how Graham Hancock says there was a cataclysm that happened a long time ago. Yes, the Catac- younger dryers. Yep, exactly. Yep. That according to them. That mm-hmm. or, and or another cataclysm happened much more recently. And what happened is... Much more recently is how... As in, like, 
the last 10,000 years? And between 1725 to 1875. Really? Yes. And so what they and, and this is going from what I know really? now. And I've what so and, and who said this? That this is according to I've watched so far a couple channels. One is Lucius Aurelian. Uh, the other one is Mine Unveiled. The other one is autodidactic. There's a, there's a few other channels that I've watched, like all of the shit. Mm -hmm. But their theory is basically you can send it to me that later. 1850. Lucius mm -hmm. Aurelian says 1850, and they and they they call you've you've heard of Tartarian the mud flood, right? Yes. Yep. That the mud flood. Yes. And so the idea is you see some of these buildings, and some of the windows are like they're barely arched, and you think there's something underneath, and some and then a lot mm. of times there are things underneath. That's interesting. And there are things underneath, and a lot of things. So. Why would you? Why would you construct a building and Dude, there's Boston like a little? Ha Boston has a lot of those. They're everywhere. I work in Boston and I and I find they're a lot. They're everywhere. Right. In, they're everywhere in the world. Right. In the world. Right. 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 So that could that means a couple things. So that's one of the things. So, fuck, that's interesting. So their theory is because that just that just their brought theory a memory is on me right now. recently something some cataclysm happened. Mm -hmm. It flooded everything and those state houses and those beautiful things. They were free energy towers and stuff like that, and they took yeah. them down and they put Independent Man and all this other shit on it. Right. And what happened is cathedrals also. Yeah. The controllers. Yep. The mm -hmm. controllers came over, and they exterminated. Controllers being. Being okay. So. So there's different. There's di I, I, I'm, again. I'm new to this. Right. I, I'm saying what you these me, people you, say. You I don't, I'm not I, again. I don't agree with this. Mm -hmm. it, it could be true. It could not be true. I'm just telling you what they. What I've come to discern so far. Either due to internal infiltration, mm -hmm. itself just fucking up. So Tartaria. The reason why you have these buildings that all have domes and columns and the same similar aspects all over the world is because there was a worldwide, according to them, a worldwide civilization. Mm -hmm. Depending on who you ask, it might be a unified worldwide civilization or it could be like it is today, like, oh, we got high-rise skyscrapers and so does Jakarta, Indonesia, and so does fucking mm -hmm. New Zealand, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we take a little bit of each other. Depending on that, but there was either, but regardless, it was a worldwide civilization. How tied together they were is up for debate. Mm. There's a worldwide civilization. Catechism claim, catechism claim, and as things tend to happen, whoever was controlling power at those that time, whether they be the uh, descendants of who is currently controlling things now, which seems to be the hypotheses of the people that are Tartarian or believe in that idea. They came in, they extinguished the knowledge of the free energy and, and how we used to, to do things before and all the good things are for society. They took over. Mm. They, they repurposed these buildings. They lied about the timeline. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Right? They, they lied about the timeline, mm. and now they've been doing this stuff to basically control us from the true nature of, of, of shit, free energy, our true power as human beings. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I don't just agree with what they're saying, but I do agree for fact that the timeline is fucked up. Because like I just said earlier. I do believe we have a misconstrued timeline. It's, it's a fact. I do believe Because that. like I said, right, one example that's mainstream, which is undeniable, which is... Textbook to this day, and then there's textbooks to this day say, oh, Samaria, Mesopotamia was a cradle of civilization. That's the first civilization. Mm -hmm. but then we have Fines and Baalbek from 12,000 years ago, according to them. And the thing is, all they're dating, who knows? <clears throat> My mom's so old, she got on a radiocarbon dating app. Yo. <laughs> That's fucked up. I, I've been waiting to drop that joke. No. So, so and the thing is, and, and, and even the things that they say, well, it's been carbon dated to this time, right? Yeah. And like I was saying earlier, yeah, go ahead. Because uh, carbon uh, carbon sorry. dating, I have I have a tough time. I mean, because I'm not I'm not a I'm not an archaeologist. I, I don't know who studies carbon dating. Carbon dating is basically this. And correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Radiocarbon dating yeah. is basically taking anything that's organic matter. Mm -hmm. can't be a rock or a stone, something carved into stone. But a, a, something <clears throat> that's organic. I could be wrong about this. Mm -hmm. And they're able to date it. Now, it's based on carbon. 
the, it's based on the fact that according to their thing in radiocarbon dating is one of the best things we use to date things. Mm -hmm. Right. Because otherwise, like you said, we're just taking the word of, OK, let's say it's Caesar, Jesus, any historical figure, Napoleon, Akhenaten, Tutankhamun, anything that you mm -hmm. want to take. Mm -hmm. We're taking a, a piece of paper, which could be the word of God. It could be the secret of life, could be a could be a story told by some random person. We don't know what it is. But then through time, we know the bad people have gotten control of it mm -hmm. and they've told us what it is or. They could bury it in the Smithsonian and never even tell us about it in the first place. Mm. That's a whole nother shit. Mm -hmm. Where am I going with this? So you're because you were talking about carbon dating and Oh, and, carbon dating. So and, so and, and that's the point about carbon dating is it's based on the assumption that the levels of carbon throughout time have been relatively the same. But how do they how do they get that though? That's good the question. Thing. You know what I mean? Because like exactly. that, that's, that's that's why I have a exactly. problem with carbon dating. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. And so and so it goes to our original point here, which is, okay, so what do we really know about? Because what's the point and of it's reference? It's not even about you know Jesus. Forget Jesus, right? Right. Let's just say, let's sure. just say it's the Middle Ages, right? Yep. Yep. Let's say Francis Bacon. Mm -hmm. What do we know about anything? We know a piece of paper. Okay, pieces of paper. Pieces of paper can be carbon dated. Carbon right. dating is inherently flawed at best. Right. Because it's based on the assumption that carbon was always the same or relatively about the same in the atmosphere for long periods of time. And we know for a fact that it's changed due to several things, right? Volcanoes, that massive volcanoes that will knock the fucking sun out for a long time, mm -hmm. Krakatoa, all this. So it's definitely changed, right? So it's based on assumptions. Mm -hmm. And it's also based on the word of mainstream science, which we know was, uh, I know, I, I still haven't cracked this one. And thank God it's still cold because I've been, can't shut the fuck up. Um, so, no matter what information we have, mm -hmm. if it's carbon dating, and eh, we even if it's good carbon dating, it's based on the and all the history, too. Like I said, it just started in England, but it, if you don't, I can prove I got receipts for it continuing over here, right? With the education, like I said, back in England, mm -hmm. these people they wanted to con Rothschild and Caesar World, they wanted to control all the information, mm -hmm. so they put their people at. The, the newspapers, they put their people at Encyclopedia Britannica and the colleges. Here in the United States, University of Chicago, financed by Rockefeller money, mm -hmm. right? Harvard, right? They've got their own secret societies. Mm -hmm. They got the skull and skull, skull and key. And no, they got scroll, skull, no, they got the scroll, sorry, scroll and key. Scroll and then and, key, and then yeah, yeah. Yale, right? And then mm -hmm. to the modern day, just to fast forward, right? Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Epstein has his own private fucking uh offices or used to anyways at Harvard. He he could go and sorry. At, don't, don't apologize. He could go huge and, ass birds out there. Yo, it's crazy that you say that, girl. <laughs> that's that's another synchronicity. Yeah. Um it, it's crazy. But Jeffrey Epstein yeah. and also MIT, right? Mm -hmm. So mainstream so to this day you can see how Hawking's Stephen Hawking's he supposedly can't feel from his waist down. But he was on Epstein Island. What the fuck are you doing there, bro? Right? Yeah. So, so here's the thing. So, what I mean, my, my point, my point is this. My point is, is these people have controlled history in Britain for the longest time, and here for the longest time. Mm -hmm. They they created the motherfucking institute, the, the institutions that we think are the pinnacle of learning. Mm -hmm. And to this day, they control that shit. So. All and they control. They created. They controlled every single TV station that we've ever watched. Every single piece of information yep. has been controlled by the pedophiles. So we have to come at every piece of information with the Socratic method, knowing we can't take anything for granted. And even 9/11, Will says, "Oh, 9/11 is an inside job," or "What 9/11 is not the official story." Well, don't believe me, motherfucker. It's true. Go no, don't. It's not true. What? It's a it's lie. A, it's, an it's a lie. Job? Prove me wrong. It's prove no. Yeah, no. Yeah, that, yeah, that's prove, my whole yeah, point yeah. here. Is because it's like we don't know what. I mean, bro. We the only thing. The only. But it is an inside job. It, and prove me. It prove, it prove, it prove us wrong. Prove yeah, us wrong. Prove us wrong. Building seven. Look at building seven. So where are the everything wheels? Everything that we've and ever the engines gotten on the planes. Also, everything we've ever gotten is from these very people, and they admit we got it from them. And then before that was from the Vatican. And they're bad I people have a too. big question to ask you, but go ahead. But I want you, I want, my, I want, I want my, you to finish. My, my whole point is this, mm -hmm. is we can't take anything for granted whatsoever because everything we've ever been given is by these people. And mm -hmm. these people are our enemies. So we can't take the word of our enemies. 
Mm-hmm. We we have to do our own research and we have to use a Socratic method. So I want to ask you now that now that now that you know that and and I know that that there are people in high places there are there are organizations there are alphabet organizations and all of these people are a part of this movement to lie to the people or uh or at least take the truth and whitewash it and completely you know mislead and all that stuff what do you think in 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 in, in your study in your research in in your travels what do you think that actually is like who who or what is behind that well i mean who or what is behind that's a great question and a lot of people will not answer the question i'll give you the best answer that i've come across i've interviewed fritz springmeyer and i'm proud to say that the last several interviews that fritz springmeyer have has given now fritz springmeyer is a christian mm. ironically enough but fritz springmeyer if anybody doesn't know who Fritz Springmeier is, first of all, shame on you, but he's been out here way longer than Alex Jones. Uh, and he's been exposing Fr- Fr- Fritz Springmeier. Springmeier. He's been exposing shit from w- it's Fritz F R I T Z Spring S P R I N G M E I E R Fritz Springmeier. <clears throat> okay. And <clears throat> he's been where am I going with this? What, what was the question you asked me? Oh, yeah. So who are the people? Fritz Springmeier wrote a book. He did. Called 13 Bloodlines of the Illuminati, where he names the bloodlines and the people. From, And then I've also done a radio show with Doc Marquis. I'm name dropping right now. Yes, absolutely. And he disagrees about the 13 families. From my research, from all I've seen and, and can see and prove, mm-hmm. the highest level of power that we can see. Let's take it step by step. First here in the United States, according to everything supposed to be done by the Constitution, right? Well, we know that there's the federal, like I brought up earlier, the two main enemies. And of course, when we address these enemies, it's nonviolent because that's what fake micro real news is about, creating a more altruistic world through nonviolence in the Socratic Mm -hmm. method. But are the the uh, the negative people, we're the protagonists here, are the CIA and the Federal Reserve in the United States. And the Federal Reserve, without them, the Federal Reserve is against Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. And I'm not a constitutionalist either. But according to the law of this country, the Federal Reserve is illegal, it's immoral, and it was never properly ratified, long story short. Mm -hmm. So the Federal Reserve finances all of the evil things. The main evil thing, in my opinion, in my research that they finance here in the United States and worldwide is the Central Intelligence Agency. And the Central Agency, CIA has done terrible, terrible things throughout the years. But above the Central Intelligence Agency and the Federal Reserve, that's the United States. That's our control level here. And again, you know, Biden, Trump, they get voted in, they get voted out, but the CIA, they stay in there. There, There's no votes on those guys. So also, there are sovereigns like the royal families of England, the royal families of the Netherlands, the royal families of Spain, so on and so forth. There's some, there's dictators. Mm -hmm. And according to mainstream, the, the story right now, they're equal because... Maybe not equal, but they're equal in the sense that they have their own country and they have dominionship over their people yeah their subjects fuck that so long story short the highest group of power that i can see on paper that i can see and that i can touch and that i can prove is the bilderberg group you and i have mm-hmm. been talking about the bilderberg group before the bilderberg group has been admitted to be real when you and i first started talking about the bilderberg group to people it was labeled a conspiracy, and it was labeled as something that didn't exist by the mainstream. It's when conspiracy. So like when let's take it. Let's take a sip to the fact that we're right, and we got no fucking thank yous for that. It's when it's when tinfoil hat became like a derogatory form. Now it's more, almost like a laughable form because everything has been. So the rulers true. of our planet, as far as I can see now, I, I would definitely. <clears throat> I'm not a betting man, but if I was to bet, I would bet that there's something higher. But as far as we can see, and I only go with what I can prove and touch and taste. 
the Bilderberg. I've been to the Bilderberg. I, I haven't been inside, but in 2017, I believe it was when they came to De Chantilly, Virginia. I was outside. I, w I was live streaming. I caught these motherfuckers coming. So, and who are they? Because you wanted me to name names, and I think it's important because a lot of people, a lot of, a yeah, lot of people, yeah, a lot. No. Yeah, no. I yeah, no. But I want to do it just for, the, just so people know that wanna, I'm a person. I want to dig deep. Deeper. Good, good, good. Yeah, but okay, I just good, want to let good. it know that I am a motherfucker that names names, yeah. and I will tell you motherfuckers' names. The Bilderberg Group. You mm -hmm. guys can go look even on Wikipedia. When I first started, I don't even think there was a Wikipedia. But And you guys can go check out what I said the, on record. It's a meeting. It, 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 the Bilderberg, Bilderberg Group is a meeting of very... The Bilderberg Group was created in 1950. 1950. I, I, according to record, I believe, and according to former BBC journalists, which I've had on my show... Tony Gosling, who knew all about, uh, who 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 was a legit journalist, mm -hmm. legit BBC journalist, and then he found out about Bilderberg and was like, holy shit. And then he went rogue, basically. Uh, and Bilderberg was first caught meeting, and I have his book, and he talks about the beginnings of Bilderberg in World War II and before. Mm -hmm. But Bilderberg was first caught meeting in 1954 in Oosterbeck, Holland. And the reason it's called the Bilderberg Group, because they don't even have a name, is because the hotel they were meeting at was called Hotel de Bilderberg in Oosterbeck, Holland. So that's, and who was at the group? And who is the, the Bilderberg Group? It's an annual meeting mm. of less than 200 of the world's elite. And when I'm talking about the elite, I'm talking about the elite. Can you imagine, True, if LeBron James, Steph Curry, <laughs> Allen Iverson, Michael Jordan, 50 of the 200 of the world's best basketball players or 200 of the best celebrities in the world mm -hmm. met in secret. Mm -hmm. The press would be hounding them all over them. Mm -hmm. The same people that the press are all over every single day meet in secret every single year and the press don't give a fuck. People like me and you were talking about it for years mm -hmm. and they said we're crazy and we're liars. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's true. And it is true. We didn't get a thank you. Nope. And now it exists and they still ain't there. And they're the, and they're the same people in control today, and the same right now. And the same people in control right and now. The, and the group was created. Long story short, mm -hmm. by the royal family of the England, the royal family of the Netherlands, the Rockefellers, and the Rothschilds. Mm -hmm. Those are and the main names. Back now, the let, blood, me two, let me say two. Let me say two. Let me say two. Go ahead. But the, I just want to say the bloodline of these people at least go back a thousand years. The and also according to the mainstream history. And now also um, let me say this. Just be there are members of the Rockefeller family specifically that I know, not I know personally, but that have come out on documentaries of the History Channel from the 90s about uh the Rockefellers. Who yep. there's this female yep. and she lives in a small apartment and she she denounces the Rockefeller name, she changed her last name. So when we say I said I'm gonna name names, right? Mm -hmm. I just started by saying some of the the last names. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that every single person is doing something bad or some doing something. But mm -hmm. there are tangible names that that for ex for example, right now in the world that are actually doing things. You obviously have the royal family of England. You obviously have the royal family of of the Netherlands. You obviously have the CIA. You have C and then you have the CIA puppets like uh, world leaders, mm -hmm. Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Is another one, and that goes to the whole thing that we're talking about. The we other talk, subject that we came to talk yeah, about, yeah. which is basically what happened after twenty. This is what happened, bro. People like me and you, we saw George Bush's lies. We saw there were no weapons of mass destructions. We saw the lies about nine eleven. We saw George Bush was a piece of shit, and we woke up. Mm -hmm. And then the CIA was like, "Damn, these motherfuckers are more clever than we thought." And the, the internet, and this is a theory. I can't prove this. This is a theory here. God, these guys are getting more clever than thought, and the internet's kind of backfiring on us. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the marketing team. All right, marketing team. We need to stabilize this country here. What you got for us? I got it. We'll give you a classy, well spoken black dude, and he'll pacify the people for a long time. And they were like, Duh, we'll give him the first black president. They'll celebrate. Not only will they love the government again, but they'll celebrate mm. and have more faith in the government. But what happened is it's still fucked up because the Internet was still alive and we knew who Obama was. And it's not Obama, as KRS one said, is just putting a new face on the new world order. Obama is one of them. 
He's not a. I, I don't be, I don't believe in the whole idea of race. Race is a eugenics term created by racists. We're all human beings. We have different shades of melanin. Where it's not like we're dogs. It's not like this motherfucker's a uh, fucking Doberman. I'm not a cocker spaniel. We're all human beings. We just, yeah yeah we have we have differences. Yep, we sure have differences. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, he's got. He's got cooler, more masculine features than me. Hey, cool. You know, I'm just going to have to talk a little bit deeper. But guess what? <laughs> Once that genie pops out of the bottle, I can dunk. Okay, game, game even. There okay, go, so this is... Where am I going with this? I'm, I'm, I'm just dreaming about well, dunking you, you, you so much. You, you mentioned Obama. <laughs> Obama. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is what happened. Mm -hmm. this, we woke up under Bush real quick, and then yep. they thought, oh, we'll pacify him with Obama. Didn't yes. happen. Obama nearly lost his reelection to Mitt Romney, yep. which is ridiculous. Yeah. If you it, Just saying that is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And so what they said was like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We actually have a good idea for once. We're going to give him Donald Trump. Donald Trump is going to make half of the population and the truth community say he's not perfect. Here we go. Here we go. He's not perfect. We're going to get to the meat now. We're getting to the meat and potatoes. He's Here not perfect, but he'll do. And he's at least he cares about America. And the other part will say he's literally Hitler. Order of chaos, divide and conquer. It'll mm. work perfect. And what we'll do is people already know we can't trust the media. Duh, we've been saying that for a thousand years. People already know that there is a deep state. People already know we want to drain the swamp. Hmm, we'll have him say it. And then not only will he not do it, he'll do the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be, and that's a genuine laugh. That's a gen, That's not even my best impression. I you laugh. I should, yo, you motherfuckers. If I if if I could sell oh out, I, I can't cancel out. But that's like you motherfuckers on evil couldn't even do an evil laugh better than that. They literally did that, bro, in your face. <laughs> and they still got Trump people saying he's gonna. Trump came back on TV a couple months ago. Um, if I get reelected, I'm gonna drain this. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers are so dumb, bro. And that's the thing. And they said, oh, yeah, we'll give him. And so, yeah, and they can't touch the TV no more. So we'll give him Joe Rogan. Oh, we'll give him Jordan Peterson. We'll give him Andrew Tate. We'll give him Elon Musk. So let's talk. <laughs> so. And that's what happened. We They got you. They got you. They said all these people that you guys were truthers before. Mm. Yeah, you're a truther. Cool. We've got a we've got a truther kit set out for you. We've got a truther starter kit. <laughs> ready made for you you <laughs> yo it used to be alex jones and it still is alex jones racist sellout piece of shit alex jones it used to, and it still is the globalist the glo <laughs> and, and and you guys still fall for it hook, line, right. and you know the crazy thing is Will. not to brag but yo i'm keeping it real bro there's not that many people that are going to keep it this real because honestly the sad part about it is and that's not even a brag it's just a fact is because half of the people that were tr in the fucking truth movement before, yeah. they're all fucking sellouts. I'm gonna name some. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna say wanna, one more thing. Wanna, I'm gonna say one more thing. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm yeah. gonna name some fucking names because I promise at the you beginning the, of this show. You got the floor, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to stop show, what you're saying. I promise at the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. I was gonna name some fucking names. Luke Rukowski from We Are Change, you're a fucking sellout. Jason Burmis, you're a fucking sellout. I've been on Jason Burmis' channel. It was an honor. Wow. You're a sellout. These You're, are the guys that exposed these are the 9 people, These are the people that I grew up off of, and they're mm. sellouts. And it hurts me. It literally hurts me because I worship these guys. I, the reason I'm here is because I saw Luke Rukowski waiting outside of Dave Rockefeller's fucking mansion, his old world fucking Tartarian mansion for hours to confront him mm. about what was written in his book mm. that says, I don't give a fuck about... And now they're, they're right-wing Republicans. They're Republicans. You think they just they just switched? I don't, bro. There's a video. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. There's a video. Hold, hold, okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm go sorry. ahead, go ahead. There's a video. It, it hurts me. There's a video. Go ahead. There's I, a video. I, there's a video of Alex Jones mm -hmm. talking to Jason Burmis, and Alex Jones is like, "Remember, remember when you literally begged me, begged me to get your job back?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, yeah." Yo, so Titus Frost. Shout out to Titus Frost. Titus Frost used to be me and Titus I, I love Titus Frost like a brother I literally do I've I've I I love Titus Frost and mm -hmm. I'm not I love Titus Frost I'm not calling out Titus Frost cuz I love Titus Frost mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The only two things I disagree on Titus Frost Titus Frost used to be in uh he's a status now he used to not be a status he's a status and he's a Christian now mm -hmm. so We we will deal with what we can do 
And I love him. I really love Titus Frost. Titus Frost exposes the fact, he's got a documentary on all of this, mm -hmm. exposing that all these people I'm talking about, they're all part of a group. And there's some inner, there's some, there's some acronym. Before you go into that. Yeah. What I wanted to say was, is that this. hurt me so bad. To no, say. Yeah, that's I, the first time I've ever said, I, you know, well, I've been that's the first, thank that's, you true for let, I'm going to shut up for a second. Cause thank you true. Because this is a place of, of, of it's an open platform, brother. Because open I've discussion. been wanting to say that for a long time. And it hurts me to say that. I'm actually, I'm, here, I'm actually I'm surprised here, hearing that. I'm, I'm, I'm here because of Luke. We are change. I'm uh -huh. here because of Jason Burmis. Mm -hmm. And it really hurts me, but I have to say it. And 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 I know, and I followed those guys for years. I followed those, I followed those guys since nine eleven. Like that's like like that's the that's the now they're that now, is the day now, that I now, woke up. Now that now, now, now they're going to be like, hey, Elon Musk, hey, can I get an interview? Hey, right, right, can right, you right, right, hey, right. tell me in detail about how you put the brain trips on people. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about your tell me about being a World Economic Forum young leader. Oh, tell me about how you want to tax climate. Tell me how you believe vaccines are good. Mm. Mm, I love that. I so love that. I wanted. I want to. I want to ask you this, brother. I want to ask you this, brother, because where because it hurts. It hurts me to see some of the some of the people that have been on the front, supposedly the front lines. They and, were and actually, actually decades ago. In fact, on the front lines of exposing the truth, like Alex Jones was my was my what 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 I would consider like a uh, a, a non biblical prophet. We'll put it that way, in the sense that he was in there. He was at Texas doing the ID thing, getting arrested. He did getting a arrested whole bunch for, of shit. For, for announcing Calling on the, out on the George Clintons, Bush. George Bush, all Calling of that out stuff. Skull and Bones, Bohemian all Grove, of it, all of all it, of doing it. all of this stuff. Like it excited Calling me. Calling out the two party paradigm, two -party the Bilderberg paradigm. Federal Reserve, and cops. now and now, and and I and I agree with you because the conversation that you and I have had offline, I agree with you that he has did this odd shift on where he's more Repub on the Republican side. Bef but let me ask you this, though. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because this is a, this is a question that, I, that I've that i actually wanted to ask you personally, and, and I waited to ask you on air, is this, is that, do you think now all the names that you mentioned, all the bloodlines that you mentioned, the Bilderberg Group, yeah. the Rockefellers, the uh, the Rothschilds, this is great, all, man. all, this is all of, the of these people, yeah, absolutely, 100%. All, all of these people, uh, like, share, subscribe on FakeMikeRealNews.com also and The True Perspective on Spotify, Apple, yep. iHeartRadio, YouTube, Get and Rumble. Get this out, guys. This the is, True Perspective. Honestly, the TRU we're breaking shirt. this down. This is like we're, this is like a fucking... Remember when... um. Remember on the Chappelle show when they were like, "Uh, uh we need we need a house meeting, y'all." When they yeah, were doing yeah, the, yeah. this is we're having a house meeting right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't had a house meeting in a long time as a truth community. We've strayed, we went our all different ways, and we were all we've been banned. Well, here's the thing: bands. the podcast that you and I have done, we I don't. We, this is this in itself is a is a more unique conversation. We've had conversations, but this right here is actually we're we're hard pressed. Because we're having to the define that, things the people, in yeah, the information. But, but on the people that we've followed, we follow Alex Jones, we followed the William Coopers, we followed uh, uh, um, Jordan uh, Maxwell, David Jordan, Icke, yes, all, of, all them. of them. So, what my question is to you, though, Will, is that since tr Trump, Trump is like the anomaly of the Republican Party, and I say this is that because when Trump came into office, it is like the, it's it's like an Obama incident. Because yes. when you said that, you know, because we, we found out that Bush was Agreed. bullshitting, the country was on the verge. KRS-One said this, too. KRS-One was like, uh, I, I, I watched the interview. If you, you, you can probably search it on YouTube. You, fi you find this uh, YouTube interview with KRS-One talking about Bush and then Obama becoming president. They said they put a brown face was, in the he, New he, World he Order. Was like, he was like, the country was on the verge of revolution. And then they put a black man in, in, in presidency, exactly. which, which is a fact. Exactly. Everyone was like, okay, I voted for I voted for Obama. I thought that he was going to be, yes, we can change. I thought that. So when when that happened, and, and obviously the truth came came to about that that mm -hmm. wasn't the case, now we get in, you know, Obama did his eight eight years, and then Trump is now the new anomaly to He's the, the right offset, wing Obama. To, to, right, right. So what I'm saying is now. He's you, the updated CIA right wing. Because you said all yes, exactly. Because you said that in the uh, um, where the truth movement, we're get like <laughs> like the truth movement is getting too much momentum, too much of this, too much of that. So now we have. So do you think that now that we have that they have to attach somebody? So what I'm saying is, is the MAGA movement and the so called. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it up. Put it. Put it. Put up on screen. 
This one, is this the, is what it is. The Q. No, no, no. Uh, it, it's actually crazy. crazy. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Yep, okay, yep, so sure, let me finish sure, the question. Sure. Let me now, finish actually, the question. Actually, what you just said is so poetic, and I'm so glad. Keep, keep, keep going. Because yeah, what let, you just let, said is just transformative. Let me finish the question. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think that because that there's a MAGA movement and the Republican Party, and they attach those two together as as being a singular party, even though despite all the bullshit that's they in do between and they all don't, that, but yeah, overall, are they attaching that to the Truth Movement? Do you think to discredit to now plummet? The truth movement, like, are they take like, and they're attaching all yes. these other other here's, little. Here's what here's what they did. Because you and I, we know that this that is exactly we, this is exactly what like, they're doing. We're like we're like you and I, more you than I, I would say, is that uh, you you're gunning for the truth. For instance, you just said if Jesus Christ can be the full reveal, there's full evidence to you. You'd be like, okay, he's real. You know what I'm saying? Me and you may differ on that, but at the same time, if there is. If if they're saying, so, the maga the the maga stuff and the Trump they're they're all they're, it's attaching Christianity to it also yes which is a big thing yes. for me which is a which yes. is a big thing that I've noticed and I say this uh, to you uh, Will is that they're trying to subdue something here. Christianity has a has a play in here. There's a part in here that it has. The truth movement has a yes. part. Yes. And then there is that. I love this guy. And then there is the MAGA Trump part to this, yes. right? Yes. So they're so so they're trying to take down the truth movement, the the literal exactly. grass That's movement. Exactly. That's exactly truth what movement. I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm so, saying. So okay. So so I want. Can you dive into that a little bit? Because I've this always wanted happened. to ask you that. Like, what? so this is what this is what it is. Okay. Anybody look this up on. Uh, Wikipedia, if you're not familiar, or just Google it. It's mm -hmm. called a straw man. So mm. what happened mm. is, let's say True's got some <clears throat> dope, amazing point. Let's say True's saying, um, let's just say True's got some dope, amazing point where he like basically proves some shit to me, and I'm like, damn, I, I, that goes against everything in my argument. Fuck. So I, what I'll do instead of actually addressing your argument is what I'll do is I'll make a straw man. And oh. a straw man is a caricature argument. So what I'll say is, oh, so you think that... <clears throat> so let's just say you say, <clears throat> hey, um, I don't believe the 9-11 commission... I, I don't believe the official story of 9-11 because the official 9-11 commission, which is available in hard copy in any bookstore, or ho hopefully still not, <laughs> or available for free online at its official government website omits building seven in its entirety <clears throat> so what i would say instead of addressing the actual facts that you brought up and let's say you brought up all the other facts about 9 11 oh so you're saying that uh you're saying that jesuit transforming catholic jews were shape-shifting in a basement okay so you basically t instead of addressing your argument you make a straw man which is not your argument mm. oh so you think Oh, so you think that the United States government coordinated with Malaysia and Iran that day to coordinate things. And let's just say they got half of it right, but then they named two countries that were wrong. They make a straw man. Right, right. <clears throat> so what happens is they realize, they realize, oh, the media's the media, people are sick of the media, like you already know. We've been known that. Sure. We, we People realize there's, they, we want to drain the swamp. We want to do this. We want to do that. Okay, so we'll give him a packaged, perfect person to do that. We'll give him multiple people. We'll give him Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, Alex Jones, all those people. <clears throat> and so what they did is the most fucked up thing that they did is, too, is they took real shit and they threw it on and they intertwined it with this. Now, this is a fake because the very first post from that person said that Hillary Clinton was locked up. And that was a lie. There's multiple lies, but the very first fucking yeah, yeah. post is a lie. Right. It's a fake. So what they said was like, hmm, great. We can lump a whole bunch of things. So that was like the perversion of, act of the actual truth movement. So is that what you're saying? Yes. The Q. I mean, yeah. not no, not even just that. It already <coughs> it already happened before. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But it already happened before. But it was already beginning. These yeah, things yeah, yeah. that they they poke into you, mm -hmm. right? Now I, up, put, put I, I literally had I literally had a female 
who was a PhD student who already got their master's say that this here, where they do things into your body, that is that a sword? Sword or that's okay. a that's okay, a sword from Bill Gates. That's a Bill Gates sword. S syringe. Okay, gotcha. Don't even say that. It's a Bill Gates sword. So Bill that Gates sword. they literally said that the whole anti-sword movement <laughs> came from Donald Trump. And I said, holy shit, Brother. I went to a protest the year before Donald Trump went at the New Jersey State House, and it was all a bunch of white liberal moms. The whole anti-sword thing has been traditionally liberal, right? And so, sorry. And so what they do I, is they take the sword, mm -hmm. they take the pizza, they take all the good stuff, and they throw it in with that. Wanna, and they fuck it up, and they mix it with a whole bunch of racist, stupid, fascist, terrible shit. I want you to do some some promotion. While you for, take a peek, because yes, I'm doing yes, the yes. same thing next. Because I want to come back to this, because I, I, I have some add. I, I want yeah, no, to, I I, to add on to Warp Speed. I want to add on to Warp Speed, because we're going to talk about that real Bro, quick. Donald Trump is, Donald, literally, <laughs> unpopular opinion, but I got receipts. Donald Trump is the worst pre president in American history. Okay. He's done more tyranny than any other. And he said he was going to bring the best. You think more? Un okay. Undoubtedly. I brought receipts on your show before. I'll bring you it did. again. You did. We're, we'll be right back. I'll be right back. Will's gonna sit in the pile right of seat. here. Let's let's bring up the comments. Bring yeah, up the yeah, comments. yeah, yeah. I'll bring up the comments, and uh, Will's gonna we're gonna come back to that conversation. Get your questions in the comments. We're gonna get them yep, here. Yep, right it's now. right here. And listen, if you got if if you have any questions in the comments, either from, from Facebook, Rumble, or YouTube, post them in. We'll uh we'll throw them in because we're, we're going for a little. Yeah, we're going for a while. Questions. We don't we don't really have a time frame at, at the moment. Uh, yeah, we're we're going. going hours, we're yeah. we're about yeah. three hours now, but uh, I'm gonna quick pee break. Will's gonna sit in the pilot seat. I love y'all. Thank you. Yeah, we got the pilot seat. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, man. Especially me, man. <laughs> I had these peas. All right, let's get to the comments. Live chat. All right. News now. Fort Worth. New subscriber. Yes, new subscriber. That's awesome. Yes. I I want to say I love Mellows. I know Mellows gets disappointed sometimes. But man, I got so much shit to do, man. Shit. I wish I had three of me. That's why we're even. You already know. You got food toy in this bitch. Indy, good to see you. Get your questions or comments in this bitch. Good. Okay, so according to News uh, Free Press Fort Worth, new reports of Vice President Kamala Harris is spearheading the office to enforce red flag gun confiscation laws. Donald Trump famously said... Take the gun in in regards in talking contextually to red flag gun laws. He says, let's take the guns first and then worry about due process later. So that's one thing that Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and Joe Biden can agree on. Taking your fucking weapons, taking your self-defense from you. Nice. All right, we got out of hell. What is my opinion on the authenticity of archaeological dig photos, dinosaurs and giant statues? You know, honestly, like I said before, it would have been somewhat mainstream before, but also always questioning. But within the last couple months, I definitely question everything. So once I realized that they've been photoshopping shit since the 1850s, uh, and we got a new Fritz podcast coming soon. Honestly, Mel's, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take a peek. All right. We got some new subscribers in there too, man. That's awesome. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, like I said. Will, oh, did the camera freeze? Oh, no, it didn't freeze. Good. Um, Will, like I said, in the beginning of this podcast, me and Will go way back. He's teaching me, me teaching him, probably more him teaching me uh, on a lot of things. And that and that's kind of like how how that brotherhood has been, you know, connected. But um, I, I really do appreciate the followers of Fake Mike Real News, Will Turbot, coming in here on, on the YouTube channel because, look, as I'm sure you know, YouTube is a, um, it is like next to Google on uh, censorship. So I appreciate y'all. This is probably the most live that the chat room has ever been on YouTube. And I appreciate that. I'm very, I, I feel very blessed on that. Um, and, um, and on Facebook, on Rumble. Um, I, I, I highly recommend that everybody like, share, subscribe on Spotify and Rumble, the TRU perspective, the true perspective on Spotify and Rumble. 
And and you're more than welcome to 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 uh, subscribe on the YouTube channel as well because I do need the followers. I, I you know it definitely helps. But um, I, I I normally tell everybody to go to YouTube. I mean I'm sorry. I you I normally tell everyone to go to Spotify and Rumble because they don't censor, they don't shadow ban. As far as I know, they don't do that. Um, yeah, Tartaria, yo. Like, share, subscribe if you're watching from Tartaria behind the ice wall. Yeah, Will, Will, yeah, Will says a shout out everybody on the uh, beyond the this ice is wall. What, of this Tartaria. is what I am as a grown man. I'm, I'm. This is what I am. I'm drawing. This is, this is, this is me right here. I'm yeah, drawing yeah. pictures of this. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is. And you know, it's yo, you know what's funny, man? Like, there's, we, we're, we're actually in the day and age of where we cannot say things. We weren't even there five a couple years ago because before no. remember before, co- before shout out to Tom from before Preston. COVID, I can't believe you even just said that. You're I, brave. Listen, you're a brave man. Here's the thing, man. I here's the thing. I don't self censor. I, 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 let I, me tell you this. I, can't, I said I'm this to you before. Not to self censor. I, I feel you, but let me say this to you because I've been on the internet doing this for a little bit sure, longer than sure, you. Sure, sure. <clears throat> I'm, I'm pro- people, I, it's probably not helpful that I that no, I, let me, that let me I, that I don't self censor. But let, it's hard for me. Let me tell you, there's pros and cons with both. Sure. Right. So you're talking. Some people might look at me like, "Oh, damn, you're a sellout, right?" Oh, when Will, when you were bringing up um, a couple things, Will said, eh, "I wouldn't bring up that up." That, right. that to, to to a lot of people out there it might sound like I'm a bitch and I don't want to talk about certain things and I'm a sellout or I'm controlled. Fair enough. But let me just tell you what my perspective. You're trying is. to save the channel. I totally what, get no, it. No, what I'm trying to. Well, I'm just. I'm just. <clears throat> I, I'm. I look at things logically, and this is this is a fault of mine too. Mm-hmm. But I look things. Lo- I look at things logically and pragmatically. Mm. And so you're talking to a, a dude that I had my first channel taken down mm-hmm. without one, two, three strikes, just taken down. I had strikes on the shit before. Just, just fully removed, yeah. But fully removed. I, I'm talking to somebody that <clears throat> admits on my Instagram that they're limiting my shit, that had their first Facebook banned, and then my second Facebook's fucked up too. And the reason why I say, hey, do this, do that. And honestly, before, I would have never self-censored myself. And I didn't. But what I realized is <clears throat> it's better talking to even 40, 50, 7, or 2 people than no people. Mm. Because if I can give people the gist of the idea... And give them the Socratic method, they can get the rest on their own. If I can give them the gist of the idea and then tell them to, hey, go to my website, they can get the rest on their own. But if I, as long as I can teach people the Socratic method, I don't have to teach people a goddamn thing else besides that. But yeah, that's the that's why I I uh, there's certain topics I just will not bro- breach on uh, on YouTube for for sure. Uh, I just will not do it because at the end of the day, <clears throat> through auditing, right? Like I got. And I would never have gotten this many subscribers if it wasn't through auditing. Mm. And of course, I've been lucky enough to get some amazing interviews in my in my day. Mm-hmm. But through auditing, I wouldn't. I'm almost. I'm nearly at twenty thousand subscribers on YouTube. It's mostly all through auditing. But I would have never gotten that had I did my first cha- what I did in my first channel. And I figure if I can do some audit videos, and in my audit videos, I can tell people some sh- some real shit that they would have never heard ever before, I'm going to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Rather than just get my whole channel banned and just be, what am I going to be talking to that wall right over there? So that's that's why I say, and, and, I'm, and I'm and people might say, hey, Will, you're a sellout, you're this, you're that. Hey, cool, but at least I'm out here, I'm, I'm trying, and at the same time, I I'm just thinking from a pragmatic approach i would rather reach some people than no people you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because <clears throat> like i say i would keep it rocking on rumble for you this is what i would do if i were you i'm gonna hook you up with a website right you're gonna pay for uh because mellows is is it is here he's watching he's subscribed and mellows matter of fact he he loves your song and i love it oh, too. yeah 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 and uh, i love is it that, too is that- is that no the surrender, t- the TL- no retreat, the TLB. Yep. Uh, yes, it's still yes, played yes. to this day. Still played to this day. Yo, sh- and that's and that's national. If you if you're seeing this, or if you, if he's able to see this, or if you he's watching right now. If you're watching he's right now, brother, I appreciate you. I remember talking to you. I remember being on your show, and I had that conversation downloaded. I've been wanting to break up the pieces on that. I I still have that. I appreciate you. If you're still playing that song, I. I Thank you. I appreciate that. Yo, bro, that. that's my boy Theo. V is the guy. Me and V were the guys doing that radio show, but Theo. 
Theo loves that song, and I do too. Theo's like literally one of my best friends in the whole world, and I've never even met him. He's somebody in England, and that's the power of the internet, and that's why. And I've been saying I've been saying a lot of doom and gloom, but let me say this. Mm-hmm. I recently brag alert, brag alert. I secured <laughs> one of the coolest, in- the, probably one of the top five interviews I've ever done, and I've done a lot of really cool interviews. Mm-hmm. Recently, it was so fucking sexy that I had to take it off YouTube. It's only available on my website, fakemikerealnews.com. I interviewed former, the first black congresswoman from Georgia, congresswoman, PhD, congresswoman Cynthia McKinney. You will remember Cynthia McKinney. Yes. <clears throat> remember when the that charismatic, engaging, mm, sexy black woman? I'm sorry. I'm just saying. She's sexy. Black woman confronted Donald Rumsfeld about Dyncord and the missing children and the 2.3 missing trillion right after 9-11. Oh, yes. Her. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I yeah, recently yeah. interviewed her. And You uh, interviewed her? Yeah, man. I've been trying wow. to interview for like 20 years. It's That's only amazing, on fakemikerealnews.com. And it was it was one of my dopest interviews. I wish I could just interview her for hours and hours and hours. And her she's got the best smile. And she's such oh my god. I'm I'm literally it's fucked up because I Are you had, having a political crush? No, I, I it's fucked up because I had a <laughs> I had a girlfriend for like five years mm-hmm. and the only person I've ever put up on Facebook. I, I don't I'm not with a girl right now, so I'm not disrespecting my girl. Um but I but that's another story for another podcast. <laughs> um <clears throat> I, th- I but the only person that's ever been my woman crush Wednesday was Cynthia McKinney, even when I had a girlfriend. <clears throat> and so I interviewed her, and the point of what I'm saying is this. I'm talking a lot of doom and gloom, and what do we know, and what is this? <clears throat> Remember what I talked about earlier? Mm. That Jordan Maxwell and that before the age was age of Aries, and then there was the age of Pisces. Mm-hmm. This yeah, is the yeah, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give me give me give me oh, two minutes right I'm, here. Are we rolling back? Give okay. me two minutes All real right. quick. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius. Pull that song up. Type in, type in age of Aquarius song. Pull okay. it up. We're going to play it. And matter of fact, Kanye sampled it for a song with most deaf. Uh, and <clears throat> the point I'm, I'm trying to make right here being obviously. Fifth dimension? No. Okay. It's uh, it's like from the seventies or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It might be. Let me see. Nineteen sixty nine. Yep. Nice. Okay. Hold on. You blank that out. YouTube might might be. YouTube's gonna hit you with a copyright strike. Piece for this. of shit about it. You, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you you're not gonna get monetized. Though. Are you monetized right now? <laughs> then you're just gonna get. A, yep. So we're gonna play a song. Uh, is that it? <laughs> yep. Give me give me ten seconds to introduce the song. Okay. So the reason now the cast from Broadway. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. I just. Is because in this movement, although I've been bringing up a lot of this stuff, I've been the unflinching optimist. I know that also, we're gonna- there, there, there's going to be, <laughs> if if you don't mind, someone may have a live question about. Let's do it. Okay. A- any any dope. questions or comments, <clears throat> and especially if you disagree, I have to, I have to call them. <clears throat> please do. Okay. Please do. Okay, dope. <clears throat> because I be love first. that. This will be a first on, on the show, actually. But too. so here's the here's the here's other the good than news. you, actually, no, you've been the you first know live caller. Because I'd be bro. watching your shit, bro. bro. Yeah, I, I, love, and, it. And I honestly, love it. I love and it. And honestly, there's been guests that have come on the show that I disagree with them on some things. Yep. yep but yep, at yep, the yep, end yep, of the yep, day, yep. at at the end of the day, I the reason I'm disagreeing with them. Is because I love them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because not and, and let me take it a step further. Because here's the thing. Wait, that, that's a very Jesus trait. Not according to Jesus. You don't think so? Jesus said, "I don't come in peace." He comes in the name of sword. Mm. And that's according to. I'm gonna let somebody else. <laughs> please do. I will. Trust me. I, will. I, I've I will. debated Christians for years, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. But listen. So, okay. <clears throat> where were we going with this? Uh you were talking about um oh oh the song the song uh aquarius that was another age side of- jack but yeah so age of aquarius the reason i'm playing this is like i said before before we had the age of the ram aries and that's my sign bro we're about to be in aries season and then I'm, and then i'm gonna wash up and i'm gonna wash- dave Chappelle reference anyway so <laughs> and then we got to age of pisces jesus but now guess what <clears throat> The reason I started bragging about Cynthia McKinney is because we're in the age of Aquarius. 
we're entering the age of Aquarius. When everybody was saying, oh, 2012, the Mayans, we're going to enter the world. I was saying, mm. mm-hmm. based on my research, I could be wrong, but I really think that 2012 is <clears throat> the beginning of the age of Aquarius. It's a new zodiacal sign. And so I didn't take that as a good or bad. I took it as a new, but I actually take it as a good because the age of Aquarius, I had I had a thousand questions written down for Cynthia McKinney because he's literally someone that I find highly attractive. And it's not only because how sexy she is physically, but also because mainly because of who she is and her and what her tenacity and what she does and how she has the balls of a thousand men standing up to the system. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And one of the things I had written down in the center of the page was Cat Williams. Why Cat Williams? And so I couldn't get to all my questions, obviously, because Cynthia McKinney, she's a busy person. The fuck she going to do fucking around with me for multiple, <laughs> multiple hours, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so she, I said, what, are your, what do you think about the future? We got... The political stuff, we got the the election coming up, we got all these crazy world events we just discussed. <clears throat> what do you think about what's going on happening in the future? She said 2024 is the year that we, I'm paraphrasing, <clears throat> that we see shit, mm. that we start to see shit. <clears throat> and she said when, <clears throat> when Cat Williams went on thing, we started to seal the thing, Joe and it's Rogan funny. <clears throat> no, or, or, no, and I'm or, gonna let me let me say something. Oh, the real. other guy there, I, I can't remember his name. Is Shannon it? Sharp. Yeah. And so Thank when you. she went on that, it was the thing. And so and the crazy thing about all that is, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that Cat Williams says. Cat Williams believes <clears throat> there's a lot of things I don't agree with, but <clears throat> I actually, <clears throat> my brother Matt, love this motherfucker. I, it's my brother. Mm-hmm. I texted him and a few other people mm-hmm. <clears throat> recently when Cat Williams was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Mm-hmm. Not when he was on the Shannon Sharp pro- podcast. The, we talked about this all ties together. Mm-hmm. The number one podcast of all time on the internet was Alex Jones, Joe Rogan of all time. I don't know. I don't Say know. It again. The number one podcast on YouTube of all time. Yep. Was I don't know if Cat Williams has surpassed it now. The Shannon Sharp <clears throat> was Alex Jones, Joe Rogan, mm-hmm. which tells me something. This goes back to the age of Aquarius, which means we're winning, which means we got to keep up the fight and we got to fight double, triple harder. And by fighting, I mean nonviolently to create a more altruistic world through nonviolence and the Socratic method. But metaphorically speaking, we need to keep up the fight. We need to redouble our efforts. We need to keep it going. But we never need, it's not like having faith in the Lord, like, you don't have to worry because the Lord's going to come down and save us, or you'll you'll die and we'll go to heaven. Rest assured that we are in the age of Aquarius. And for all the crazy shit that we're talking about, the controllers and the bad things and the people that have lied about all these and the pedophiles, people like you Mm -hmm. and many others who you stand on the shoulders of have laid the groundwork for what we're coming into now. And Cat Williams is such a funny person to be the person that is the microcosm that we're zeroing in on under a microscope to represent the whole world, the whole society. The old number one podcast of all time was Alex Jones on Joe Rogan. What does that mean as far as what you and I are talking about? Joe Rogan, as my opinion, and Alex Jones are probably at... Joe Rogan might be a good person. But Alex Jones' bare minimum is a sellout. But at the end of the day, what, what do those people represent to mainstream society? <clears throat> Truth, under, trying to find out more, right? Mm-hmm. They, don't rep, they represent something vastly different than what we've been given in a long time. Mm-hmm. Even though Alex Jones is a sellout and Joe Rogan is questionable at best. Mm-hmm. And for that to be the number one podcast in all of YouTube means that we're winning. And then the number two, even even though even though that even Alex though, Jones would even be, though even though let's just say for a fact, you and I had privately witnessed a video, and we can confirm a thousand percent that Joe. We watched a video where Joe Rogan and Alex Jones did some terrible things to kids and did some weird satanic ritual. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. 
people are gravitating towards this. And when Cat Williams, no, that would matter though. It that, would. That, it that, would. That it would matter. That definitely. Not you would, for my you, point. You would, you, would, you would write them off immediately. If I that, would if write that, them off. But what what matters? You would immediately say like, "Yo, they're they're on." They're, I, I already have. But already, I already write off Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. Alex Jones already. Is, oh, I mean, <clears throat> Alex Jones a thousand percent. Joe Rogan. This is where this is. Where wait, you're wait. So forget that. Forget bit. because this is the point. This is the point that I'm making. Okay. Though, all right. Is I, I respect it, I respect where you're coming from. I do, but <clears throat> it doesn't make a difference if they are literally. <clears throat> it matters. From my point is. To the age of Aquarius, first we had the age of Aries, age of Pisces. Now we're in the age of Aquarius. It's the age of awakening. Thanks to efforts like you, thanks to the efforts of the people that you stand on their shoulders of, <laughs> humbly speaking, you've done your part. You haven't done a, I mean, you, you're no fucking Jesus Christ or whatever, <laughs> right? right? But right, you've right. done your part. You've more than done your part. And you're standing on the shoulders of people that, me and you are standing on the shoulders of people that, God damn, God damn, they're amazing. Right mm -hmm. for thousands of years, supposedly hundreds of years, especially even in, in recent history. <clears throat> and even if these Alex Jones and and I do believe they're 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 gatekeepers at best, Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. The fact that there's so much attention on that podcast and the other thing, the num the number two, maybe number one podcast in the world right now, is Shannon Sharp, Cat Williams, saying, "What are they talking about in that podcast?" They're talking about the stuff that you and I talked about years ago and were laughed about. Mm -hmm. They're talking, and now I don't agree with all their assessment or everything. But what are they talking about? They're talking about Hollywood's a bunch of weird, sick fucking freaks. Mm -hmm. They're talking about Illuminati. They're talking about <clears throat> controllers. How this world really runs. People want that information. That's what we want now. Before we were crazy. We were. Whatever. It doesn't make a difference. We still have, like I said, we still have to double, redouble. We honestly, we, I'm saying this to you when I'm pointing that finger at you, one, two, three, four, back at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to re-quadruple our efforts because these people are like corn and mice. They're, they're rats. They're going to, they're doing any and everything. In every moment that we're not doing something to try to change the current predicament where we're in, more people are suffering and dying. And keep in mind, look at all this dope technology. Now, this is no, this ain't no Joe Rogan podcast. I don't have somebody that's going to sit here. And yeah, we <laughs> we on a, on a two hundred million dollar uh, Spotify I'm not contract. On a, yeah, <laughs> because it's nice when you get Although, banned. Spotify. It's please, nice when you get. Out. It's nice when you get banned and it's international news and you get yeah. a contract for two hundred yeah. million dollars. I would love to get that type of man. The contract <laughs> cannot. Have any all creative control to all true. creative control all creative control to and the true five percent to will and five percent to will <laughs> no, because no, all to true because five percent to will means that fake Mike real news builds up and all that stuff. This is about building the truth movement, uh, but yeah, I'm we're not, having a house meeting, y'all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Remember Black Gallagher from where? From Dave Chappelle. Yo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that, that's such a classic So the age, age of Aquarius, man, we're here. We're in it. But <clears throat> I'm talking to you. And look, I know you're a father. And mm -hmm. I know you got a lot of time. And the real revolution is raising children. Keep doing that and spend as much time with you and your family. We're going <laughs> to get on that topic about that also. I know. I, I know. About, I know. I know. I know. Let's talk about transgenders yeah, yeah. right well, now. Well, can I, can, can I make a phone call? Yeah, because yeah, Because yeah. th there's someone that's tuning in. A brother, a brother of mine that I just had on here uh, yesterday. Todd Chattel. UFC fighter, but also a Christian. And let me just say and, this. And, and, I, this and is he's, point very, that I, he's very well versed. This is the point that I want to get to in regarding to that person sure. and to anybody else. Because I come off as, <clears throat> and this is the reason I encourage everybody else to get involved, because I'm a douche. And I come off real douchey. So I need you guys to get involved. No, listen. <clears throat> let, let, hear me out. Hear me out for one second. Mm -hmm. So there's many people on the true perspective that have come on that there's some things about that they say that I disagree with. Sure. But. Sure. But the fact that they're out here and they're doing things and they're making active changes makes them a b way above everything. And the fact that I'm critiquing them <clears throat> shows that I'm at least below their level mm -hmm. because I'm, which is kind of whack. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. But it makes me say because 
the reason I critique people like who I don't even know who that is, but other people that will come on you and anybody mm -hmm. is because <clears throat> I admire them so much. And and this goes to Proud Boys, this goes to Antifa. Mm -hmm. This goes to anybody that has ever taken a min minute, even if the mainstream news told you to go out and protest and do something, <clears throat> or or because you could have been sitting there watching. And there's nothing wrong with these things. You could have been sitting there playing video games or watching sports or masturbating to porn or doing any of these things. <clears throat> I don't even know who that person is. Mm -hmm. But the reason I critique these people is because I admire them so much that they have dedicated their lives. I get it, bro. You, you, it's to a, doing it, something. It's about truth and love. What, 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 you legitimately are trying to find. Ultimately, you're trying to find truth, but you do do it out of love. I, I do. I genuinely. I believe just do that. it in a douchey way. Listen, you're. A, I'm a douchebag. I'm gonna say it this way. You Let's are. Let's just a, say it. I'm a douchebag. Out of being a truth movement, a, 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 a truth. Um, uh, what do you call? Uh, someone that 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 expresses that they want truth. That they're they're an expressor of truth. They want uh, the fulfillment of truth and and to express that upon others. Biblically. In Christianity, you essentially are a John the Baptist or 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 a Paul Revere. You, one and the same. If you put Paul Revere and John the Baptist uh, side by side, they're very similar. I preferred my. Do you know why? Do you know why yes, though? Do you yes, know why? Yes, because they were warning the people of the oncoming yes. stuff. I prefer to. Yes, I prefer brother. to my. I prefer to my to uh, liken myself un. And and trust me, I'm not on that level. Um, physically, most women. But I'm saying no. That, but, but what I'm uh, saying is, I, I'm more of a Thomas Paine. Okay. Thomas Paine okay. is somebody that wrote Common Sense, that wrote something. Obviously, I'm speaking. I've written shit too, mm -hmm. but I'm speaking, which is the modern yeah, but incarnation. Look, 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 but also, Thomas Paine, when uh, a time when all these people were allegedly Christians, he was a deist, by the way. Not only a deist, but he exposed the fact that Christianity was sun worship. Do you? Ooh, that's yeah, what but, he said. Okay. All right. Well, that's. that's I'm not saying he. That's well, kind yeah. of an opinion. It true. It's kind of an true, opinion. True. True. You're right. I agree. You know what I'm saying? That, I agree. That, it's not opinion. exposed. It's sure. he theorized. Theorized. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Bro, bro, brother, yeah. brother. Listen. Listen. We're having a discussion. Delete that right now. <laughs> uh, I'm actually. I'm actually gonna see if. Um, this individual get all the questions and comments up. up on YouTube. Let's start engaging the comments on Rumble. Who's yeah, on yeah. Rumble? Let's everyone that's on comments. Rumble, everyone, everyone that's on Rumble, YouTube, Spotify. Um, is it ringing? This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Pretty sure it's ringing. I, I hear it ringing. Todd, you there? No, it hasn't picked up yet. Um, and I, I, I predicted every time I talk about Christianity, there's always people that come out and, and want to and, and want to talk about, which is good. This, and it's good because we need to talk about this. This we need yes, yeah, yeah. to talk about everything. Yes. And like you said earlier, Christianity. Now there's now there's more before levels of Christianity were were in decline. And what I attribute that to personally, this is a theory here. I can't prove this, but what I attribute that to is. That the, the the controllers replace that with science. Um, okay. Might be a bit, bit of an issue. Hold on a second here. Because he, cause Todd... I'll you, give him my he, personal number two, bro. He's very much knowledgeable about... We're going to have to just do it like this, brother. I think. Is, Hello? Hey, Todd. Can you hear me, brother? Yes, sir. I can hear you. We, we, you're you're live right now. You're live with me on the True Perspective and uh, Will Turbot of Fake Mike Real News. Hey, Todd. Well, I just want to say, I want to say briefly before you say whatever you have to say. Thank you very much for dedicating your life to something that is beyond yourself and trying to reach the people and spread love and truth in the world. Uh, so I may have some pushback and some criticism for what you your ideas. But the fact that you have dedicated your life to uh, to love and truth and wisdom is something that I admire greatly, and it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too, brother. I guess I guess my first question for you is: Do you believe that there is intelligent design? 
I'm sorry. Could you say that yeah, one more say, time, please? Say that one more time because you just put it. Uh, the, uh, let me call, call, let me call you on this other number. No, I got it. I, I'm perfect right now. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I just didn't have you. the headphones on at the moment. Sorry. Yep. Oh, all right. I guess my first question was, do you believe in intelligent design? Not sure. I do Not believe sure. it's... I, I, if I had to bet, I would probably say yes. I, I, if press, I, I would, I, I would, if I'm not a betting man, but if I was to bet, I would say, yes, there is intelligent design. Well, I, I think, so this would be better. So this, this can't be like a debate or something because we're really not set up for that in this situation. I'm not even trying to but, debate. I'm just trying to come no, to no, truth. No, if you got information. Debate, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Debates are good. Debates are good for learning and growing. Right. Mm -hmm. as men but this is this is what i'm saying i just heard a few things and and so for me um well i started the same way with with i question everything i don't just take somebody's word for it and you can keep going back and back and back right mm -hmm. and then i ended up at a crossroads where i started understanding that because some of your question questions were <laughs> well who wrote the bible you know why would i listen to them how could you believe them and things like that so the biggest thing that 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 um, when I hit that crossroads was there was 10 people. There was 12 people that followed Jesus out of 12 of them. One killed himself because he betrayed he betrayed him. And the other 10 went to the death, went to death saying look, it, it, basically like if I say to you, you know, say you believe something, I put a gun to your head and I say, don't believe say you don't believe it in this world, you're going to you're going to preserve your life and say, I don't believe it. Even if I do these, these gentlemen, they went to the, to the, to their death and they were martyred. One of them actually was crucified upside down because he believed that he didn't deserve the same death as Jesus. And, and so now I'm wondering why didn't they just say, you know, I don't believe and then keep going on and pressing the message. But Jesus had said this one thing. If you deny me before a man, I will deny you before my father in heaven. So, so I guess when you stop the whole, the whole process, you, you know, you don't know what to believe, but at some point you have to choose faith in something. Why do you think those people died and were tortured for Jesus? Because they, they, they followed Christ, right? They saw him, they saw him heal people, bring people back to the dead. They saw him uh, resurrected. They, they saw all these miracles. Walk, like you said earlier, walk on water. They, these were these were accounts with by you know a history book of people that walked with Christ. And I know you, I know we could say you know those you know those who win the wars make the rules, write the history, and all these things. But at a certain point, you have to start with faith. Is what I'm saying. My retort, respectfully, would be that. I would have to see some evidence that these people were tortured and uh, were crucified for Christ because at the end of the day, we're just taking the word of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire, they were having sex with horses. They were burning shit. They were, I mean, they were doing terrible things. So typically as well, just... I'll yeah, typically as just a frame of reference, I don't believe people that fuck horses. So uh, just, be <laughs> just because someone said... Uh, that that some people were tortured and died. I mean, there's a million. There's homeless people that will tell you crazy things. There's people that get that will get up on the the stand and snitch uh, and lie. There are people that will make up stories every single day in this country and across the world. People make up stories and they're not true. I get that. So too, my point I, is, I my point is, how do you know that these people were actually tortured? You're just taking the word of the Roman Empire and the Roman Empire. Well, I'm not taking, I'm definitely not taking the word of the Whose Roman Empire. Whose word are you Empire taking specifically? Scriptures that were found in ancient times. It's, it's, what it's scriptures? Came from, it didn't come from the Roman Empire. It came from the Middle East. What scriptures specifically Bi are you referring text, to? Genesis, ex Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, all 66 books. Sure. What, so you're talking about historical texts. Which historical texts are you talking about? Genesis. What uh, what findings? What year? Who all, found them? All, all all 66 books. I mean, we can go. That's what I'm saying. I'm not set up for a debate because we could actually go into that and bring you know 
proof and facts and you know where they came from and who they came from and all these things can be found you said he, earlier what fine. you said earlier really it goes to my point which is at the end of the day you have to take a leap of faith and faith is exactly. a nice it, yeah and so i disagree with that premise i think you're an honorable <clears throat> person but i disagree with that particular premise which is that you have to take a leap of faith. I disagree with that. I think you should never make up your mind until you have overwhelming evidence. And a okay. leap of and so and let me just give you an example of why taking faith uh, as a premise is a bad example. Because yeah, having faith that, for example, faith can be a good or bad thing, just like anything else. We live in a world where a weapon can be good to defend yourself from people, and it can also be bad. Fire can be good because it can cook your meal, or it also can be used as an, by an arsonist to burn your family down. Uh, same thing with what you're referring to um, in faith. So I can have faith that in a tough time that my brother True, if a whole bunch of people were about to beat my ass, that true hopefully would jump in and at least stop them bare minimum i have faith in him on that because i believe well, yeah, in that so that's so, so, so you're no, no hear me out here's my point and then i'll let you retort so i have faith in that because based on what i know about true and our relationship in the past i i i have full faith that he would not let me just get my ass whipped and die in the middle of the streets by random people but having faith, like I said earlier, is just like fire or weapon or anything else. It's a good and a bad thing. So having faith can be a good thing, like having faith in that, knowing that, hey, you know what? I don't have to be afraid in the little bitch when I walk out to my car later on because I know at the end of the day, and even if I die, who cares, whatever. But this is just an example. But faith can also be a bad thing. So in Nazi Germany, all the people have faith that Hitler was doing the right thing. and No, they were scared. <laughs> Maybe they maybe they didn't have uh, faith in him. maybe maybe not. But I mean, so if, the, if, if they the were, the Bible says, the Bible says, test the scriptures, right? So you start with faith. You do you believe Jonah was in a whale for three days? Yes, I do. A hundred percent. I believe everything the Bible says, word for word. So the Bible so, is entire. So you believe the entire Bible is entirely literal, and there's no metaphors. Yes, a hundred percent. Okay, so, so the Bible says, test the scriptures, right? Wow. So once first. you test the scriptures. Once you test the scriptures through faith, then you start to receive the evidence. See, God is different. You go to school, you learn, you, you learn, you, you get the lesson, then you take the test. God gives you the test, then you begin to, then you begin to learn the lesson. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So God, God is not like us. His ways are above our ways. His thoughts are above our thoughts. So I can understand your perspective because I had the same perspective. But the, but the, I mean that's a, see. So what's the, best, what's the best? What's the best? proof that like i said earlier which is the main crux of my argument is extraordinary you're making an extraordinary claim right now you're making exactly. an extraordinary that claim extraordinary. yes it, we we would both agree here that you're making an extraordinary claim which is that jesus christ existed and not only did he exist but he was the son of god and he created several miracles and he not should only be that, and he not is God. He is God. He <laughs> is 300 prophecies. Yeah, 300 prophecies too. I've, I've debunked that many times. Um <laughs> so okay, so you I believe so okay, so damn, where was I going with this? My bad. You you were you were saying that Jesus had several uh you were saying that Jesus had several occurrences of of uh affirmation. All right. So, so, okay. So yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Extraordinary, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence is where yeah, I'm going yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. So like I said earlier, if, if you claim that Jesus is, uh, you know, the son of God and created all these miracles, as I laid out earlier, there is literally no evidence that Jesus even existed during his, ex during his time. That's that's not How's a debate. How's that? I laid it out specifically earlier. During Jesus's lifetime, during Jesus's lifetime, there's, there's not there, there's documents, there's written facts. Give me one document. People name one document. There's, there's name a lot. So one there's document. Six, I did, I told you about sixty six books. Okay, that, but name but prophesied, prophesied name one prophecy. Days, you know, name one prophecy. That, but we can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. Like no, you're 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 claiming receipts, Thank but you. you're saying you're. I, I'm I'm making claims, and you're well, claiming I'm, I'm making I can't claims. Get into a debate. I can't get then into why did you call in? About, 
because be, I wanted to correct you when you were okay, but you can't about, correct me if you don't have any receipts. Because what I'm telling you right now about, is <laughs> what I'm telling you when you were saying things about Leviticus, saying that you know God killed babies and this and that. And, does and, Leviticus and these, does what is Leviticus? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> what does Leviticus say about slavery? It, 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 See, so True tried to explain that to you earlier. Mm. When he was when he was saying slaves, they weren't chattel slaves or indentured servants. They were people who owed a debt that was supposed to work it off. The How do you know that? that Africans... Hold on, hold on. Let's take it slow because because look, we're here for the truth, right? So you're, you're, you're you're telling That's me. How I know that. Okay, what research? What evidence do you have? Because See, you're... I keep I, I keep saying I'm not up for a debate because you have to put together. You know, you got to have the. Well, the thing is, you, as a, a respectfully, sir, as a man, if you're making claims and you have no evidence, and I'm stating out claims and I have evidence, and you're rebutting everything that I say. What, and what's you, your evidence? You... What's your evidence? That's okay, that's my evidence. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my evidence again, sir, just in case you weren't watching the the show because you may have not. I it's been a, I, I yeah, it's watching, been a long it's been a long thing. Here's I, I'll, I'll lay out my evidence for you. So my evidence is, according to mainstream Christian apologists, I'm not talking about the mainstream. I'm not talking about people that dislike Jesus, but according to mainstream yeah, Christian historians, there is no evidence for Jesus during his lifetime. So yeah, but, but that you just threw something out there according to them. Who's them? I don't. You know what I'm saying? That's I'll tell you who they is. I, I got receipts. I'll tell you who they is. Ask any question. I'll I'll gladly. I, I, and, and to tell you the truth, brother, I didn't call in for you because I know where your heart is. I called in for the people that are listening. If you have faith, you test the scriptures. You walk righteously. You 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 question everything. Question. What are you're you saying, willing to live in a whale saying, for three days? I, I mean that's Jonas. He he had to do that because he wouldn't listen to God. We all we all end up. But in you our said own you way. wanted to test the scriptures. So would you test the scriptures I, by going into a whale? I will crowdfund that. I live, in, that. A whale. Trust me, I live I will, in my own kind of way. No, nah, no. Nah, I mean seriously. You said the Bible is all literal. I'm taking your words, so, not mine. I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're taking yep, your words. Ahead. You're we're taking your words, not mine. And you said according to your words, the Bible is all literal. That's what you said. Yep. And you also yep. said that you need to test the scriptures. So if you yes. indeed are true about testing the scriptures, you need to live in a whale for three days. I mean, if that's what God has for me. No, no, no. What do you mean? No, you just said out of your own mouth. You can either you can either live I by what no no, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Did I sir, I, I, I did not did interrupt I you. I, in whale? I, I don't care right. what you said or what you felt, but what I'm trying to tell you, sir, is you are coming on here. And you are saying that you yep. disagree with me. And you are saying, yes. and you're providing no evidence. I disagree with you saying you read the Bible when, you, when you're taking things out of context. That's fine, sir. That's fine, sir. But my question to you is, you, from your words, nothing what I said, whatever. Let's take me completely out of this entire equation. You said, okay. you said that the Bible is entirely literal, correct? Yes, I did. You also said that you I'll need stand to... on that all the way to the Okay, death. agree. We agree there. And you also said that you need to test the scriptures, correct? That's yes. your words, not mine. Yes. When when Jesus says walk by faith, not by sight, test it out. See what Okay, happens. so test it out. As so you, why haven't you, you Okay, so you, why haven't you been in a whale for three days? Because if you look and you read the scriptures, Jonas didn't put himself in that way. God put him there because he had him on a mission. And but you said, said to I test. Don't go there. Well, you I, said I, to let test. Finish, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm not. But, I, but I, God, God let said, finish. Don't, don't. He said, go over there, minister to those people, prophesy to those people. Jonas didn't want to do what he was called to do. I'm saying God calls us, read the scriptures, live, live, walk by faith, not by sight, like the things when you're saying in Leviticus when they say, All you right. know, you're not supposed to eat this, you're not supposed to eat that. And Jesus says, I have a new covenant. Let me ask you not, a, we'll a serious question. What comes out Let's take a I'm sorry. I just heard all these arguments a thousand times. All right. So peep game. Hold, hold, hold on. No, no. Hold, fin this is a Hold on. Finish, because I don't think the audience was able to hear that. Finish that last my, part my there. My apologies, sir. My apologies. I, I said that testing the scriptures is this. When Jesus says walk by faith and not by sight, and earlier he, earlier he was saying, you know, when you're not supposed to eat this, you're not supposed to mm -hmm. eat that. And they were living real foul, and they got killed, you know, wiped out because God didn't see any good mm -hmm. except for Abraham. So now when it comes to that, Jesus says, because the whole, the, whole, the whole Bible in the entirety, Jesus comes to save us. 
And he says, it's not what goes into your mouth, but what comes out of your mouth, because what comes out comes from the heart, mm -hmm. right? So now when, when, you, when you talk about the old scriptures, you, you, you have to use the Bible in the entirety. You can't just take things out of sure. context. Let me ask you a question. Judging by your voice, I'm going to guess, and this could be totally racist, but I think I'm correct. I'm guessing you're an African-American male. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm pretty good at this, right? Okay, so... No, I'm, no, no, I'm not. I'm actually not. I'm French and Cape Verdean. Yeah. Okay, Cape Verdean is African descent, correct? Portuguese, African. Yes. You're, it's yeah. all mixed up. It's flavor, I'm guessing. It's I'm guessing you have darker skin it's than me. Tells, no, I'm no, probably not. I'm, I'm uh, mostly French. No? No, he doesn't. No. In the summertime, he, he, I'm pretty dark. He doesn't have darker <laughs> skin than me. Look how pale I am. He, he, he oh. looks more like me. Okay. <laughs> Todd, no, no, you... I'm not that way. Ah, oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You we'll, have one of... we'll have to check each other in the summertime, man, when the sun starts blaring on <laughs> yeah. us, brother. I will tell you what. You are one of, you are one of, and yeah, you yeah. say Cape Verdean because you you have African ancestry in you. But you were yeah, one of, we you have. one blood. Yes, absolutely. I made that point early. We're all human beings. We just have different shades of melanin. It's not like we're dogs or wolves or anything like that. Yeah. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. But the reason I bring that this point up is this. Is according to the mainstream history that we've been given, which I don't necessarily even agree with, people, the, the people, whether they were Christian or not, they came in the name of Christ and they eradicated all of the religion and native things that were there in Cape Verde and everywhere. Oh, in the yeah, European I nations. That, I, I know the history. Yeah, so so my I'm point I'm not Christian. You know what you know what I am? This is what the Bible says. God says this be holy because I am holy. So that's what I strive to be in the image of Christ, to walk like Christ, talk like Christ, you know, because my ways, if you if you know, my ways mean you are arguing face to face, it would go a whole different way. Now I come with love. And like I said, it's more for the listeners and hopefully I pray you know, in, in Jesus' name that you hear some of what I say and take it into consideration, maybe even test the scriptures yourself and, and to prove me as a liar. All right, so you one of the major I things we were talking about today was, did Jesus Christ come in peace or did he come in the name of the sword? He came in wielding a sword, dividing mothers from, from uh, sons and fathers, from, from daughters, but that's Jesus, not us. I will tell you, I will, I will say this about you, not that I agree or disagree because I haven't, I, I don't know you or your argument well enough to make a claim either way, but I will say this, you are, from all the people that I have had discussions with, you are the first person that I've ever met that is, and you don't even describe yourself as a Christian, so I, I love the fact that you're a free thinker, first and foremost. Secondly, you also uh, have several beliefs uh, that are different from every other person that I've uh, I've disagreed with, as far as this. Hmm. As far as far as me, my main premise goes to this: is at the end of the day, we're just taking the word of pedophiles, and I'm not being hyperbolic here. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. And this is my this is my it's point. The word of God, not pedophiles. It, nah, but hear me out. But hear me out, though, because where, let I me ask you another your, question. Your, let me ask you a question. Your, Do you believe? Most Christians would say yes, but you're different than most Christians already, but you may agree or disagree. Do you believe that Satan has dominion over the over this earth? Yes. Okay. So this is a point he, I made he, earlier. The, yeah, so the God of this world. I, I yeah. So and this is a point I made but, but, let me let me explain that one to you, right? Sure, but let so me just God make a God, yeah. God is the God of everything, but Satan is the God of this world, essentially doing God's work cuz if we don't choose him, we choose the world. God says either you're with me or you're, you're with me or you're against me. So now that's what George if, Bush if said. You're, you're either with us or you're the terrorist. Yeah, you're either with me or you're against me. So that's that's what it is. So and that's and that's that's the as as I get older. And learn, Thank you for allowing me to do this. That's this how guy. it should be. So what I'm saying is the devil's actually doing God's work because he's. He's over here tempting you with this. All right, so peep game. That. You can Let... only be tempted if you choose him. All right, peep game, peep game, peep game. Like peep game. So, all right. 
So we agreed that the devil, let's say for the sake of this argument, agree that the devil has domain over the earth, right? We agree, right? But not all things. So God can okay. step in and do what, do what he wants when he wants. Okay. We're, we're clay. He's the where, where in the Bible does it state that? I I can look for it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Let me ask you. Let me, okay. The reason I'm asking you all these questions is that the reason it says the, that the, the God of this world, it says, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but evil rulers and principalities. principalities yeah. And the I, high I, yeah. I know. I know. So, my, 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 my point is this. Okay. So, so, and this is, this is, <laughs> okay. So, if Satan has dominion over the world, and I made this point earlier, were true when you were not listening, which is, if Satan has dominion of the world, they say S Satan is pretty clever and wise, right? Mm -hmm. So well, he's been around for thousands of years. Yeah, he's so he's a pretty he's yeah, he's a pretty wise motherfucker. I'm I'm <clears throat> would would we agree that I'm definitely not as wise as Satan, or as clever as Satan, right? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, 100%. okay. Okay, don't have to take it that far. Oh, but I, thank I, I, yeah, I know where you're going. I <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm going. So so if I was Satan. And I'm not as smart as this motherfucker, but if I was, the first thing I would do, given dominion over this earth, was to fuck up the Bible so you motherfuckers worship me and not God. Well, they well they, they tried to do that, but God steps in. When That's did God specifically God step in? Specifically, well, where did he you, step in? If you take the time to draw near to God, he draws near to you, and then you find, you know, the, the older scriptures. That's you know, another left, lack of like, evidence. That's another way of saying, I no, don't have no, any no, evidence, leaves, so if I draw near to him... Leaves, when he leaves things what like about the dead what about people. what about okay so do you believe that all people have to believe in Jesus Christ in so, order to get to the heaven uh, um, this is a question uh, How, of course but real, real quick though I did go back to your last thing sure. you said the first thing you the, the first thing you would do right if you was the devil but the devil's more crafty than you the, what the devil does now nah, first thing i do is get bitches yeah what the devil and a whole does bunch of weed. Nah. <laughs> what the devil does Right, is he makes you believe, or essentially he makes certain people believe that there is no God. That means there is no devil. So now you're not even looking out for him. What is there to look out for specifically? The the traps. What's if a you're trap? You're not looking at the truth. So Can you give me? I don't know where you, you mentioned go. you mentioned one already. I don't know where you. Yeah, go. but it's not the devil. Go, you I mentioned. Go. Is it not the devil though? Why is it the is devil? It not, it, why why isn't it? Why is it? Why? Bird, no, no. When you why no, 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 no. When you make a claim, hold on, hold on. Hold on, brothers, when you, brothers, brothers, on, brothers, brothers. When you make a claim, go ahead. When you, whenever someone makes a claim, yeah. whether it's me, you, this motherfucker, anybody, and I, I'm, I'm saying this motherfucker because I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have said yeah, so yeah, it's before. Right. It's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. You can beat my ass several times for that. No, 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 no. I, I'm I, I literally. No, no, no. I, I haven't had no, anything. Literally and figuratively. You can. <laughs> You can figuratively <laughs> beat my ass. You can throw me in a whale for three days. Look, uh, no, 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 I'll do apologies oh because I, I've been drinking, I've on caffeine, and also I haven't slept or oh, ate see, in a long time. No, no, no. Listen, I, I, I work like seventy hours plus so a week. We gotta get up. We gotta get Facts. up when everybody. And, and let me just say at the end, because yeah. the enemy's prowling like a lion looking for someone to devour. Todd, so so Will, what I want to say is why I interjected there is that. The reason why, so you said you said women, what'd you say? You said women and what else? Weed. Oh no no! If I if I was a devil. No, you're you are not the devil. No no, I'm saying I, I made a joke, right? Like the whole point of what I'm saying is like if if the devil does have dominion over the world, the first thing I would do if I was the devil and I'm not as smart as him, but even though I'm not as smart as him, okay. I would change the Bible and make okay. sure they worship me. Okay. But then I made a joke about so just kidding. It would be bitches and money and all that. Sure. So but 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 okay, but let's put that in perspective. Todd, you're still online, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's put so Will, let's put in let's put that in perspective. Yes. Is it possible? Is it theoretically possible that the devil can intervene into the Bible or in Scripture and intervene in some way in corrupt Scripture? Is it is it possible? Is it theoretically According to Christians. Hold on, hold on. Is it theoretically possible? Yes. 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 Yeah, theoretically. Bible, he's done it in a Todd, Bible. yo, Todd, Todd, yeah, listen, yeah. you, you, brother, you were on here, you were on here yesterday. We were talking about this. Let me, let, let me dive in this for a little bit, Will, because, because yep. this, this, this is something right here. Yep. Scripture aside, Scripture aside, sure. Jesus Christ aside, Yeshua Hamashiach aside, 
God aside. Yeah. You and I have been talking about for 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 a good three hours, three more than three hours right now. We still about, haven't talked about transgender about, people. No, we haven't. But oh, the devil, the devil is transgender. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Don't speak on it. Don't Ma- speak on it yet. Maybe. Wait, maybe not. Wait. 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 I'm wait, shutting wait. up. Hold on, brother. I feel you. What I'm saying here is that has the devil intervened into the earth? That's a question. Most, most Christians would agree. Most. Muslims would agree. Most Jews would agree, although Jews tend to think that the human being is, is part of that evil. But that, that, I'm not even, I don't even want to dive into that conversation because it's so, it's so much, it's so much more deeper. But what Todd had, had said, well, actually, what you had asked Todd, rather, is that, is the devil have, have dominion over the earth? Yes, he does. Because if you go, if you go far back, and, it, and the Jesus, Bible, the, the, the canonical Bible doesn't even describe that the stop. devil has been... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't want to stop yet. Hold on, hold on. The, the, the Bible d- doesn't even really describe the fact that the devil was casted down to earth. If you go into the book of Enoch, that, that explains it. And here's the thing. The devil has... You mentioned women and weed, Right. And I know that, I, and I know, I, I, I know, I know you personally. It's a joke, but hold it's on, true. Hold on, it's I know you. Per- hold on, I know you it's personally. It's a joke, but it's true, brother. I know you personally. You and I have gone back and forth for fucking years, right? And I get it, and, and and I understand what that means. Personally, I understand what that means. Todd understands what that means. We all understand what that means, right? So, what I'm saying is, is that women obviously are not the devil. Weed obviously is not the devil. The action. Action of it is demonic. Can I hold on? Hold on. I haven't hold, talked no, no, no. in a while. Let me talk. No, you please. have. You have. You have. Hold on. Just, okay. Sorry. I haven't talked in a while. Okay. Hold maybe on. I haven't. I'm, I'm I'm getting a little passionate. I apologize. No. Good. Take your time. I apologize, everybody. But <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is, is that the devil has infiltrated. Yeah, you have. Hold on. Talked. I haven't. The devil has infiltrated the world. Stop. Demonic stop, energy. Though, hold stop. on. No, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Demonic energies have infiltrated the world. Will, how long have you and I have gone back and forth about all of these elitist powers and all this stuff? Scripture aside, hold on, hold on. Hear me out, brother. No, hear me. No, 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 hear me out. No, no, let me get this point across. Let me stop and interject. No, I can't. I can't because I haven't talked. I can't. Out of respect, I haven't talked. All right. All of the world powers, all of the all of the wars. All of the poverty, all of the racism, all of the division, all of the white, black, and all of this impartial garbage. That is devil work, bro. Scripture aside, if you align it with scripture. Now, now, now I admit, I'm getting a little passionate right now. But what I'm saying is, if you align that with scripture, the teachings of Jesus Christ, the teachings of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of God, the Messiah. He did not preach those things. Whether or not, listen, I know you, I know that you're about to say that I preached, I didn't come for peace. I came, I came with the word of the yes. sword. Yes. Bro, how can you hold on? Hold oh on. God. Hold on, brother. Bro, but that's hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna let you go that's and then I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you both speak and then I'm gonna go. Before bef- before I finish, or I'll wait. What whatever. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that all listen we're all there's a reason that you want to find truth is that not am i not wrong will yes you want to find truth you want to fi- and you do it out of the, you do it out of the action of love yes i don't know why i do it you do know no yes you no, do no no uh, yes, no, you do. no 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 yes you do no bro. no no you don't to assume okay 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 for, no, you for, don't. For, for, for me to say for me to say that i know that you do okay out of respect i i don't know why you nobody do. but, there, but there's a, there's a there is a reason why and there can be several theories as to why okay but your reason why is the fu- it's the not cause violence it's not it's, it's not to diminish love it's not to cause hate it's not to cause division right yes true i okay. agree so that comes from where it's a moral code that is written on you as much as Amen. it is written on me as much as it is written on todd as much as it is written on our viewers right now your viewers and my viewers and and i and, I, and i'm not saying that's 
I'm not saying that's set in stone. I'm not saying I'm, a, I'm, I'm like that's confirmed. Like that all, like what Todd said. It. Yes, a lot of this comes from a faith. How did you say it, Todd? Say say it again. It it, it, it comes from what? Well, for me, it came from testing the scriptures. Yeah, testing not, the scriptures. Not believing, not not just going along with the. That's why, like I did said, the same thing. That's why essentially it wasn't, you know, where it was like, um, oh, you're Christian, or I didn't want to call myself. I didn't want to. I don't want to be grouped in. I don't. I I want to do what God. I want to know who God is and what's the truth. Basically. Yes. And 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 when God, when Jesus said, "I'm come wielding a sword." He's not talking physically. If physically, if you want to do that, how can you tell which me? part of the Bible is metaphorical and which part is literal? You, no, you said it's all it's, literal. It's all, it's all so literal okay, so let me ask you a question. Literal. Why would Jesus say this he's? Why would Jesus say for a whole Bible that he's coming in peace, and then at the end of the day say he's not coming in peace, he's coming from the sword? Yeah, why I'm would t- he contradict himself? Saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. He's coming to spiritually disconnect spiritually okay us, us from so, it's so it's a metaphor so it's a metaphor so it's not no, no. literal he said he came is wheeled, it wheeled in a, it's a spiritual sword the, the bible is called the sword what? Of the it spirit, doesn't say right? spiritual though in the bible you said the bible is all literal you said the bible is all literal and it does not say spiritual sword you said the bible is all literal if he said he came wheeled in the sword where's the evidence now the Good evidence question. is in the spirit the evidence is in the spirit because it, the evidence is something you can't test okay but where, the evidence is something you can't test. The evidence of him actually swinging a sword, he didn't. All right. But he did swing a spiritual sword. He did give the word. So it's a metaphor. You just contradicted yourself because you said the Bible was no, all literal. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You said it's... Brother, yes, you did. You literally contradicted yourself. No, sir, seriously, listen sir, me, respectfully. Listen to, me, listen to me so I can sure. give you an understanding. Mm-hmm. I'm Please saying, do. when he said I came swinging the sword, he doesn't have to say a spiritual sword, but that's exactly what he was talking about. And it's not a metaphor. He's saying what kind of sword he's swinging. When no, he didn't. He, hold on. No, he hold didn't. On. Bro, wait, 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 bro that's a lie. That's, a, that's not true. That's Man. literally not true. It's the, it's, the, it's the biblical truth. It's let not me, biblical let me, truth. It's the, it's let me intervene. Let me intervene. Brother, let me, brothers, let me intervene. What Todd's saying is that Jesus spoke not only from a physical perspective. Stop, stop, hold stop. Hold on, stop. hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I can't stop. I can't stop, did, bro. That's, hold on. Sorry, hold on. Diddy. What? Diddy. Can't stop. Won't stop. Nah, nah, nah. Don't call me Diddy, man. Diddy's, Diddy's got other problems, brother. Diddy's got other fucking problems, man. Listen, what what, what Todd's saying, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Todd, because you know more scripture than I do. Jesus, uh, he, he, he spoke from a, from a physical perspective. Bro, he's split. Stop. That's physical, I, 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 I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I, 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 I shut up for a sec. I, I, let, I let you all go. Jesus. It's the truth. I told Ta- you the truth. Ta- true, 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 right. true, true. I don't know Todd. I don't know Todd. All right. I don't know Todd. But look, I'm talking to true as my friend mm-hmm. off air. Mm-hmm. But we're still on there. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we're still on there, brother. Bro, I just laid out. We're four you. hours in right now. Yeah. I've Holla. Never, Yo, cheers. 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 Let me get another one. Yo, okay. so w- as my friend, I need you to either acknowledge or or not acknowledge. And if we if you don't acknowledge, we need to start from here. You asking me? Yes, you. Okay. What are you asking me? Personally, you. What are you asking me? Because you're saying Jesus this. Satan says this. Jesus says this. I just told you all the things I laid out for you should at least bare minimum... Put a question in your mind. Mm-hmm. So you should, like, the thing is, this is, this is the whole point. Wait, before you even say that, mm-hmm. the whole thing that I'm trying to, whether it's Christianity, the truth movement in general, the thing that I'm bringing to this movement, mm-hmm. the reason I'm here, I could be wrong about certain, I have personal beliefs, and I could be wrong about things. Sure. But at the end of the day, my message, and don't conflate my personal beliefs with what my message is. My message is to create a more altruistic world through nonviolence and the Socratic method. Mm-hmm. I, I'll have certain things about my beliefs. I'll debate you guys about that. Great, whatever. But at the end of the day, when I'm, 
and the Socratic method is not a debate. Mm -hmm. The Socratic method is me and you and Todd getting together mm -hmm. in a series of questions. I think we should have. Hold on, hold I on, think hold we on, should have hold that. on. Exactly. I think we should have exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what the Socratic method is. Yes. And, 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 if, and if we don't have that, we don't. You should mute him up real quick while he's not talking. Just mute him up because the feedback. I don't. I want to. I don't okay. want to take him off the conversation. That's why. No, I'm saying just mute him because the oh, feedback. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Perfect. Ty, can you still hear us? Yeah, he can hear us, but you can't hear him because he's muted. Ty, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear. Okay. Perfect. Where am I going? Oh sorry. no, I can't hear now. <laughs> yeah. All right. If, well, okay, if, okay, I, if okay, I mute okay, him, okay. it takes. So him we off. won't mute him. It's all right. I'll okay, this is the, no, 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 There's something in the background that stopped. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'll, so, no, I'll we're just good. Lower, I'll just lower. No, a it's bit. perfect now. It's it, there was a sound in the background that stopped. So my whole thing is, and and Todd, I I and I know I I come off as such a douchebag, and I'm so competitive sometimes, and I just want to like get my point across, and uh, and I'm sorry, and I and literally that's like the one thing. Hold hold on, I, I let y'all talk, and I I I'm an idiot, but. <laughs> No, you're this not is, a, you're not an idiot. This is and this bro. is why I always this You're not no, an idiot, bro. Not you're, you're, we're, listen, we 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 we're, we're coming we're coming to If you was an idiot, you wouldn't be a, you wouldn't be asking the questions. Exactly. You wouldn't be talking to Peep me right game, now. Though. We wouldn't be that talking. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother. So you Here's the thing. Here's what I'm trying to bring to this whole movement is my, I have my personal opinions. Those are aside. But what I'm trying to bring to the whole movement is I'm trying to change the world, altruistic. What does that mean? I'm trying to make a better world, and I'm trying to do that through nonviolence. Simply put, right? And can I stop you for just sure, a moment? Sure, just I'm a sorry. quick yeah, moment. Yeah, I'm take sorry. Your time. Just take a your quick time. moment. What you just said right now, you're trying to make a world a better place. Yes, and this is my point. So wait, 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 wait. Keep doing wait, this. Wait, you keep doing I this. No, I know. But listen, God man, listen, you. listen. Let, hear me out. Hear me out, brother, because I love you, man. Because we're, we're good friends, bro. You're trying to. We've. You take the world. And no, this is no, what happening. This no, is what no. happens. No, you, you, you. Le I let you. I let you interrupt me the last three times. This is what happens. You, you say take something I said, and then you put it through the lens of Christianity. You're doing no. What? Okay, so listen, listen, <laughs> listen, brother. It's brother. because he can't do anything else anymore. He, he believes the truth. He, Thank he you. He knows the truth. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. So here's the it's thing. All he has it's all he has left, so you're absolutely right. Exactly. So here's the thing. Oh my God! Ta wait, ta ta stop, stop, stop! Wait, wait, no, wait, wait! No, no, I have no. to. I have to get no, to this. No, you said I that three to. times. I have to. I have to, brother. Write it down. I wrote nine fucking things Todd down. Todd just said it. Todd just said it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen, brother. Will, I love you. We've been. We, we're we, gonna be nine hours. We're still not gonna. I don't give a fuck how long it goes. <laughs> it's four hours in. We're 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 going all the way. We're go we're gonna get to, we're gonna we're gonna get a. Uh, listen, here's the thing. The reason why I lost my train of thought. The reason why, because, <laughs> yo, peep, this is my whole thing. This is what I'm trying to bring to the movement. Stop. Stop everything that you've ever, forget whatever thing, thing that you're thinking. I get I'm it. doing I the thing. It. No, 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 I get it. No, I do. Take I, take I, a drink. I'm going to take a drink. We're going to cheers. Okay, cheers. Everyone take a deep breath. We, we, we Because we've been going hard for a sec, and that's yeah, what yeah. she said. All right, I'm going to take this drink. <laughs> This is what I'm bringing to the movement. Mm -hmm. It might not be much. Everything you're saying, like we were just talking about, and I'll actually let you get the floor because I'm going to remind you what I was talking about. I said yep. everything you're saying is through the frame of Jesus, and that's because in Christianity. And remember your, your boy said, Todd said, um, that's because he knows what's up and he's walking in the light and he's trying to find the truth, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, damn, how's that for a Todd impression? Not bad. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Todd, I swear to God, you're at least 13% black. They say Obama was 12% black. That's what the. Uh, I'm, a more. I'm a little more. You're definitely that. more, bro. <laughs> I'm right. The only one white person that sounds black that is not black is Jeff Turner, former fucking power <laughs> forward for the Orlando Magic. If you listen to him, he, yo, he sounds black, but he's a tall ass white dude. I, I trust you know me, I funny? worked on oh, the phone. Everyone always thought phone. that I sounded like, well, I shouldn't even say that. DMX. Back in the day, like 2000s. You know who people anyway. think I always sound like? What? Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> he was a silent film star. All right. Um, oh, oh, so so here's the thing. God. Here's the whole thing. We've been talking four hours right now, right? Yeah, but we're still but going. We're still going. But here's the thing. We have to get the bottom. Here's the thing, True. Take a deep breath. 
I'm good, bro. I'm good. No, I'm but good. you're not I'm good. good. Stop. No, I because am, look, brother. because look, because you're still you're still defending this Christianity. All right. Christ so wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I've never not hey, once. I've never not. I gotta get going. All Todd, right, brother. It was a pleasure to meet you, Todd. I, hey, Todd. I look forward to meeting you in person soon. You, brother. Todd. I'm gonna be praying for you, brother. Todd. I, I see what he's doing yeah. here, so. I'll be praying for both of you. I, I Todd, I'm going to pray that God puts you through the tribulations of Job so you love him even more. Let, let's go. If that's what he has for me, I'll put you on. <laughs> I can't wait to see you I'll on the other side of the world. In all seriousness, Todd, I admire you as someone that has dedicated your life to somebody above yourself and to preaching wisdom and love, and I look forward to meeting you in physical flesh, quote-unquote, in, uh, in the near future. God bless you. Todd, uh, hey, hey, Todd, thank you for calling. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, thank you for coming on. Also... Um, in the future, somewhere in the near future, I think that we should have a panel on this. Back toys. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, brother. Thank you. I love you, brother. Saving souls, man. Saving souls. Yes, yes. Absolutely. I'm right. Amen. Thank you. Here's the thing, bro. We're still talking about it through a Christian Satan. Satan did this. Christian did this. Jesus did this. You know what's We're, funny though? No. But you're calling me a Christian. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. We're talking. I'm not saying you're a Christian. I'm saying we're talking about this through the lens of that. Okay. I just fucking sit here for fucking hours and told you recently in recent hi human history. Mm -hmm. Cecil Rhodes in Listen, the wait. No, no, these no, are, these no, are things, no, no. These are no, things. No, no. I let you interrupt me four times all in the right, fifth time. All right, all right, all right. Please all take right, a deep breath. Right, Let's okay. take. Both take a deep breath. I'm no, I'm no. Good, please, brother. please. We're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna take a deep. <sighs> One. No, it's a deep breath. Right. Fucking thing sucks. <laughs> please. This is the main thing I'm trying. To, okay. Trying to convey to you. You gotta put the fucking headphones on, man. We're gonna put the headphones on where the glasses are off. No fructose. I, I do things like this. Fucking thing sucks. We gotta get a dope soundboard. Yo, my voice. <laughs> hey, no wonder. I have a soundboard of you. I haven't put it on yet, but I'm I'm, I'm putting them on. I hope I hope you don't mind. Do it. Uh, no, yeah. honestly, I, it's so funny because I have haters out there, and it it's so these people are so stupid mm -hmm. that fake Mike real news. Every every video I I start, I go, what is going on, folks? Will Turbo here? Yeah, and I yeah, take yeah. a big whisk to my face. Right. Fake Mike, real news. And not and I even told him multiple times. I can't believe not one of you idiots fucking photoshopped the dildo in there. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't. They still haven't. So I they mean, love you. They they secretly love that's, me. That's the thing though. So you got so I've always said you you guys can take any of my shit, do whatever you want, make fun of me. I don't care. No, I would I would never take your I, I would never I, take I, your honest, stuff honestly, and make fun of you. I would use it as You can take all my stuff as and like a in a way I call police. So here's the thing. We've been talking for God knows how many. We, we, I got here around two. It's six. We over four hours. Yeah, bro. Listen, I told you that this was going to be a long time. It was, and we haven't even talked about transgender. We, we haven't talked we about haven't Christianity. We, we we have talked about Christianity, but all right. Let's let let let's see if we can come. Can we? Can we no, probably... no. That's five times. Can we go from there? We can Joe go from there. Let me and just start. Start yes. moving. Okay. Let's let's start okay. moving there. But let let's. Can we do? We're gonna do another bathroom break, but before okay. that, let's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's come to a consensus, yes. right? We agree that the modern day governments lie. One hundred percent. We agree that the old school governments lie. One hundred percent. Cool. We we agree that no matter what information we went back to radio carb, we went to, to all the different ways you can get information. Almost. Mm -hmm. Now we didn't go through every, but we went carbon through. dating is yeah we 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 but we 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 went through it. I get right? it, I get it, yeah. But we realized that no matter what, from when I talked about Cecil Rhodes and the Rothschilds in the modern day, yes. from the old world, whatever information we're getting, we're getting from these people. We don't disagree, yeah. And these people are pedophiles. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Yes. Hundred percent. Great. 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 So hold not, on, on, not only pedophiles, but 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 genociders, but, 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 genociders. Child racist, traffickers, racists, dividers, uh, sacrificers, all that. Yes. Great. Yes, 100%. So we can't believe anything that they say when it comes to history. But are hold they, on, hold are, on, please, 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 okay. please. Sorry. So, Stone Cold Steve Austin, <laughs> a wrestler, told this motherfucker, don't trust anybody. Now... Call me a conspiracy theorist. Slap a tinfoil fucking horn on me right now. But 
Do I believe pedophiles? No. Do I believe rapists? And, and, and the thing is, these people control all of our... I, I, I've demonstrated on the show. Anybody can go and fact check me. Mm -hmm. they've, dem they've controlled every single... From Operation Mockingbird back to thousands of years. They've controlled every single piece of information we've ever had access to. Yeah. Why can we believe... Why should we believe anything that they said? We have to find out if they are the author of I'll tell scripture. You, I'll tell you who the of, of of canonical biblical scripture. Okay, stop, if, stop, if, stop, stop. Are stop, they stop, the stop, author? Stop. Here's are the they the Here's author? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Okay. Are okay. are pedophiles the author of of, of canonical? It doesn't scripture? make a difference in how. Yes, tell you it why. does. No, brother. it doesn't. No, it, no, it doesn't. Okay, why? I'll tell you why. Why? Let's just say you. Let's just say. For sake of argument, right now, God comes down to you, give you a dope message, and you yeah. write it down, right? Yes. And then you die. Okay. And you have a written copy. Okay. And for the sake of argument, I'm not going to say me. Stan from across the street is a pedophile, right? And he kills me. And he takes your information. And he Let me ask you. No, 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 okay, no, okay, no, great, no, great, no, great, no, finish, no, finish, no, no. We can't sorry, change. Sorry, sorry. We can't finish, change. Finish, we sorry. cannot change. Sorry, sorry. Finish. St you you got the literal word of God. You write it down in this fucking paper right here. Yep. Stan comes and kills us both. Yeah. And he's a pedophile. Yeah. And he says, hmm, this is pretty cool. Let me just change even one fucking word. Why would you believe that? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. And I'm not making, this is not, I'm not making some, I'm not being metaphorical. Be no, 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 no. Hear me out. Because I'm not, this is not like, this is not like that situation. No, stop. Because at the end of the day, right? Right? Hold on, hold on. Will. No, 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 no. I'm going to draw it out in a fucking diagram, right? Look, I look, love look, you look. so much, man. Word of God. Okay. Of God. Okay, Those, Will. No, 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 stop. And then I promise once I've done the diagram, you can say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Word of God goes to true, right? <laughs> yeah. He true. Okay, but this is stop, the stop. this is the word of God you're saying. I'm saying okay, and, and okay. Then whatever you want to say after this, we'll take it one at a time. Okay, okay. Yes. because it's important. And and and, and wait, but hold on. No, but stop, you're saying, stop. Hold on. I'm just I'm just yeah, sure, I, sure, I, sure. I just want to get in context. You're saying the word of God said to word of true said, said the true me mm -hmm. me me being me you yes okay and right. you write it down. So this is and what I we have. and I write it down. Yes. Okay. Yep. So tr True writes it down, and let's say for the sake of argument here, it's exactly how God gave it to you. Mm -hmm. So we have a document here. Let's call this document God True. And true is in lowercase because God's the best. Yes, 100%. Cool. Okay, so just for the Would viewers, you agree with that? Hold on, hold on. Do you agree that God would be the higher above you? That's an... I don't even want to get up just. that... I don't want to get into that's a side jag right now. Okay. Because I'm demonstrating a point. Okay. So right now we have the word of God giving it to true. Then he writes it down on this paper. Let's say this paper right here is representative the, of this paper right here. I'm sorry, this is a consent form. I'll fill it in. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. And the weird part about this consent form, it says anal. And I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Okay, just kidding. Um, He's totally kidding. Okay, I'm totally half kidding. You guys should check it out. Okay. Half kidding, half, he says? Seven, oh 27% kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the word of God is given to True, uh -huh. and he writes it down, and it's on this paper right here. In zigzags, whatever that is. In the zigzags, which is the word of God, which is the secret of all life. And mm -hmm. then Stan, Stan, dude from across the street, we have this paper right here, and we're me and True, we're like, oh, shit, we just got the word of God. Holy shit. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. celebrate. And then Stan's like, oh, man, I'm upset about the the ending of World of Warcraft 7. I'm going to go do a mass mm -hmm. shooting. I, <laughs> and he comes, he comes, wets us up. Boom. All right, so now, now accor according to shit, Stan now is in possession of the true word of God. Okay. And Stan is at his will to do whatever he wants to it. So let's just say, for the sake of argument here, Stan doesn't want to change a bunch of shit. He just changed one word. So now we have the word of God. It goes to true. He writes it down, which is exactly how God told him. Me and him are looking at it be like, damn, that's pretty dope that God told us. Then Stan comes, shoots us up, 
And then he gets the word of God and he changes it one thing. All right, cool. That's one example. Now, now we have the word of God. I need another piece of paper. We're going to take the back of this one right here. Now we have the word of God. Word of God, same thing as the other one. Word of God, just like we had the word of God to true. And mm -hmm. we're assuming for the sake of this argument that, in fact, God gave him the Under word the of interpretation of this stand person, right? This is one argument here. Okay. This is a totally separate argument. Yeah. That the word of God was given to you. It was written down. And then Stu came, uh, Stan came, even though it was written down perfectly, and he just changed one word. Mm -hmm. Only one word. It's an insignificant What's word. What's the one word, though? Let's say it was and to, let's just say it was like a totally insignificant word that didn't have any effect on the... But that could be an interpretation issue. Sure. So let's say it was... Um, like, let, let, let's say let's say it was um let's say it was from they to them we're gonna get into okay all right let, let, let's say it was from um from young females to females in general because there are different words for that okay so in it, when Stan wrote it down it was originally virgins but when it was transcribed it meant to females in general yeah okay so that's only one word. Mm -hmm. And let's say the story was still dope, right? Cool. Now we have a totally new scenario. First, we have the word of God going through true, written down, and only changed by one word when true written, written, wrote it down. It was the word of God when he wrote it down, the same as he got it from God. And then Stan came and killed us both. Fuck, that's fucked up. But we saw the word of God, but Stan only changed one thing. So the message, the general message is still there. So that's cool. Now we have the word of God. Cool. The word of God is then given to Moses. Yeah. Right? Cool. So Moses gets the word of God instead of true this time. And he takes it down. Instead of writing it down, he puts it on some tablets. Cool. We're there with the tablets. And now when, when God gives the word of God to true to now, to thing, it's still here. And, you know, we only got one word difference. And Stan's giving it to us. And sure, Stan's a pedophile that killed both of us. How do we know that? For this, for the, because, because he is. For, for this story, he is a pedophile. Want to know why? Okay. Because the same comparison I'm making is to the same exact thing. So Stan is a pedophile. Will. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you the same exact thing right now in real time. Okay. Stan's not only, I, I forgot to mention this. Stan not only is, uh, is killing us both for no reason whatsoever, besides the fact that he plays too much video games, <laughs> he's also a pedophile. And he's a convicted pedophile. On record, he's convicted. Is he Prophet Muhammad? No. Okay. He's convicted pedophile. Okay. So Stan is convicted pedophile. He shoots us both up. He's got the word of God, but it only takes it one thing. Now here we have the, this is, that's a, that's a hypothetical situation. Which happens in the here and now. This is the real situation. That, hold on. Let me just finish, and then you are free to say whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. Then the word of God comes to Moses up on the mountain. Then Moses gets the word of God. He writes it down on the tablet, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's thousands of years of pedophiles. Who the fuck are you talking about, though? Who? The Vatican. Okay, Will, I have to stop you. Please do. Because this is the point. No, I'm going to stop you. I to have, stop me. I have to. No, because what, you, what you're failing to understand, True, is this is the Vatican, right? Yes. This is this is a timeline right now. I'm not in no, disagreement no, no. with no, you on no, the Vatican. But, but what you need to understand is the timeline right here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is Samaria, all the other uh, Egypt, bullshit, Dude, whatever. Samaria is way before the I Vatican. Know. Okay, like, so this is Jesus. This is Jesus. Let's say 0 AD, Jesus. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what are we talking about? You're, you're, you're drawing up the timeline. So you're saying that the, that, that the pedophiles are the oh, Vatican. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so Jesus comes across, right? <clears throat> and, then Constant, and then a little bit later, we get Constantine, right? And then the Holy Roman Empire is Jesus. And then what is Jesus? No, no, no. No, 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 no. The Holy Roman Empire. That's hold, wrong. No, no, That's no, wrong. no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. So the Holy Roman Empire creates. Hold on. This is literally fact. According to the mainstream, 
hold on. That's Wait, what, let me finish. Let okay. me finish. <laughs> right, this is timeline. Right. Jesus okay. exists. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And then after Constantine, he's accepted by the Roman Empire. And then after that, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying. I know you are, but you're not. You're not. You haven't been. <laughs> I'm trying, brother. Bro, this is what happens. This is a fact. Hear me out. Stop. 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 Don't. Mm. All right. Bro, I'm, tr- I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, Jesus. I'm, this is according to their history, Christian history. To their Stop. history, bro. Je- to their your, history. To the history that you're talking about. Stop, stop, just listen to me. Okay. Please, please, All right. All right. please listen All right. to me. Jesus, Finish. right? Yeah. Then Constantine. Right? Yes. Then for a long time you have the Vatican, right? Yeah. And then after that you have Martin Luther. And then and then after hold on, you're not even letting me finish, bro. I know because we've both been drinking. Listen. <laughs> please look me in the eye. Look me in the eye. I'm I'm with you, brother. Okay, but you're you're jumping timelines. No, here. I'm not. Peep game. To Martin Luther King? No, Martin Luther, the German Martin Luther. Oh, who's, yeah. Oh, okay. So you got Jesus, right? Then you got Constantine. Then you got the Council of Nicaea. Then you got Martin Luther, the German Martin Luther, who split off from Chris from Catholicism, mm-hmm. and he was the first person to split off from Catholicism, right? And then you have the Church of England. And then, so all of this starts from Jesus, right? According to the mainstream. It yes. starts from Jesus, and then it goes to Constantine, right? Mm-hmm. And then it starts with the Vatican. And then it's the Vatican. And then every other branch of Christianity comes from the Vatican. Every branch of Christianity is an offshoot of okay. the Vatican. Okay, okay. And well, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is my whole fucking point that I've been trying to say for nine hours. <laughs> Every branch of Christianity. Let's just say, let's just say the Episcopalian or the Lutheran or the fucking Presbyterian or the non-denominational or the Pentecostal were good Christians. They still come from the pedophiles. All right. They still come from the Roman Empire, the liars. Do you get what? Stop. Do you get yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Can I interject though? Please. Can this, I interject this is, a little bit? This is a crazy bit? pitch. Can I interject yes, though? Yes. The Vatican. I can take this off. Yeah. The. Va- yeah, go ahead. It's so weird now talking to you back in this thing. Yeah. No, no, that's good. I like this. This is good. Listen, the Vatican. Oh, this is this is intimate. The Vatican is not Christianity. But but what that I just is told the thing, you, but that, I'm not saying that you're wrong. Mm-hmm. But what I'm telling you is, yes, I agree with you. The Vatican is the not. The Vatican wait, is, I a, agree. is a perversion I ag- of Christianity. I agree. I agree. Okay. And I'll, I I not only do I wait. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, because, yeah. Because this is where the disconnect is. Okay. This is where the disconnect is. I don't think there's a disconnect, no, there, brother. No, no, I th- no. I, I, I just think there's a there's there there there's a line of of understanding here. And this is the uh, line of the understanding that we need to connect on because we both agree on it. We, we don't know it, right? So. Okay. We both agree that the Vatican is a bunch of hundred percent child murdering. Hundred yeah, okay, percent. And most Christians would agree with you. Yes. Most, yes. most I know that. I know most, that. Most fo- and I'm not, I know that. And listen, let me trust let, me. I know that, bro. Let me, I've been. Let bro. me just say this really quickly: is that most Christians, when you when we say Christians, people throw people people throw Christians as I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of Jesus. I follow all these ways, but they are not following. I never seen a Christian with a sword. If you do point proven. It, it, and another it, thing is, it, it, another on, thing is, no, on, stop, 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 stop. If Jesus, if, if, if these motherfuckers are really Christian, give up everything you own and live with the poor. No, that no, listen. Give up everything listen, you own and Will, live with the poor. Until Will. then, I don't want to hear what the fuck you gotta say. Brother Will. Brother Will. Don't call me Brother Will, motherfucker. This ain't church. You're my, you're my brother, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're my brother. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is church. It is church. What we're doing is gospel. Real shit, not we, no pedophile shit. We, we might, shit. we might, we might not be reciting from scripture, but what we are doing right now, you and I, brother, we just agreed. This, we just agreed, though. It doesn't matter, bro. I know that. I it know that. It doesn't matter because we're doing this out of love. But what, you, know what is, this, you understand what I, I'm saying? I, I know that. But okay, so we agreed. Can, can, can go I, back to can, go back to we agreed. I, go back okay. to we agreed. I, so we we agreed though. Just, yes, the Vatican. Yes, stop, stop, the stop, stop. Vatican. This but is listen, the point. This brother, is where the disconnect is. I'm, all right, Will, hold on. Let me. Let me just interject here because I, I, I'm on the same page with you, bro. On the Vatican, yes, and that's my point. So stop. So stop. that me. is far, I know you're missing. It's stop, not stop. Christian. I know it's not Christian. It's Coptic Gnostic. Let okay. That is. Let's if, say if we, let's, if we are to get 
if we are to get technical on Christianity, Gnostic and Coptic, in fact, Coptic. Let's say, let's, let's, let's say for the, let's say for the sake of, let's do a little thought experiment. Okay. All right. Let's say for the sake of argument that Jesus Christ is indeed real in the son of God. He is real. He is real. Based on what evidence? Well, stop. What you do, what you're doing right now is what your boy just did. When you have to take a deep breath and look up into the sky, and this is true, no, Will, true, Will, Will, true. Will, Will, Will. No, 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 no. Sorry, I love sorry. you, man. No, I love no, you. no, no. I love bro. you so much. I really do. I love you, bro. I just sit here for an hour. And I don't. To I, no, I, no, I'm no. Not, come I'm on, not, bro. Come no, on. Listen, we're, 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 brother. We're, we're breaking bread. Well, I know we are, we're but you gotta bread. listen to me. We, you're you not don't have to, to agree with me. I don't have to agree with you. I I know that. I know that. We still love each other. But listen. But listen. You're not say it. Yes. You need to say it. Of course. Right, I, I, right. I said Thank that you. many times. Thank but you. But I feel like I feel like I'm not being heard. You are being heard. You're not. Listen You've to been me. heard. Listen I, to me. I give you the platform. Look pla at me. Look at me. I know you give me the platform, but I need you to put the mic aside for All one right. sec. Yeah, yeah. You got, it. You got it. The camera's on you right now. Literally the move the, the camera's move, on move you. Move the mic to the side for one sec, please. For one sec. All right, cool. I'm got moving. You, you got you. I, I, I'm hearing you. Damn it. But you have to speak in the mic. Okay, cool. So Damn, where, where the fuck was he going with this shit? So, so, <laughs> Go back to the. So you're side. telling you're telling me, you're telling me about the Vatican. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, and I agree with you. Okay, you just said you just. This is my whole thing. You just said yeah, I believe in Jesus, right? And okay, wait, 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 help, help me out. Okay. And you may believe in Jesus, and I and There's and reasons for it. I'm not and I'm not against you for believing in Jesus, and I'm not knocking you for believing in Jesus. But what I'm here, the reason I'm here on this show today, the reason I'm here in this movement, the one thing that I'm contributing to this movement is that may be true. You may be a thousand percent right. But I'm here, like I said, Isn't stop, stop. Yeah. Okay, sorry. But I, but the thing is, it goes back to what I said earlier, right? I, I, I'm friends with thousands of truthers online, or used to be anyways, right? And like I said earlier, they'll share good shit, good shit, and then they'll share some shit that's complete bullshit, and they'll fuck up everything they do. I am just here, and so I'll comment on those posts. I'll be like, oh, where'd you get that from? Oh, interesting. I never heard that quote. Yeah. Source? Yeah. Link? Give me a link, right? Yeah. Knowing I know the outcome in, in the beginning, right? So what I'm bringing to you, whether it's Christianity, whether it's the Industrial Revolution, what, no matter what we're talking about is... We can't take anything at all for granted. I, I agree with you. So for you to say, I believe in Jesus. Now, you may have personal reasons for you to believe that, right? But when I just sat here, I feel, honestly, I feel like, and, and there's no disrespect because me and you are boys. Mm -hmm. But I honestly feel, in a way, unheard because I just laid right. out. I, so, I, wait, wait, no, I, I, no, 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 no. It's not. If, no, if, there's if, no reason to apologize, right? Because literally, I should be the one apologizing to you. Because not only do I over interrupt on my own channel, I'm over interrupting on your channel here. It's right? fine, Drew. No, Dude, hear we're me out. We're having yeah, a I conversation. I know we're having a conversation, but I'm drunk this and I'm is, caffeinated. This, but, yeah, but this is all but about. This is my this, point. This is all this, love. This is a love exchange, man. This is this is a brotherly brotherhood right here. I know this. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Like, there's, there's, there's no, there's no animosity yeah, yeah, yeah. whatsoever. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So what I'm saying is, the re when but I, I do want to rebut. Please on, do, please yes, do. Yes, I do. So the thing is, when you say, when you say things like it's, it's, it's kind of like more of semantics rather than. Check. Maybe it's anecdotal. No, no, no. What I'm talking about is semantics. This is a different. For me. Okay. For anybody. Okay. Right. Yeah. So yeah. when pe when you say, for, we'll use you for example. Oh, I believe in Jesus, right? But when I sat here and told you, right, mm -hmm. for sure, like, let's just say you had some good evidence and some good reasons that you believe in Jesus. Yeah. But me coming here as your friend. Yeah. Right. And you said earlier that you respect that I do my due diligence. I've never came on. No, I might not be the smartest motherfucker in the world, but have you ever heard me coming on anything ever talking some shit that was fake? No. Never. Right. No. Never. So when I tell you, I mean, if you, if if you've ever came with anything, you came with the intention on it being that that is well I mean, researched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when I when when you say, let's just say, for example, you had a belief in whatever, right? Yeah. But you have a belief for that, right? But then I come over here, as, not only as your friend, 
but providing receipts mm -hmm. to say at least make you question hey look there's not there's not a lot of evidence that says jesus even existed let alone as the son of god and then for you to keep framing things in in jesus and mm -hmm. i believe in jesus mm -hmm. to me that feels like bro did you even listen to me because i'm telling you like <laughs> because because i'm telling you like not only do you know do you know that they li we agree they lied about the timeline we agree yeah. that the Vatican controlled everything. Mm -hmm. We agree that they're a bunch of pedophiles, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We agree that all these motherfuckers they ever give us any information ever are liars. And when I'm sitting here telling you as a friend that you, that you should trust and also that that you know I never ever came with some shit that's some bullshit. And so when I'm telling you, not only do I have the receipts for this shit, all right. To at least make us question, we shouldn't even be talking about is Satan here? Because people he is have here. He is here, Will. Who is Satan? The evil because one. The one who shall not be named. I, the adversary. I'm going to drop a fact to you real quick before I take a pee. Do you know? Let me ask you a question. Do you sure. know the two people in the Bible that are referred to as the morning star? Lucifer. That's one. Who's the other? Supposedly, it's Jesus also. Ooh, weird. That's weird, huh? Now maybe they're just sign maybe they're just representations of Venus. So listen, uh, are you bro, hold okay, on, hold on. Before so wait. I go to the bathroom, literally, <clears throat> I just showed you, bro, right? You didn't. I mean, okay. Bro, you, bro, bro. You have you have shown me some things. Your, your, your bro, thing your bro just told you right here, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That everything in the Bible is literal. Your bro just he literally mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. a good person. Yeah. And I respect him. I'm looking forward to building with him. But he literally hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. I have hold on. Let me say this. I haven't gone. I haven't. I haven't come to the. It doesn't. You don't I have to do that. You don't have to do that. I'm not. I'm not saying you have to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just told us. Mm -hmm. He believes yes. that Jonah was in a whale for mm -hmm. three days. Okay. Why is that? Why? Why? Why is that a? Why is that the end all be all for you though? Okay, forget Jonah, because that's not no, even no, no, the best. No, 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 no. I want to stay on that because why is that the all, end all be all? You want to know what the end all be all? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to. I've brought your question to other pastors. You want to know what the I've end all? I brought your question to other pastors. That's the silly. Not on the show. Not on the show mm -hmm. specifically because I, I I wanted to conversate about other things. But listen, listen, Will. I brought that question. <laughs> yeah. What do they say? I even brought that question today. Uh, it's. It's either it's a, a metaphor. It's either a meta yeah. It's either a metaphor. <laughs> I, I know or every argument. Or, or it's either a literal <laughs> translation of whatever. Listen, bro. Uh, okay, stop. Stop. There's Forget many Jones. things. You want to? Do you want to know what my pet peeve is? No, the many thing is there's many things in history that, that have happened that we cannot explain. Slavery. We can't explain. We can't explain slavery, and we also can't explain the pyramids. Let's let's. let's we can't explain the pyramids. How were they built? True. We talked about the industrial. I'm sorry. We talked. I'm, I'm not getting a lot of you. I'm not. I get, know. I know. I'm getting passionate. I know. I don't, we I can't know. explain humanly. We can't explain the pyramids. Who put them there? Let me ask you who, a question. No, bro. let me ask you. Who put them there? I don't know. It wasn't the Egyptians. It wasn't. Maybe Kemet. it was. I don't no, know. No, it wasn't. Could have been. It wasn't. The Egyptians came after the. We fact. can't say the Kemet. No, stop. The, the, true. You on. can't say anything. You can, that, that the whole thing is true. Okay. Is okay. Your, no. So, no. You so, can't. Okay. 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 Anything. The you're, point you're, I'm trying right. to be here. You are right about that. You can't say anything definitively. Unless unless it's 9-11. I can't. You can't. You, we can't. You're right. I That's can't. That's the point. And you, you can, corrected me you on can, that. You can go to 9-11 and say it's not definitively. Yes, you It can. happened in our lifetime. We can say it definitively. Can we? Yeah. How? Like I like we brought Do up Do you earlier. have evidence of planes hitting the buildings? No. Well, Do you not have evidence. evidence of why Building 7 no, fell? No. That's not what I said. Stop. Stop. But, stop, stop. But that still coincides. No. No, it doesn't. Yes, These it are does, two different brother. things. This is what I brought up earlier. These okay. are two different things. Yep. So, what my, my claims are, what you did is almost made a straw man, but because it's not be almost, 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 but yeah, you didn't. Yeah, so my argument is that the official 9/11 commission is not true. Okay. And when we said I, that, I agree with you. And we, I, I, we, we I both 100 agree. We both agree with you. One hundred percent agree with you. Building seven. Building seven. And the official 9/11 commission. Anyone can look it up online. Yes. Or buy the hardback, uh, hard copy cover of yes. it. Yes. Yes. And it doesn't mention it's building. It's a smoking gun on all. And it doesn't mention of, yes. building seven. So, yeah, it doesn't. It so doesn't. I but can point but to building that. seven is the smoking gun. 
So I can point to that, and I can also point to, uh, I can go to ground zero. And like I said earlier, there are only a few things I can prove. I can prove the CIA. I can go to Langley. I can go to Federal Reserve. I know I use the Federal Reserve notes. Anything else, we have to say maybe, possibly. Mm -hmm. We can't say. We can't say for sure. But logic. No, logic can exactly. Connect, logic can Bro. connect the dots. Okay. So can it not? Can it not? Can you say that logic cannot connect the, the dots? The best logic is what I'm trying to do with fake micro news, which is Socratic method. And the I, best way, and the yes, best way okay. to get, and the best way to get the truth, over whether it's been 200 years or 10,000 years of of so-called history, is the Socratic method, and that's to keep questioning. And and the only truth okay. that we have, and this is the why I bring up 9/11 and the Federal Reserve, is because those are things that we can prove. We're about to head on hour five. Let's Jesus take Christ. a pee break. Let's take a pee break. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to take over real quick? And yeah. Yeah. do you want to go this, first? I'm going to go first this time. All right. So, Get some comments. Get some comments. Yeah, yeah. Will's going to go first. We're going to talk about this. I actually want to talk about um, what... So, God bless Will. I love him because he's, he, he, he's a brother. He's a good brother. Um, and Todd, when he, when he came on, he, he, he was explaining a bunch of scripture. I don't really know... The entirety of scripture. I'll be honest with you about that. But I do know my personal experience when it aligns with scripture. And scripture aside, um, I've had personal experience. I'm a father, right? I'm I'm a recent father, right? I, I got a two-year-old, two-year-old son. A phenomenal blessing to my life. And I know maybe to some that may sound cliche, but if... And, you know, God willing, if you're able to have children and all that stuff, because I know, you know, all those things aside, when you witness children, you are, you're, you're brought to a particular aspect of life, right? And I'm not saying that it necessarily drives you towards Jesus, Yeshua, the Hamashiach. Um, or it necessarily drives you towards God or anything like that. But at the same time, when you're when you become a parent and you become a father, a father, a man, in my opinion, that becomes the ultimate aspect of becoming a man is is, is fatherhood. Now, I'm not saying there there are aspects in life. I'm where, not a man, true. No, 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 no. He just no, called me no, out. No, no, no. no. I'm, just I'm not. I'm not I'm saying. Just, brother, I'm playing with no, you. No, no. Trust me, I'm 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 fucking around. I know, I know, I know. But humbly, I say this is that I don't I don't believe that just because that you don't have children that you're not a man or anything like that. Like I, like listen, two three years ago, I I didn't have children. I I didn't think I would. But what I'm saying is, and we're gonna get into this this conversation between me and Will because I want to give a little bit of a piece of my testimony because I think I think it has uh, some I, I I I think it has something here with what we've been talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to jump in real quick yeah, as, as a pilot seat, um, Will's going to jump in as a pilot seat, like share, subscribe the true perspective, the TRU perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and rumble, and make sure, make sure that you go to fake Mike, real news.com. Follow will follow, follow, follow the true Check perspective out, yeah. on, on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and rumble fake Mike, real news. I'm going to take a pee break. Uh, Will's gonna be in the uh, pilot seat real quick, and I'll yeah, be right back. Nearly, goddamn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hours. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's get to the I comments you, here. I, told you this was gonna go. I know. <laughs> and we haven't even talked about transgenders. Jesus Christ! I love my transgender people. Shout out to my transgender people. People you hating on transgender people? What the fuck? Thank you for everybody that stayed. Uh, let's see. Man, I feel like I ain't. Uh, Oh man, News Now Fourth West is gonna save my. This high and drunk story is going nowhere. Hey, look, man. It you you want to know the thing is, right? I I'm not the greatest smartest motherfucker at all, but motherfucker calls in to disagree with me. I tell you all your information is based on pedophiles. I said okay, well, what's your evidence? Oh, I don't got the evidence. Okay, what's your scriptures? Oh, I don't have those scriptures. Yeah, we do got a new project, bro. So, yeah, I mean, like, 
I'm telling motherfuckers, show me your receipts. Everything that I said, I don't make a lot of claims. I only make a few claims. And I back them shits up with receipts. And much respect to my boy Todd, but I call I asked him for he calls in. He says he disagrees, but he has no receipts. No evidence, no scriptures, right? So I don't know what you want. Got any questions or comments? Yeah, and that's just the uh hold on, I'm gonna get over here. Because he's coming. And that's how you know the difference between me and some of these other motherfuckers. I said I just said right here, and much respect to you, boy Todd, but at the end of the day, I'm over here, everything I've said, and you know for years, everything I've ever said, I've always backed up with a receipt. Your boy Todd calls in to dis- to uh to disagree. I said, okay, what's your evidence? Oh, I don't have the evidence. Oh, what's your scriptures? Oh, I don't have the scriptures. The I, don't th- th- I, don't, I don't think he said that. He did. There, there's some things well, that... Well, I don't have them for a debate. I don't have them ready. Yeah, I don't have yeah. them ready. The thing is, like, if, if, you're call- if, if you disagree with me, mm-hmm. if you don't have the reason you disagree with me, you don't know why you disagree with me. I think... Nah, you, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Well, let's let's no, talk no, about no, this no. factually. I like, get cause, it. I cause, get Because, like, you can't, you can't sit here and debate with me. Like, let's just say me and you are having a debate over um, mm. fencing, right? And there's two different methods of fencing. And I say my method of fencing is better than yours, right? Mm-hmm. And I say, well, my method of fencing is better based on this, that, and that. The strike ratio, the hits, the defense is way better. What but do you can mean? you prove? Well, hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. All right, all right. But then you, then you say, well, my, my, my method of fencing is better. And I say, okay, cool. Well, what's your evidence? Well, I don't have that in front of me. Okay, well, what's your scriptures to bake that up? Well, I don't have that in front of me. Well, I'm not ready for a debate. Well, why the fuck you call in, bro? Because so, because the thing is, at the end of the day, you're still you're still clinging on to this Jesus shit. When I'm telling you, there's literally no evidence, and the only evidence that's ever been presented from Jesus is a bunch of pedophiles. <coughs> hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. And, and the thing is, and then you get somebody up here that finally disagrees, and I say, "Where's your evidence? Oh, I don't have it. Where's your script?" And then I say, "Your book that you know." Mm-hmm. Where's your scriptures? Oh, I don't have that in front of me. So how do you how do you even disagree? Because if you do disagree, can I say from hold, my point of view, you can, okay. because because if I'm if I'm a dude up here and I'm saying damn true spitting a whole bunch of shit I disagree with, right? And then I call in, right? And I'm yeah. like, yo, I disagree with this shit. I don't and, think- wait, hold on, hold on. And then, and then I say, and then true would be like, yo, come on, man, I'm spitting some facts right here. How you disagree with me? We're like, well, I don't have that in front of me. Yeah. What are you gonna say if someone calls you right now on the show and mm-hmm. say, hey, true, I don't believe anything you said about 9/11, right? Mm-hmm. And they say you're full of shit. You're a liar, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. you're gonna be like, okay, well, give me some receipts. Okay, and, well, hold, on, say, hold, on, you, hold on, hold on, say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you say that he was lying? What are you lying, gonna say? Though? What are you gonna say? Can what, you say that he was lying? I didn't say he was lying. But can you say that he was lying? You're making a straw man. I'm not saying he was lying. What I'm saying is, I'm sitting here giving you receipts. I have. There's literally no evidence of Jesus in that extraordinary. No, that's not true. That's what, not true, okay, brother. Okay, so then what's the best evidence for Jesus? That's not true, bro. It is true. The gospel. There is the gospel. Have you read the gospel? What? Have yes. you read the gospel? I haven't read the whole thing. Okay. I haven't I read have. the whole thing. Okay, good, good. I'm glad that you did. I'm glad that you have. Do you know that the gospel contradicts it's, it's, itself? I don't think it does. Here's the thing why. Here's the thing why. Will, I love you, brother. Bro, you, you're here's literally why. not... No, I'm not. I'm not trying. Listen, I'm not. Here's the thing, Will. You know me, right? You know me well enough. Where if evidence is presented to me that I'm no, not, I honestly I thought that because I'm literally showing you right here. You're thinking differently. I, honestly, are you? I, I just think you're a little drunk. I just think you're a little drunk. And <laughs> no, I'm right not, now, I'm not. I'm not. Because no, literally, I'm not. I, I feel I'm like not. I'm not that thinking that, but I'm thinking I feel like I'm not being heard because I'm feeling like, yo, bro, I you're just being t- heard. I just, I, I just. Just because I don't agree with you everything least, doesn't mean you, that you're not, I'm not being good. I'm not saying that. What The information that I presented, just yeah. the things that I've said, should at least make you question. You haven't You haven't told me. What, what, you what, haven't, is, what is the barrier? Mm, that's a good question. That's always the best question I should always start it's there. Always a, but it's also a good question for you. It is. What, what is what, the barrier? What is the barrier? What, is the, what, what does it take to, t- to, to show you? Okay, let mm-hmm. let me back out of here for a. Can we back out of here for a moment? Yeah, I'm I'm not deflecting. No, no, no. Take your time. I'm not, I want to sh- I want to tell you 
because I think I think it's warranted. I want to I want to I want to I want to share rather. I want to be vulnerable here. Mm-hmm. I want to show you a, a a testimony of myself. Now you could say testimonies are they are they're they're anecdotal. They're they're personal, right? However, will what I would say because I was you know before we did a, a little bit of a break here. It was like not only and i'm and i'm saying this not only fatherhood have sh- has shown me things prior to fatherhood has shown me things i've witnessed for instance i'm going to tell you right now that picture right there y- y'all may not be able to see it but my cousin died 2012 from an accidental overdose i was in the same house the same day at the same time that that happened i didn't i heard a thud I heard a thud. This is what I heard. And I was with I was with my best friend, Eli. You know the story. If you're listening in, uh, I was with another friend, Cheryl, and I was with another friend at the time who I'm no longer friends with for, you know, God willing things. Mook. I was there when my cousin had died. And I'm not trying to bring down the energy. What I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put it in perspective. Why did I? Why was I not shown to react? Why was I not shown, or why why was I not given the feeling that something was going wrong? And I question this. I question this. I questioned it all the time when that happened. And at the time, I did not understand it. I understand it now. And the reason why I bring this up, Will, is that. My cousin died from an accidental overdose because he was struggling with a drug addiction, right? Um, and given the fact that I heard something that was, you know, it, it, it should have triggered something, but at the same time it didn't because it was a familiar sound. Um, and for anyone that, 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 that you, you would have to know the life that I was living at that time in order to understand of why that wouldn't make me react in the way that I should have, I guess. Um, the only way that I can translate of what that happened as much as it pained me, as much as it still pains me, I still, I still suffer from, from, from the pain of what that, of what had happened is that he my cousin, Jason Early, remember, remember his name, is that he was at just the cusp. This is a person, this is an individual that had suffered with mental uh, 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 schizophrenia, all of that. Uh, um, 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 what's the other one? Um, bipolar. Bipolar, thank you. He suffered with that. And with that... That's when bullshit, but pe- that's a whole other story. Yeah, but... Well, we could say that. That could that, We could talk about that as a whole nother that podcast. Is a, we'll talk about that as a whole nother yes, podcast. Yes, we can. Yes, yes we can, but, but but because you interjected with there um is that bipolar um uh manic depressive, that's like a considered a it's it's a psychological thing, but also some would argue that it's a that's a, that it's a spiritual thing. But beyond that, that is a separate podcast. Um, but beyond that is that I never heard, I, I never felt the the need to react. So two hours later, that's how I found him. I literally found my cousin in he he he, he was already he was already deceased. There, there's nothing you could do. Um, why am I bringing that up? It's because people would say like, well, why would God do that to somebody? Why would God allow somebody to do that? Ultimately, in my perspective, knowing everything that I know now, years prior, is that God needed to take him at that moment. Because if he had gone any further, he would not have been able to be saved from where he was. Because he was already looking into Jesus Christ. He was, al- he was already a believer of Jesus Christ, for that matter. That's another thing. He was already a believer. Given the fact of the discussion that you and I have had, God had to take him at that time. Granted, that that was a pain on me. I had to, I had to endure that, right? What if that was the other way around? What if my cousin had found me? 
my cousin would have killed himself. I was on the verge of that. I'm releasing this right now on on, on the airways. I'm releasing I'm releasing that right now. There was a I'm not going to release because that's this, this is a part of a testimony that I'm that I'm going to be putting together later on. But there was a moment where that was a real thing for me. That should have happened. There was something that I had that that I'm making the gesture that it should have happened. I should not be here right now talking to you, you talking to me. It shouldn't happen. I shouldn't even be here. 100% I should not be here. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not being hyper, hyper, you know, I shouldn't be here. So with that, I went into a dark, dark area for a little while. You know what I'm saying? For a long time. I thought I, I, thought I was in a, in a, in a spiritual, um, you know, gravitating part of life. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward, I'm 36, 37. My son. Granted, I'm 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 finding I'm trying to fi- I'm trying to find the deepness of why we are here. What what, what the hell is my purpose? You know, what what's what what's what's the purpose between human beings? What is God? Who the hell is Jesus? And why do they say that he's just a man that walked on water and gave all these blessings and all this stuff? Who the f- who is he? Who is he? I want to know who he is, and I also want to know what the word of God is. And what is the word of God? The word of God is what is spoken or what has been spoken to me personally. So my son comes. I didn't think I would ever have children. I know, I, I, I don't, That's I, because he's gay. Who? You. That's the reason me? I they thought he was never going to have children. Always you to be <laughs> fucking up the story. Um, it's not real. Those children are AI. Yeah. No, just kidding. He's got a beautiful family. And I that's, do. And then, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Because it's serious. Yeah, no, I know. It's serious. I know. Um, before my son, I had another baby that didn't make it. That baby died. I've I've not, I've never said this I never said this live. I this was part of a testimony and I'm revealing it right now because we're talking about what it means to be wh- what is all of this? What is all of this? Right? I've always been trying to search for the deepness of what God is and I know that he is there. Why do I know that he is there? Because I had to endure whatever that was, whatever that is, whatever the wisdom of that is, and I had to endure whatever that my son is. My son saved my life. 100% my son saved my life. I will never steer away from that aspect. My son, I'll say it again, my son saved my life. My son thinks that I'm his superhero. He is my superhero. Here's why. Will, here's why will, and and I'm and smiling it, because I agree. On that point, for sure, it is a hundred percent real. I would not be here without my son. If my son did not enter into this world, I would not be here. So this is how I view God. This is how I view God. This is how I understand what God is. Right. My son looks to me for the answer. My son looks to me. For direction. My son looks to me for correction. My son looks to me for love. My son looks to me to hold him. My son looks to me to say everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be right. Who do I look to? I can't, I can't look to everybody else. I can. I can. Essentially, I can't. I can look to you. Right? I can, I, I can look to loved ones. But loved ones are just like me. You they deal. They, they deal with their own same shit. Who do I look for? My son reaches to me as that as I reach to God, right? I reach to God the same way that my son reaches to me as a child, a child who doesn't know anything, who doesn't even know language, who doesn't know culture, who doesn't who doesn't know race. He doesn't even know what color he is. What is wrong with him? Does he even have a job? He, yeah, he, he, he doesn't know. Get a job, know, kid. The war is over. <laughs> What I'm saying is he he has no he has no concept of what you and I have concept of, right? Because we are at the age of of acknowledgement and and wisdom and all that stuff or, or the wisdom that we think that we can perceive. 
the child, none of that. Even though he's smart, even though he's able to perceive the world, but he doesn't perceive he doesn't perceive culture. He doesn't perceive color. He doesn't perceive religion. He doesn't perceive essentially, he doesn't even perceive God. God perceives him. And with that is so 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 where I'm getting at is God revealed himself through my son. And I know that's anecdotal. I know that's personal. I understand that. But for me, that is the realest thing ever. Because my son, my flesh and my flesh and bone son of me, is the revelation of whom God is. Okay. To me. Can I go? Your son is a revelation yes. of God is to you. Okay. Agreed. Mm-hmm. We agree there. Mm-hmm. I agree that your son is a revelation of who God is. Yes. No disagreement. Loving. Wanting to reach. Wanting to be. No disagreement whatsoever. We mm-hmm. agree to- wholeheartedly there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, now, there are people that have uh, that are being born to this very day and that have been born historically and will be born in the future that are outside the realm of Christianity that feel the same thing towards their children. 100%. I hope they do. Yep. And um, the only difference is you're talking about um, your son looks up to you. Who do you look up to? God. You look up to, and I, I, I think that there may be a higher person too. However, well, for, hold le- for, for levels like who I yeah. will, my grandfather. But yeah, he's sure, passed. sure. That, that, but, but I'm talking my about. My grandfather instilled. Yeah, but. But I get what. But, but my point is, for who, here look, is who, who do I look up to? As no, but you. But for well, I'm just going off what you're saying here, mm-hmm. and I, I get. Sure, I, I get sure, what sure. you're saying. Obviously, I look up my yeah. father and my grandfather too. Yeah, we get that. I'm we not saying yeah, we yeah. we disagree with that. But you say, who do you look up to? Who do you who do you look up for the answers? Whatever, right? Who do you look up for the answers for love? Has God ever have has God ever responded? Yes. What yes. did he say? He sent my son. He, he sent me my son. Okay, let me ask you a question. He, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ahead, Let's take it one step yeah, at a time. Yeah, yeah. It's important to take it one step at yeah, a yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. What would you say right now to all the people listening that are infertile and can't have a son that have been praying for years and years and years and never had a son? Mm-hmm. Why does God love you more than them? God does not love me more than so that. So why did your prayers work and their prayers not work? I did I here's the thing. I didn't pray for him. I didn't pray for us. Okay, so why does that? Okay, so, okay, so and so we agree. Let's just say for the sake of mind, because I do agree. I agree on I, I for the I agree that there's something above me. Mm-hmm. I may be a part of it. I don't know the specifics. Like I said earlier, I can't quantify it. I can't put it into words. Mm-hmm. But I do personally believe that there's something bigger than this. And I so and you're not an atheist. Absolutely not. I said okay. that earlier. Okay. I, well, I okay. said I literally said that earlier. I had questions about that when we had. No, like I a said back that earlier. Four. I oh. said that earlier. All right, maybe I missed that. Yeah, I'm I sorry. Know. It's all good. I apologize. So I'm I'm definitely not an atheist, and I and so. And and one of the best arguments you brought up earlier is the is offline was talking about the creator and the creator. One of the arguments is like these glasses, right? Mm-hmm. Who created them? Someone created them, right? That's that's a whole nother story. But let's just say let's just say for the sake of argument that that theory is indeed correct. Well, wait, just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay, stay on what you were talking about. With what? Uh, people who are infertile. Yeah. So that that's the thing, right? So there have been th- there have been a bunch of people over all the years who have prayed to God. Yeah. Think. Okay. So it's kind of a fucked up thing to think about, right? Let's just say we're God, right? Mm-hmm. And I got all these prayers coming in, but luckily I'm God, so I can filter all of them and understand all of them simultaneously. Yeah. And I get a prayer. Oh, Todd's come. Uh, Todd's coming through. Oh, cool, cool. We got True coming through, right? True doesn't even have a prayer, and I'm sending him a prayer, a mm-hmm. gift, a beautiful son, mm-hmm. a healthy son. You know what a fucking gift that is, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You now, don't think I don't? I know you do. Mm-hmm. I know you do. That's why I'm saying that. Now, my point is, God, I'm God. I created everybody. And not only did I create everybody, I know what's going to happen in the future. And some people have been praying for a long time. I don't answer the fucking prayers. 
Some people, mm. what about the Jews during the Holocaust? How did that work out? Not too great, right? Well, Hold on. Come, okay. You keep interrupting okay. me for my I'm points, sorry. right? I'm sorry. My Go point ahead. is this to the original point, and we can delve off into any other points, but let's take it step let's, by step. Let's take it step by step. Okay. Okay. You get a beautiful, healthy son. God willing. So far. God so willing. far. God yes. willing. God so willing. far. Mm -hmm. So far, you get a beautiful, healthy son. Yes. How many other sons out there, daughters, trans, however they want to identify, are being, are don't have the same health, don't have the same opportunities, and are sold into slavery, are, are brought up in a world where they have no freedom? So stop. So stop. So the, my well, point is this. A question. No, no, I'm not asking you a question. I'm, I'm illustrating a point here. Mm -hmm. Is because a lot of things that happen is when people debate Christianity, the last thing that the people will throw at me, and I've done this for decades. Yeah. I'm not talking about years. I'm talking about decades. Yeah. The last thing that people throw at me mm -hmm. is anecdotal stuff. I had one chick say, oh, I had a dream. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah, I'm I had you. a dream. Oh, and Jesus wrote my name in the book of life. Now, we, we both agree that, okay, for example, um... The fucking motherfuckers that know how to do like advanced Tai Chi and Kung Fu mm -hmm. on some Wu-Tang shit, they can take a kick to the balls. They can meditate. They can do some crazy shit, right? Mm -hmm. That is outside. Of, it's not Christian. The, Sha the Shaolin? Shaolin yeah, monks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I, I should know that. I'm sorry. I, I feel like a thousand <laughs> daggers going on me. I'm lit right now. Okay. So, and and there's there's also been things in a thousand different cultures that are non-Christian, that are spiritual, that are miracle, that we would agree is technically termed miracles that are non-Christian, that are real, right? Yes. And they've happened now. Yes. Yes. They've happened historically. Yes. And they will presumably happen to the future and to the foreseeable future, right? And okay. they have no, no correlation whatsoever to Christianity. So now I do, hold on. So I do believe that your son it's part of the re your son is one of the most it's the reason why I'm still living. I've never met your son. Hmm. But the beauty of another generation and I'm not talking about from some evolutionary scientific biological thing. I'm talking about <laughs> not only a new generation but a, a pure generation of a real person and a real parent just inspires me amongst belief and helps me sleep at night. But at the same time, it has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. There are, there are Chinese kids, there are other kids that are born there, some people that are, have cancer and then all of a sudden don't have cancer. There's kids in India, there's kids in all other things. Now, there are miracles and spiritual and other things that we can't explain. Now, that has nothing to do with Jesus or the miracle of the Bible. Now, there may be a God. We can let's just say for I'm gonna let's just say for the sake of argument I will term all the things that I believe into a term of a God, mm -hmm. and I, for the sake of argument, let's just say I could quantify all the words that I believe, which I don't think you could, into the word God, mm -hmm. and I believe in a God. That still has nothing to do with what the what what the what the Christian Judaic Bible has been given to us. That is the mainstream. That is what has been given to us for thousands of years, and it's been given to us by people who have known lied, known genocide, and known pedophile. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, once, once people can't say, well, I don't have any evidence, well, I don't have any scriptures, and when the, what, what the people will do will say, well, antidotes, right? And what I'll say is, yeah, antidotes are real. Antidotes are real, but at the, yes. But it doesn't mean that it's a Christian antidote. It just means okay. it just means it just means okay. it's something that we don't understand, and it doesn't mean we have to classify it as Christian. Sure. You feel me on that? So yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I'm sorry. I, so listen. Yes. So listen. So listen. A lot of even I think even Todd. I don't want to put Todd's words. Uh, I don't want to put words in Todd's mouth. But I even think Todd would agree with you on that aspect. We and agree. I, yeah. And we I agree. Think, and I think most Christians. Sorry. Um, I I even think most Christians because listen. Here's here's the context of being a Christian is not being religious. It's being it's having the relationship with God. The, the direct. Here, let me let me take this back to what wait, I was wait, saying earlier. Let me okay. let, let me let sure. me say one thing. That's a thirty second clip. I love this fucking conversation. I really so do. peep game. So what did I say earlier? So what I said earlier is the CIA. If you don't know, 
they helped create counterculture. They were the they were the ones behind LSD. They created yes. the hit. yeah. Okay, so you 100%. know that, right? Yes, absolutely. So, so now there's a new counterculture. So why wouldn't we think that the CIA is behind that? And like I laid out for behind you, behind Christianity. Here's the thing, right? So for the first time mm. in for the first time in over a hundred years, it's been counterculture. Okay, I saw a meme and it perfectly described the modern day, and it said 1980s. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me okay. out. And you're uh, gonna agree with this. You're uh, gonna agree once you once I break it down in a meme form. You're gonna agree with this. 1980s counterculture. It was a guy. He had a jean jacket. It was ripped off. He had an anarchy tattoo with a mohawk, right? Yeah. And some sore hair chick. And then it said 2020s anti system. And it was a guy and a girl, Christian, and all this stuff. And they're having a family now. I do agree, and that's the thing. No propaganda is going to work if there's no element of truth in it. I do agree we should be having more families and not relying a on the state. A nuclear family. I would say an anti-nuclear family. Sometimes those reactors can just Wait. melt down. You know what happened with Fukushima. That was a terrible joke. Oh. Okay, keep it up. So, <coughs> nuclear, nuclear family I know, doesn't I know, mean, I know, mean, I know. It was a, total, know, that I, was a lame yeah, joke. Yeah. Lame joke. So I agree. We, we agree. We agree with you on that. I totally agree. So that's the that's the moment of truth there, right? But then they they complete that with Christianity. So yes, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, want to know the weird thing that ties into all this? Yeah. I I used to be the biggest sports guy. I used to play sports, all the sports. I used to coach sports. You know what I'm saying? I I used to I used to play baseball, basketball, all this shit, right? I used yeah. to coach sports at the boys and girls club. Right, and then I was like, "Yo, sports is a lie. Sports is distraction." And then I went so hard with the revolution that I was like, "At night, sometimes I need to watch sports just to not think about the pedophiles." You know what I'm saying? Like I was talking about Tartaria pedophile. Like I go into a whole wind down so I can sleep mode. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. <clears throat> so that being said, my I, I grew up as a kid worshiping Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> from the Baltimore Orioles. Not not that not the church, not the government, but Cal Ripken Jr. Yeah. <clears throat> I grew up in Maryland and he was the best, man. He never missed the game. He was a hard worker. He was morals. <clears throat> he was a man. And he, I, yeah, the Orioles was my team. I used to stay up late on my fucking AM FM radio and listen to the Orioles game. Wow, oh, that was my G. The Orioles have been my team for I stopped watching sports over 20 years ago because I knew it was attraction, bread and circus, whatever. <clears throat> and then went to go kick it with my grandma. And God love my grandma. If there was a woman like my grandma, both my grandmas still alive, man, we wouldn't be in the mess we are. And if there was men that fucking stopped masturbating and fucking stopped playing video games, stopped watching sports, we wouldn't be in the fucking problem that we're in. Hmm. And uh, where am I going with this? <laughs> so let me ask you this. No, hold on. Let, let, <laughs> let me finish because I know I'm going somewhere awesome with this right now. I don't know. You're talking about your grandma. I know. And it's so beautiful because she's such a beautiful person. What I was saying right before that. You were talking about well, I mean, you really were going in on about um, on Christianity, whether, Christianity, yeah, Christianity counterculture, yeah, yeah. right? Count, counterculture, so the whole yeah. point of all this is, for the longest time, they used Christianity as control with the Vatican and whatever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They didn't use Christianity as control. No, the Vatican didn't control the, the Vatican. Oh, did yes, yeah, the Vatican, yes. and the, and and they used Christianity as control through the Vatican. Yes. Because, but, because, but because, this, but, 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 no, but no, this Christianity is, what, this is, is not this, the Vatican. That's the thing. I know, but what I'm talking it's about not is not Catholicism. Okay, so this is the timeline that that we need to understand. Here's Jesus, here's now, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus, nothing, Constantine, Council of Nicaea, Holy Roman Empire to now, right? Well, Ho and, and yep. there was, there was like a 400 year block there that there was nothing. Yeah, so that, the, the three, first three, let's just say 400 years is nothing, right? Jesus to supposedly, 400 years of nothing, yeah, yeah. and then Constantine, right? Mm -hmm. And then to now. Okay, so let's just say this Constantine to now. This is where we accept Christianity. Where am I going with this, bro? What did you say? Sorry. You were talking about the Vatican. Uh, My grandma, Vatican, Jesus Christ. Like, you were saying that Christianity was 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 the product of of the Vatican, which is yeah, the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, so that's the thing. That's the thing. You you're conflating. You this is where we disagree. Mm -hmm. You think that just because I say Christianity, that means Catholicism and Catholicism is all bad, and we agree on that. So this is the history of Christianity. First, mm -hmm. it was Jesus, according to the mainstream, right? Mm -hmm. We got Jesus. Then there's 400 years. 
right? And then the Holy Roman Empire takes off. Yeah. Remember when I brought up Martin Luther and you said Martin Luther King? No, I'm talking about yeah. Martin Luther, the original Martin Luther. He was one of the first people that strayed away from the Catholic Church. Because for hundreds of years, we just had the Catholic Church. And I think it was like the 1400s. I, I'm, somebody correct me in the thing. But it was for, for hundreds of years before it was anything but the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And then there was like, I think it was King James or one of the other kings that wanted to fucking have divorces and he created the King of England. So, But no matter what, it all starts from Jesus. And then it starts from the Vatican. And then every other product of Christianity... No matter what it is, no matter what flavor, still starts from the Vatican. So you can say that they're not one and the same. No, no, oh, no, no. Don't it shake it. No, brother. no, it no. Doesn't. It does. Stop. Hear me out. This is this is a hundred percent undeniable fact. You got Jesus. You got the Vatican. All other branches of Christianity start after the Vatican. There is no sect of no. It, no, that's that's not true. Give me one example. That How is before. That? Okay. Okay, first of all, you have to ex you have to explain of how that is true because Christianity just means the followers of Christ. Okay, I'm giving you the history. Okay, let me give okay. let me give it Go even ahead. better. Yeah. Let's just say according to mainstream, 0 AD, you have 0 AD, right? And then Jesus lives, right? Yes. And then for a little bit after that there's the Christians that are persecuted by Rome, right? Catho yeah, but Catholicism, I know, I know. Catholicism stop, stop, is a breakaway of Christianity, though. No, I, I agree with you. We agree with that. Okay, so that, that it's, stop, null, it's stop, null and void Stop, stop, right stop. There, Hear though. me out. No, that's not null and void. But you have to understand what you're saying is null and void. Listen, Jesus here existed from 0 to 33 AD. So this yeah. right, my, my finger right here is 33 AD. Yes, I'm following. Right? Mm -hmm. And then after that, there's this period between 33 AD and, let's say, 400, where Christianity is unrecognized, and it's only represented by Christians who don't go under Catholicism, correct? They're just Christians. They're just lone yes. Christians, right? Yes, before okay. Catholic. Okay, so we agree that Jesus, for the <clears throat> sake of this argument, Jesus existed from 0 to 33 AD, mm -hmm. and then from 33 AD to 400, for the sake of this argument, there was no Catholicism, but there was just loosely grouped people that were called Christians, right? Yes. Okay, and so then from 400, it's Catholicism, right? For a while. Okay, so wait, hold on, hold on, said, hold on, hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, but you just said Christianity before Catholicism. Yes, okay. yes. So what we have is, let's just, before we even move forward, we have Jesus, 0 to 33, mm -hmm. and then we have this gray age from 33 to 400, mm -hmm. which is, there are people, there are multiple people that are Christian, but they're not under the banner of Catholicism. We agree on that, right? Yes. And then there's 400, right? Okay. And let's just say the Council of Ni because the Council of Nicene was slightly before then, Constantine was slightly before then, but let's say 400 because it's a nice round number. Sure. And then 400, then the Holy Roman Empire, the mm -hmm. Roman Empire takes over, correct? Yes. Yes. And so when the Roman Empire at 400, roughly, for the sake of this argument, because there's different historical figures that'll put at different parts, but for the sake of this argument, 400 is a great number. Mm -hmm. Some people say 476 is the magic number. Well, let's say 400. So you got Jesus, 0 to 33, then there's a whole bunch of Christians, and then from 400, it all becomes organized under the Roman Empire, right? <clears throat> yes. Yes. And then but they're not Christians. What are they? The Holy Roman Empire. That's who they Where are. Where did the Christians go? The Christians are not Catholics. Great. Okay, but well, hear, me, hear me out before I'm saying before you retort. Okay. So let's just say for, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. That's not the point. I'm. I'm I agree. I. I actually okay. agree with you on I, that. I, I'm, I'm trying not, to understand where you're. Yeah, going I'm not with disagreeing. This. I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, on that. Yeah. So then you got 400, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's a little time here from. Mind you, the Holy Roman Empire is, is, is Catholicism is is a product of the whole uh, of, of paganism. I know. Well. And we 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 brought paganism earlier, so just forget that for okay. the for the thing. And I know you it's got, a blanket statement, but it, it's it you is got what you it got is. you got Jesus from zero to thirty three. Yeah. Then from thirty three to four hundred, mm -hmm. there are people that are Christians, but they're prosecuted. Yes. Right. Yes. Until four hundred, and then around persecuted, persecuted, mm -hmm. and prosecuted. Yeah, yeah. By the Roman Empire, and then <clears throat> around the Council of Nicaea, Constantine, <clears throat> then it's accepted. Mm -hmm. Around four hundred. Mm -hmm. And that's Catholicism the is accepted, not Christianity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, from the mainstream story of history, 
This is Catholicism from 400, right? Yep. Till now. This is now. This is me and you sitting here right now. Yes. Catholicism existed for hundreds of years, right? Um, at least yes, a thousand actually. At least I'm at saying hundred years to be hundreds of years to be conservative. And, and again, we also both disagree on the timeline. So for being conservative, hundreds of years, Catholicism mm-hmm. existed. And like I was saying, offshoots like the Church of England and Martin Luther, mm-hmm. they didn't happen until hundreds of years after. Mm-hmm. So this is the main premise. And try to soak the, I'm going to try to keep this as so, short and sweet as possible. You have Jesus over here. Mm-hmm. This timeline, no evidence, no nothing for happening. His it's lifetime. Then things happen after the fact. People are written down. Then Catholicism happens. Then for hundreds of years, it's Catholicism. And then the people that you say are Christians that are different from Catholicism still are based on the... Hold on, hold on. Are based on the Catholicism for hundreds of... No, no, Will. They're not based on Catholicism. Name one... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. hold on. Because this is... this. I, I can... Hold on. There's not one branch of Christianity that has developed independently of Catholicism. Yes, it has. It has. It's developed. Name one. Christ, followers, followers of Christ is prior to Catholicism. I know that. I just so said that, that. Okay. I just so said that, that. But that, what I'm that saying tells is, you right there. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you're How missing. Did, you're missing the crucial point here. So we agree that from zero to thirty-three, Jesus existed, right? Yes. Then from thirty-three to four hundred, there's this time here. That Christians existed, but they were not existed. They were not accepted by the mainstream Holy Roman Empire, right? Right. Yes. Yes. One step at a time. Yes. So there's a point from 33 to 400 that Christians were not accepted. Yes. Right? And then at 400, the ca- Catholics take over, right? Okay, but the Catholics are not Christians. That's the thing. Okay, but what I'm trying to tell you, I'm not. You, I, you I agree with you. Okay. I and, and I agree with you on that. But what I'm telling you is. And that's another stab at, 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 at Catholics. No, trust me, we're, we're trust trying to keep me, it real. So I agree with you there. And one of the main things I hear from people that are Christian is mm-hmm. Catholic, Catholics have nothing to do with Christianity. And, Correct. And let's just say... And, Correct. That's 100% true. And I agree with you there. And especially if the mainstream story of Christ in the Bible is real, mm-hmm. then yes, I even agree with you more. Mm-hmm. And I can... I can Unlike other people, you might even be a step close right there. Un- unlike other people, <laughs> I can quote biblical scriptures to back up my evidence because I have receipts. So now we agree Jesus mm-hmm. existed because I'm a Christian now. Mm-hmm. Jesus existed from zero to 33. Then, from time, there was a time where Christians were persecuted from 33 to roughly 400, mm-hmm. where there was no organized religion, no organized head. Mm-hmm. But they were persecuted, and then 400 comes around. You got the Council of Nicaea, roughly, and you got Constantine, right? Yeah. And then it becomes adopted by the Catholics, and that's when it went from an unorganized religion of just loosely knit Catholics to, uh, not sorry, not loosely knit Catholic to loosely knit Christians, people that believed in Jesus Christ, to all of a sudden from 33, oh, we saw Jesus, we believe in him for hundreds of years, and then to 400, and then all of a sudden it becomes mainstream. So let me ask you this. Hold on, hold on. Because I have, I've, I've been trying to get this out for a while. So we agree on that, right? So it went from, we both agree that according to the mainstream timeline, in 33, after Jesus died for a long time, until it became mainstream, there was a group of Christians that were being persecuted and fed to lions and all that, right? Yes. Yes, we agree. Yes. Okay, so we can skip to 400. Now it's 400 AD. Now 400 AD, the Christians have been persecuted, and now it's adopted now the the roman empire is now the holy roman empire and now it's not based on roman shit it's based on jesus right in 400 right hold on let's let's go with yes i'm doing a lawyer questions right so we agree from 33 to 400 that there were a loose knit group we of Christians. have to keep in mind that the holy roman empire is completely catholic i agree not christian totally agree okay Totally right. agree. Yes, so I, I will agree with you on that. Okay, yes. so we're up to 400. So 33 to 400, there was people that called themselves Christians be- only yes. because they believed that Jesus Christ was Savior, not because they had a particular denomination. They're not Christian. They're Catholic. They're, they're Holy Roman. 
No, 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 no. Holy, Holy Roman means Catholic. Yeah, but before that, before 400, between 30, Jesus exists, and then there's between 33 and 400, there's a whole bunch of people that believe Jesus exists, and they're called Christians only because they believe in Jesus, not because they have any de- denomination whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And then 400 comes around, right? Mm-hmm. And then it's consolidated by the Council of Nicaea and Constantine, right? Mm-hmm. We agree. Yes. Okay. So 400 comes around. Mm-hmm. And from that period, <laughs> from from four hundred, it's now taken over by the Romans, right? Mm-hmm. So the Roman, so we agree at four hundred that the Roman this Empire. This is four hundred years. Four hundred years after Jesus allegedly lived. Okay, correct. I, yes. So, so the Roman Empire. At 400, we agree. Keep that in mind. I'm, I'm definitely keeping okay. that in mind. So the Roman Empire at 400 AD, mm-hmm. instead of becoming the Roman Empire, becomes the Holy Roman Empire. It's now Catholic, mm-hmm. and we both agree that, and we both and agree it, that Catholics are fucked up, right? Yes, and it tra- so so it transferred from from pagan Roman. I'm not saying empire, that. but that is. Let's just we, say Roman. We, we, Let's not no, no, go no, pagan. No, no, we have to say no, that. No, because we I have we, to say that because Catholicism, the Holy Roman Empire, sure becomes the pagan perversion of Christianity, which is paganism. We okay. have to say that. We have to say okay, that. Okay, good. good. Because, so, be- so if you say that, mm-hmm. I can cut I can cut my argument short right there. So if you say at 400, that cri- hold on, hold on. Okay. Going off your words, sure. 400 is mm-hmm. the point that I think me and you could probably agree on, if we agree on the mainstream story of history, mm-hmm. that 400, it gets cut off, right? Give or take, yes, roughly. Roughly, yes, roughly. Yes, we're we're yes. using 400 as a general term. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So why would you trust that? Why would you trust anything written off that? Wait. After that? Because we're not going off of that. We're not going off of what that. What are we going off of? We're going off of the beginning of Christianity, which in no, fact... No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, wait, stop, wait, 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 stop, stop. Wait, no, 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 stop, You can't stop. answer my question if you don't understand my question. Okay, Here's so, my question. So, 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 Here's my question. Okay. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, Jesus was totally real. Yep. Right? Did all this he amazing was. shit. He was real. Jesus Christ. We got to chill. I get okay. it. I, okay. I, 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 I okay. hear you, brother. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. All right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let's just say Jesus Jesus is real. Yeah. And he existed. He was real. He was, a, he was real. He and was he, real. He is. He is. He is real, he bitch. Is real. <laughs> he existed from 0 to 33 AD. And in 33 AD... He was died after three days. He was resurrected. Yes, he was. Yes. Yes, he was. That's okay. So great. So, okay. So then at 400, we both agree at 400, roughly speaking, we're not using 400 as a precise term, Mm -hmm. but 400, roughly speaking, Uh, the pagan Romans take over. We agree. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, but we're not getting, we're not getting the story directly just from the Romans, bro. We're not getting the, we're not getting it from. We're getting from the witnesses of who had witnessed the resurrection, who had witnessed the life and resurrection of Christ. True. I feel like I feel like I've I feel like I love you, bro. I feel I I feel like here's the thing. Here here here's the thing. I'm still learning just as you are. I don't think I don't think I don't hold on. I don't think you've learned everything that you thought you have. I don't I have I have I ever Can I say that respectfully? Of course you can. Can I say that respectfully? Of course I don't, you can. I don't, I don't mean any disrespect Bro, by saying but, that. But to but, you. but but like I this is the point I made earlier. This, stop, stop. Try to acknowledge this. Try to acknowledge this. I'm acknowledge- whether, okay. whether whether you agree with or not, at least acknowledge my point. You don't have to agree with I it. I am though. No, no, but here's my new but point. But I am. Here's my new point. Mm-hmm. You, I don't have to, you don't have to agree with it, but I want you to acknowledge it. I do acknowledge your point, bro. Okay, here's my point. One point. You don't have to agree. I'm just saying to acknowledge it and to I want So I just presented you with some real heavy evidence that some of the things that you say like Jesus and all this shit and mm-hmm. you're still talking Jesus after all this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love you. Hold on, I bro. You, hold on, hold on, bro. You're saying Jesus definitely existed. When I just told you, bro, and you and 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 and, and look you're a man. Can I tell you no, why? No, he... no, no, no. Because look, 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 look. I know I interrupt a lot. Yeah, I do, do that a lot. You I do. I you're, definitely do. You're notorious do. for it. I am. That's... But I still love you for it. 
But at the end of the day, you need to recognize this. What's you up? need to recognize this. You. <sighs> Fuck. No, just, just, just say it, dude. Like, listen. Okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. I just presented you with good enough evidence, at least bare minimum, even if, even if. Even if everything I said to you was even a little bit crazy. Hold right. on, hold on, Can hold I on. Explain now, I got, why? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I'll let you explain why. But I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Right. But even just off the strength of me being your friend, mm -hmm. regardless if, even if I never did any of the shit I ever did, but just off the strength of being my friend, if I came up here and told you, yo, bro, there's really not a lot of evidence for Jesus and. Let me break it down for you, and I provide pr pr provide a receipt for you, and then you and then people that call and I t I'm telling you, mm -hmm. and you know I never fucking lied to you. Hold on, and you know I never <clears throat> fucking lied to you ever. I'm telling you, I've debated top Christian motherfuckers, right? And then your boy comes in, and I'm making claims, mm -hmm. and I say, give me receipts. Mm -hmm. You can't give me any receipts. Hold on. And you're still claiming to the thing that Jesus exists when at least bare minimum I'm saying, hey, look, bro, as your friend, there's some real reasons. Hey, you question the government, right? Mm -hmm. You question the media, right? Mm -hmm. You question everything else, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm coming here telling you as your friend, let alone all the fucking receipts I have. Fuck the receipts. Can I tell you why? Ho I'm telling you, bro, there's some real reasons why you should question Christianity. Can I and tell Jesus. You? And then when you get the anecdotal shit, I'm telling you, hey, there's no. reason. Okay, so tell me why. Tell me why. First of all, you come you come with a value of, of points. But in the timeline, you're saying that Catholicism has overruled all of Christianity. That's not what I'm saying. Hear me out. Hear me. Let me say, let me say, wait, okay. stop, stop, stop. So, 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 so hold on, hold on. So you, no, because, because we can spend hours wasting time arguing over things that I could have said. No, but you hold said on, in 400 on. years. What I'm saying is this, what I'm saying is this, just so be specific. So you can debate me on what I specifically said. I'm trying to right now. I know. So just so you know, so mm -hmm. we don't waste time arguing over things I didn't say. There's Jesus. Yes. Then there's random Christians. Yes. And then it gets solidified around Christi uh, Catholicism. And then after hundreds of years, all other branches of Christianity branch off of that. Okay. 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 Thank you. So with that in mind, mm -hmm. with that in mind, you that 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 little gap or whatever between 33 AD, uh, between Jesus' time up until the Roman Hol Holy Empire, Catholicism, basically the birth of Catholicism, Christianity was there followers of christ it wasn't a religion it was a it was a relationship with do you know for thousands hold on, hold of on. years hold on hold on no no Brother, this is important you talk you this talked you okay. talked you talked i know i i'll let you i'll let you get your point in write it down if you if you need to i'm good the thing is is here is that uh christianity is not a religion it is a relationship with god and it, and, it, and it what's is, a relationship because you're saying it's a relationship. It's not a relationship. It's, it is no, a relationship. No, it's not. Hold Stop. on. No, let me tell no, you. Hold no, on. Hold on. No, Just no, bear no, with no, me. No, no, no. no, no, no you've been no. talking. You've been talking. You've been, let me, let it's me, not a relationship. Listen, let me get the floor right now. Let's respect each other. I love you. I know your points. I, I Listen, brother. We're I, good. I, I appreciate it. It's yeah, not a relationship, though. It is a relationship. No, because. What, you want to know why? Has, has God ever Here's called how. you back? Here's how. Here is how. I love you, Will. I'm not shouting at you. I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I'm, not yelling. I'm actually I'm, loving I'm, this. I'm, I'm, good. I'm, no, I'm getting keep passionate. Keep going. Keep going. I'm getting passionate because I've been revealed the information. I've been revealed the love. I've been revealed the message. God gave me a son who I did not think that I would ever have. And I, and I know it's anecdotal, but it's real. And I'm not saying that you have to have a son. You have to have a child or all that, whatever. But I'm telling you. And, and God bless any... God bless and be over those who, who who may not be able to bear children. There's a reason for it. Whatever that reason is, you have to search that. I can't tell you that. Will can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. Nobody can tell you that. But God will reveal that to you if you search for it. And I know that in itself is it's like oh, this mystic fucking figure or whatever. Listen. Yeah, he is a mystic figure. We don't understand his wisdom. We never will. We have a finite mind and a finite body and a finite soul. 
Actually, our soul is not finite. Our soul is forever. Facts. He granted us. He he, he granted us that. Yeah. And that. if you said facts, that's because you're acknowledging that. But no. Me, hold on. Hold on, Will, brother. I love you. I love you so much. Here's why. My son revealed to me the God message that I needed to see, hear, feel, and love. What about the people that? What? what? I can't speak for them. I cannot speak for them. God willing that they are revealed. I'm not saying you and speak I'm for them. I'm not shouting. I know. I know. I'm sorry. You're not. I'm sorry Look, if I'm. No, if, you're good, bro. Here's you're the good. thing. Here's the thing. I'm chilling, God, bro. God will reveal to them. God will reveal to them. Bro, God. But, God will reveal to you. Bro, let's let me. Here, hold on, brother. You had the floor. Please let me have the floor. Sure. It's an open discussion. I, I, I know. I know. I know that you want to rebuttal. Listen, We've been bro, talking for 19 hours. Yeah, take your time. We, we're almost on six hours right now, brother. Yo, dude, this is like the longest podcast yeah. that I, that I've had on here. God willing. Um, here's the thing. My, I base it off of my son. I don't know why I base it off of my son, but it's it's revealed so much to me. I watch my son run around in a playground, run around in a park. I saw me and my son, and it made me cry. Not at that moment. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this out, brother. Because the people need to hear it. I'm on I'm a, I'm gonna reveal this. I'm on the couch one day with my son, me and him alone. Right? My son's Logan. God bless him. God be with him forever. He deserves it more than me. <sighs> um I'm on the couch with my son. I'm looking at my son, Will. I got my arm around, I got my arm around him, right? He's two. He's like one and a half, two years old at, at this time. He leans his head on me, on this end, on my heart. He does it. I'm crying in front of him. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. I'm trying to keep it away from him. I'm, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not uh, dressing this up as being, I'm crying. I'm trying to hold it back for him. Why am I crying? Because I see myself in him. What does God see in me? He sees himself in me. He sees himself in you. Wh whatever you believe, whatever you think is or isn't. Granted, there are people out there, yes, there are people out there that may not be able to experience birth. There may there may be people, people that may be not be able to replicate and multiply. We cannot, as a finite being, we cannot demonstrate or articulate or be able to explain the the the, the limited uh, knowledge of what God is, right? I don't know if you believe that. Whether you believe it or not, doesn't mean that it's true. That doesn't mean that it's not true. I don't know what God is in, in its full capacity, in his full capacity. We're here right now having this conversation, trying to break bread. It's out of love because I love you like a brother. You love me like a brother. I know it's genuine. I know it's genuine. We're having this conversation. I know it's genuine because we're talking to these people out here. We're have, here's the thing. Here's how God works, brother. I'm not a scholar on the biblical context. I'm not, I, I, I don't know everything from scripture. I don't know everything from history. You know more, more, you know more, you probably know more about scripture than I do. And I'm dived in it. I'm in it trying to find it. I'm trying to find the deepness of who we are through him, through whatever he sent. If he sent a flesh and bone human being to teach us the way to get out of this, I'm going that way. Hold on. Let me, because I'm in a moment right now. The Holy Henry. Spirit, the Holy Spirit right now, I'm going to, I'm going to say it right now. The Holy Spirit right now is in the room. Whether you feel it or not, the Holy Spirit right now is in the room. It's possessing me right now. I have to get this information out. Please don't interrupt. I, 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 out of respect. What's been revealed to me from, 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 from having birth, from being a week in the hospital with my girl and finding out that I'm that I'm going to have a baby, finding out that he's going to be a boy, finding out that he's going to be a son. And I'm not saying, listen, th this is just my testimony. I'm revealing my goddamn testimony right now. 
God forbid I'm, I'm, I'm using the name in vain. But I'm revealing the testimony right now that I should be revealing in a later episode. But what I'm revealing right now, what I'm revealing right now is the power, the power of what I have been revealed through my son, alone my son. I've had many, many testimonies throughout my life, but my son has been the ultimate thing, the ultimate being, the ultimate energy I'll do anything for him, yet God has sent him through my seed into the flower that has brewed him from that. You understand? I can only say that from my perspective. I understand that. I understand that my perspective is only my perspective, but my perspective is many perspectives out there on the interwebs in the inner worlds from Gaza, from Palestine, from Jerusalem, from Saudi Arabia, from America, from Australia, from Germany, from everywhere across the globe. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be that you have to have a child in order to have that revealed to you. It's been revealed to you in some way or some form. It's been revealed to you, Will, in some form or some way. Now I can't I I I, I can't force you to that light, but I can only say that that has been revealed to you. So why am I saying all this? Why am I passionate about all of this? Because it's real. It's real to me. It's real to many others, just like you and I. It's just that, yeah, there are things in the way of misleading us from swaying us from 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 certain things. There may be people, there may be people in high places that are leading us or or misleading us rather from the way of where we are supposed to be. If you you say this a lot, I say this a lot. In the past, I didn't say this. I always thought that war would be the way to change minds. The real way is through love and truth. If we go about our ways through war and destroy, and destroy each other, we're always going to come back to the same place. And that's if we survive. We are at the brink right now of nuclear annihilation. Why do I say that we are at the brink of, nu of nuclear annihilation? First of all, we're, on, we're our in line of prophecy. We are in line of cosmic prophecy. And we are in line of historical prophecy. Human beings have built things to destroy ourselves. What is that? Ask yourselves out there in the interwebs. What is that? That's not godly. That is satanic. It is demonic. It is evil. It is the opposite of God. It is the separation of God. That is why we are here in today. And that, that is also why we are fighting to find truth, salvation, repentance, now I know those are those are words of like oh repentance and all. If, if, and this is a big if, if we were to align ourselves in the way of Yeshua, Hamashiach, who came here, let's just say that he did that 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 that's that that true is not that that story is not true. The message within that truth, if we align ourselves with that. What are the what are the way is there? War with each other? Well, Kill each Jesus other? Jesus says the, the sword. Do you think so? That's what he says. Defending ourselves. He didn't say defending. Do you really think do you really think cuz it could be a context thing. It could be a context thing. Okay, because, so because hold, the, on, hold, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me finish. Because the majority of what has been written about, I know that Jesus didn't write himself, but the majority of what has been written about Jesus in the canonical Bible and outside of the canonical Bible, because there are there there are texts about him, he is the Prince of Peace. So you don't He is also he Let is, me ask you a question. Uh, so you don't wait. You don't is, question wait. that he existed? You think he definitely existed? I'm I'm he, con I'm convinced that he existed, yes. Even, even, even if with all the questions that I brought up. Yes. Why would we be talking about him over four thousand years later? Oh, Why? Well, Tell me. Well, according to the mainstream story, 
people were worshiping thousands of other gods for many long time. And you know that even right now, Christianity is not the number one religion on the planet. It's still Islam. And they died. They didn't rise. The only one God that did is is Jesus. You're not listening to me. You're, you're not, Islam no, you're, you're is, not, all, is a not, product not, of I'm paganism. Not, that's not. I'm not saying that. Okay. What I'm saying is, you're saying he rose, right? Yes. You're. Uh, it's you're possible. Mis- I'm not saying it's not possible. I I I said I said earlier today. Me- I said earlier today yep. that Jesus Christ may have existed, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, right? You're saying that he rose, like mm. if it's a fact. Like if, like if it's a fact. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because mm. you're not, you're, you've. I feel like you've not listened to anything I've said. I've, I've no, listened to everything. Nah, you, said, you haven't. Yes, you, I you have. You dead ass brother. haven't. And I love you. I have, brother. You have not. You have not. You have not. Tell me why. Tell me why. I'll I tell haven't. you why. Okay. Because if you listen to anything that I said, mm-hmm. you would not be stating as a fact. It's one thing to state as a theory that Jesus rose from the dead, but when I told you. That there's no evidence. Well, I I started this all off. Can, can can we agree that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence? Sure. Right. Sure. We we started with that. We said extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, mm-hmm. and then I laid out for you the lack of evidence of Jesus Christ even existing, let alone creating miracles. We didn't even bring up the fact of miracles. So as a friend, I bring to you the fact that hey, in order to have some truth. Me and you don't even fucking agree with the fucking news tells us right now, today, in 2024. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling you, guy, I'm telling you, shit, if we don't believe the news and the government that's right here, right now, mm-hmm. well, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So especially if we're going back thousands of years and you're telling me to worship a motherfucker as God, hold on. Because you, I, 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 I know, I, I, hear me out on this. Because I, I feel, like, I feel like this is the part that you aren't hearing me out. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. Mm-hmm. We both don't agree on the government and the me- we both agree on the government and the media is lying to us, right? 100%. So then we take it back thousands of years and the same people that have controlled the government media have controlled those people. And I've sit here and I said, "Hey, look. Even if you don't let's not even take one piece of advice. Just off the strength of the fact that I've never ever lied to you and never in the in the public sphere ever try to mislead people ever and i've been in the public sphere for a long time now i have never ever tried to mislead people ever right and i've never brought up anything that i didn't specifically say was my conjecture or theory or belief besides fact right Mm -hmm. and so i'm telling you there are serious questions whether jesus even existed let alone created these miracles and so i start extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof and i tell you there's really not as much evidence as motherfuckers think as your friend. Mm-hmm. And then you're still telling me Jesus existed and Jesus did this. And I know Jesus is real because my son. But guess what, bro? There are people that are that are Buddhist. There are people that live before you and that are going to live a thousand years from now. That are going to see the hold on. That are going to see the beauty in their son. And mm-hmm. look, I haven't had I, I haven't had the blessing to have a son or a daughter. But my little brother, I got a niece and a nephew, and th- I'll fucking kill for those motherfuckers. I'll kill for you. Yeah. I'll kill for my mom. I'll kill for anybody, bro, if you're fucking transgressing against me. But the thing is, what we need to realize is when I'm coming here and I'm telling you, mm-hmm. we've been, we, we agree the, the government and the media have lied to us. And then this information, which we're getting telephone for thousands of years, I'm telling you, Hey, there's some real questions about this. Mm-hmm. It's at least worth the second look. You should at least not say oh, that I, I know Jesus exists for real because I'm sitting here telling you. I because I'm sitting here telling you that there are real questions about that. Absolutely. And let me tell you. Absolutely. Over this, you're not wrong for uh, that. And I'm not wrong for that. And it's almost been like eight, nine hours, and We're going we've had six pe- hours, bro. We've had wow. people call in and all this stuff, mm-hmm. right? And nobody has ever. And you talk about logic. No one's ever been from the comments, the people calling. I'm talking about logic, right? Mm. I'm telling you for a fact, there are real questions. History. We agree on everything. Mm -hmm. History lied to us. Catholicism is crazy. The Vatican's a bunch of pedophiles. The people that write history are a bunch of losers, right? Mm -hmm. 
so why are we believing in Jesus? When I'm telling you, that not only are there real questions to whether he even existed or not, and the whole control frame is to make you think he existed, and we're truthers. Do you think it's, do you think it's a control frame? Do you think so? Yes. Why? Why? Yes. Why? Because the last... What, thing- what is the benefit of me believe, of, of, of anyone believing in Jesus? What is the control frame of that? Multiple. What? Tell me. One multiple is um, they don't. The the main one, the main one, in my opinion, yeah. this is my opinion, mm-hmm. is that we don't do anything ourselves. You are actually doing something, so you don't count for this. But we don't do it ourselves. We wait for Jesus to come and save us, right? And another thing is, mm. uh, that's the main thing because uh, Christians aren't doing shit. Yeah, but okay, so Christians aren't doing shit. Christians aren't doing shit. And as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Ephesians. 5, 8 to 11 says, have take no place in, and I'm a better Christian than every motherfucking Christian than watching this. So take note, motherfucker. Take note. Because Ephesians 5, 8 through 11 says, take no part in acts of darkness, rather work tirelessly to expose them. And that's what I'm doing. You motherfuckers are doing nothing. I'm working tirelessly to expose the... the I would disagree. No, they're not. What are they doing? What, 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 there are name, Christ- name one time. Transge- name one t- okay. We're if, going to the transgender. If we're, if we're going to, yeah, if we're going to talk about that, that, Perfect. that, that is one of them. That is one of the topics. That is one of the topics of, of exposing Perfect. certain things. Perfect. That are, Great that, question. That, hold on. Now, how many hold on, people- hold on, hold on, because you talked. Hold on. Because the fact I'll argue right here is that Christians do some, not all, not all churches, not all uh, temples or whatever uh, go against because they're to- because you know Christianity has become a tolerant uh, ide- uh, belief system, but there are pockets within that belief system that do not tolerate. A I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. That is anti-human. I'll tell you what. You and I. I will tell you what. I will tell you what. I'll okay. tell you what. I'm going to take a pee, but I'll tell you what. If you want to complain about transgenderism and you're talking about, are you against uh, or for? I'm for, I'm for any. You're for. If you want, if you, anything that you want to do over the age of 18 is fine. Now, if you really want to criticize me mm. and you really want to critique what I'm saying, brother, then, I love you, man. I know you. I and I love you too. That's why we're having this discussion, and that's why. And that's why this is an amazing discussion. This is one of the. Honestly, I've done. Like I said, I bragged earlier about some of the dope people. I name dropped about some of the dope people. This has one of been one of the best podcasts because we're flushing it out. Yes. So hear me out. What were we talking about? Trans, well, we're, transgender, we're, we're gonna, right? <laughs> what were we talking about before gonna, transgender? Well, we were talking about Christianity not being... Uh, yeah, okay. Know. So so we can talk about transgenderism mm-hmm. when and only when the number of, of people that have been negatively affected of transgender comes one one thousandth of the number of people that have been negatively affected by under the sphere of Christianity, because the government, how many people a year die from transgenderism? I don't know. How many people die from government? Many. Many. So the even the fact this is this is such a divide and conquer. The but fact. You, hold on, we're gonna. I'm gonna take a pee on this. Okay. The fact that we're even talking about transgenderism is the most stupid, ridiculous, asinine shit. Because no. literally, okay. It's important. It's important that we talk about it. It's not. And I'll tell you, is, what, I'll, tell you I'll tell you exactly why. If you want to talk about facts and statistics, and that's all I'm bringing is receipts. Mm-hmm. I'm bringing receipts, motherfucker. Okay. Not like your other guests. I'm hating on all your other guests. I'm just kidding. That's all right. I'm drunk and I'm caffeine and I haven't slept. I'm hating on you if you don't bring receipts, though. If you don't bring receipts, I'm hating on you. Specifically you. Yeah, you, motherfucker. <laughs> the number one killer of all people is government. The number... Uh, Historically, it may be religion, government, and people are number two. So, okay. if you really want to, if you if if you care about people and you really want to care about changing the world, mm-hmm. transgenderism, how many people? How many? It's, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if if you want to talk about transgender people, great. First, first fix the problems with the government. First, fix the problems with the religion, because they kill by orders of magnitude. Mm-hmm. Even more than heart disease, lung disease. So once you solve government, heart disease, cancer, cancer, lung disease, HIV, 
then please, yes, take care of whatever alleged alleged bigoted problems you guys have with transgenderism. Sure, mm. transgenderism is a big problem. It's oh my god, this guy wants to dress up in a dress. Oh man, that's sure bombing a lot of kids in Yemen. Shut the fuck okay, up. Okay, Shut the okay, fuck up. Okay, There's a so fucking genocide going on in Yemen right now, and you motherfuckers are worried about people dressing up in a fucking outfit. You people are fucking racist. It is, and, it is the big thing. It is behind you're everything else, though. You're it's unchristian. Behind, no, it's not. No, no, no. This it's not a Christian. No, it's not no, a Christian. No, 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 and where are Agree we now? Agree or disagree, this shit has been happening long before Yes, it has, but where are exactly. we now? Where are we now? Where are we now because of it? We're in a better place. No, we're not. No, yes, we're we not, are. Dude. Come on, man. Because as Come you on, brought man. up earlier... Come on, brother. Because as you brought up earlier... What? What did I bring up? You know what's interesting about all these secret societies? Yeah. And all these... They're all pedophiles and they're all... Uh, no. They're all they're all cultists and they're all no 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 anti human no, no. no and they're no. all no nope. anti uh, anti youth and they're also give me your seat also give me your seat what do you mean a receipt Bohemian give me your seat. Grove Bohemian Grove if oh okay okay so 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 Bohemian the world okay, economic stop, forum stop 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 so what you saying Malakians do Luciferians Malachians. there's no such thing as a fucking Malakian yes bro. there is no Look there's it up. not no, research there's not. that research that there's everybody. no such thing as a fucking yes Malachian, it is bro. research it. He, Okay. He Bohemian. may not know about it right now. Will, I love him, but nah. research it. Malachian's real. Okay, so let's say Baal is a said, real deity said, that people pray to. You just said to. all secret societies. Bohemian Grove is one secret society, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Rosicrucians are another secret society, yes? Who? Rosicrucians? Yes. It's another secret society, right? Yes. To say that Rosicrucians and Bohemian Grove people... All the same thing. They're all the same thing. Will, they're all the same. This thing. is the problem. This is why I'm here. <laughs> all the same thing, brother. Bro, this is the thing. This is the thing. They got you, bro. They got you. This is why I'm here. Tell me why they got me. They got you, bro. They got you, bro. I'm sorry, True, but they got you, and I love you. But they got you, bro. They got you thinking that Satanism is everything. Every secret society is the same. Bro, you can't tell me. No, no offense to you, bro. You true. have no, to No, no, no. Stop, okay, stop, stop. True, true, true. No, no, no. No, no. You I'm, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out right now. Go ahead. Call and me it's only out. because I love you. Call me out. I'm, it's only because I love you. Because I'm about to call you out right now. Please do. Call yeah. me right, right back. And that's mm -hmm. because we do this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot equate the Rosicrucians with Skull and Bones. Why? Why? Because you can't tell me two things about the Rosicrucians. How can you relate those two together? They're both secret societies. Okay. But besides that... What do they do? Who know? Even now... Skull and Bones exist. We can go up, and I have personally, and I have personally, and I'm not just some motherfucker that's sitting here talking shit. I went up not once, not twice, but three times. I've went up to Skull and Bones itself, and I've confronted motherfuckers leaving All from right, Skull and Bones. Confronted I've confronted them, but so here's the thing. Rosicrucians, nobody knows if Rosicrucians even exist. There's some people that adhere to the Rosicrucians. So what I'm trying to tell, the whole, the whole seven hours we're talking here, Take, a, take away everything we're talking about, Christianity, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say is, I know I'm saying this to you, but it's really getting lost on you. And it's getting lost in everybody. And it got lost on me, even though I was told a long, many times, mm -hmm. is we cannot take anything for granted. I get no, that, No, you, can, you don't. You don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. And here's why. I know you don't. And here's why I know you don't. Because the fact that you would say, that you lump in the Rosicrucians with the skull and bones? No. No. You need to tell me the difference between the two. They're two different organizations. Okay, they're two different organizations. Okay, I'll give you does, a perfect what example. What does the Rosicrucians do and what does... Okay, so first of all, I'm not a Rosicrucian nor a skull and bones mom, so mm -hmm. I'm not privy to the understanding of them. But right, from but an you, outside perspective... Then you, then you, then you can't pers really stand on that. True, but from an outside perspective, you're not an Episcopalian... Catholic, are no, you? No, I'm not. But you, and you're not a Baptist, are you? No. But you can say that there's differences between Baptist, Episcopalian, and Catholics, right? Yes. Yes. And so I can do the same thing. And so it, it's 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 easy to say that. Yeah, but you need to no. relate. You need to relate the two on how you're on how you're putting. Both would you of those together would you agree? Okay. Would you agree that Catholics and Episcopalians are both forms of Christianity? No. They're not. Well, they're, 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 they're false doctrines. Okay, okay, okay. They're, 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 they're false followers. They're false of what? Of what? So Catholics, 
They're okay, pagans. So let's, okay, Catholics so are let's pagans. Say, let, would, you say, would you say that Baptists and Episcopalians are both followers of Christianity? No. no. Okay. No, give me two. Give, okay. Would you, Christian, if you, are, if you are a Christian, technically you are a follower of Christ. Okay. Point blank. So are you saying that anybody that is a particular denomination is no. automatically non Christian? You're not Christian. Okay. You're not. You have to be a follower of Christ. Okay. So and that would doesn't. You, okay. That, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are Baptists that are followers of Christ. And yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, okay. It's not real. Okay. So they're. Okay. Because, because there's no religion that revolves around Christ. That is that is the that is the the, the misconception. There is Christ did not. I never preach. said that. I know you didn't. But but for your for the audience, there's no the, uh, Christ did not preach a denomination. He did not preach Christianity. Agreed. Yeah, we never disagreed on that. He was yeah. a Jew. He was a Jew. He was a Jewish. Uh, Watch it, buddy. What? He was. He was a Jew. <laughs> That's real. Is it? You know, I mean, ba ba based on the demographics, he he would be considered a Jew. Um, Christ, he did and not this preach Christian. My whole shit, bro. What, what means to be Christian? To be a Christian is to be a follower of Christ. So, so which, you're by the way, me hold on. Which, by the way, is not a it's not a religion. It's 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 to be it's a relationship with God. You believe in the truth. Yes. You you you're looking for the truth. On hundred percent. And believe me, it's very distorted. I agree. And you, you agree. Uh, we've already agreed that you respect me as someone that is also looking for the truth. Correct? Yes. Yes. 100%. And I'm presenting you with information. Even if I don't have any receipts, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying, Hey, take a step back and say, Hey, there's a different way of thinking of things. Right. Yeah. But instead of instead of saying, "Hey, Will, you know, I may have to take a look back, like the other things you writ, wrote down earlier." Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because this is the whole shit we're talking about right here. Okay. Instead of writing things down, you're saying, "No, Jesus existed, Satan existed," and I'm telling you, bro, as somebody that has done my due diligence and is coming here to the podcast, because we've been talking behind the scenes for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling the reason I'm here is I'm telling you, bro, that I have evidence and I have receipts. And even if I didn't, I'm telling you, bro, I'm giving you information and I respect as of who I am mm -hmm. as a prior person to your life, knowing that I never said no bullshit ever. Mm -hmm. And I never been a fucked up person to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, there's a reason to question this. Okay. And you're still and you're still saying. I definitely believe in Jesus. And, and there's, this things and that, that, there's things that have been revealed to me. And when I'm telling, and when you said there's things that have been revealed for your son, right? Yeah. Mo and when mostly, I'm telling, mostly and when, through my son, I but not just through my son, through, through, through the travels of my life, my son being the, the, the culmination. Yes. But when I'm, and what I retorted to you earlier is there have been people and you agree with me mm -hmm. that there are people to this day, that are outside Christianity that would consider themselves non-denominational or Christian or Buddhist or outside of this shit that mm -hmm. have miracles and thought that they couldn't even have a kid and have a kid, right? Yeah. And all and we've agreed that happens now. It's probably gonna happen to the foreseeable future, and it's happened in the past, and it's outside the scope of Christianity. Plus, plus the fact that I'm telling you, bro, I'm sitting here, bro. I'm an OG that's done this work for a long time, and I'm mm -hmm. telling you, bro, there's at least questions. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you to believe me. I'm just telling you to keep an open mind, right? Mm -hmm. And then I say, and you say, well, I have the antidotal evidence. Bro, I've been studying this for 20 years, and people come up with antidotal evidence all the time. And yes, there are definitely a thousand and million things that we can't explain, but that doesn't mean it's Christian. It doesn't mean it's Muslim. It doesn't mm. mean it's Buddhist. That's true. It doesn't mean it's Judas. That's true. Ju Ju it, 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 just because, just because... We don't understand it, right? For a long time, let's just say, and I'm not saying I believe in this, gravity. We didn't mm. understand gravity. But we all still of a sudden, don't. We don't We still understand, don't. And I'm using it for an example because yeah. I'm not even saying I believe in gravity. I'm just saying it as an example, right? Mm -hmm. But for a long time, we didn't know. And I'm not saying I believe in that. It's just an example, right? Mm -hmm. But now we know, right? Now we know. 
And so that's what I'm just saying is, but that's and, the, and that's the whole thing about fake Mike Real News. If anybody takes anything from the 17 hour podcast, <laughs> is we're trying to be nonviolent. We're yeah. not trying to kill anybody. We're not trying to do anything. Self defense. Yeah, you come for us. We're, we're gonna fucking blow your fucking head off. Mm -hmm. But the Socratic method. We're gonna ask questions. Yeah, Jesus may have existed. Yeah, Buddha, Muhammad, they may have existed. But you know what? At the end of the day, where this is the truth movement. Mm -hmm. And we need evidence. And we need truth. Whether it's a fucking meme about a quote from Henry Kissinger or even way more importantly, the mm -hmm. fact that Jesus Christ existed. And a step further that we should worship him. And when I'm coming here telling you, bro... That after all these podcasts and I'm hearing all these Christian people and all these other things, I'm telling you, bro, Jordan Maxwell, one of the reasons that we're fucking here mm -hmm. is because Jordan Maxwell, bro, mm -hmm. we need to, I'm not saying Jesus didn't exist. And like I'm saying, Jesus not only may have existed, bro, the, like I said earlier, there is something to the Bible. But, but that's the thing. But, you keep, but, but, you keep but, going back and forth but, that no, whether but, but he didn't you need exist to or did is, exist. The thing is, all these Christians say he does exist, right? Yeah. And so when you tell me something, mm -hmm. right? When you say, yo, I just seen a leprechaun under this bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, you told me something. Now the burden of proof is on you. It's on you. Yeah. I didn't make that claim. You made that claim. But if, but, hold on, hold but on, if hold I on. told you that, hold on, hold on, hold if on. I told you that, would you question that? Of course. If you said a leprechaun was under a bridge, honestly, and I love you. But if I told you, if I told you in full detail, like, look, this is what I saw. I, 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 I how I, would you take that? And I and let me tell and made another quote. This started 17 hours ago. Sure. When I said quote, I don't agree with him, but sometimes it'd be a good good quote. Now, Ronald Reagan was a lying, racist, fascist, crack selling piece of shit. <laughs> but this quote is good. Mm -hmm. He said, trust but verify. Now mm -hmm. If you told me, yo, Will, we got to get out this room right now, I'm following you. I'll ask the questions later. Mm -hmm. But if you said what you just said, I'm going to need some receipts for that. And Ronald Reagan said, trust, but verify. Yeah. I will verify that shit. If you said there's leprechauns, I'd be like, all right, cool. That sounds cool. And you're my boy? Because if you weren't my boy, if you were just a random motherfucker at 7-Eleven, yo, I seen some leprechaun. I'm just going to keep moving. But mm -hmm. since you're my boy, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to be like, all right, cool. Let's go check this motherfucker out. And I'm going to dedicate myself. I'm going to find fucking equipment and instruments to try to figure this out. I'm going to go look. I'm going to go with you because you're my boy. I'm going to go looking for these motherfuckers just because I believe you and I trust you. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean at the end of the day, until I see proof, I'm still not going to believe it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when I come to you, a leprechaun, for the sake of argument, I know you it's gonna you're gonna make a you're gonna make a bat you're gonna make a twisted face right now. I'm gonna predict it. But a leprechaun mm -hmm. is the same as Jesus Christ. Didn't happen yet. Because I don't think so. Because yes, it is. And and I'll I'll explain why. Extraordinary proof ex requires extraordinary evidence. So if you come here, even though you're my boy, and I trust you, bro. Yeah. And I trust you. I literally trust you with my life, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I, I believe you. But if you told me there's a motherfucking leprechaun under the bridge over here, I'd be like, all right, cool. Like I said, if you're just a What if I can't what if I can't physically show you the evidence? That's cool. But let's just say But it happened. That's fine. And you can tell me if you say it's fine, but what, what is your answer to that? Let's just say, let's just say hypothetically. Like, dude, is, like, Will, I, I, I just saw a fucking leprechaun, leprechaun under the bridge. He's not there anymore. But I'm I'll, telling you that 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 it I happened. will tell you this the same exact thing, right? Okay. So, our mind, we both agree, our mind is extremely powerful, right? Yes. Yep. And we <clears throat> both agree that our mind operates based on frames and patterns that has been given to us by the people that raised us through all the systems I talk about, the media, the government, and the educational system, right? Yes. So everything we thought has at least been trained by the people we taught growing up in school and history and all that, right? Yes. So when you think about these things like leprechauns and all this other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say for a fact, you just saw a leprechaun under the bridge, right? Mm -hmm. Or what you at least at least you saw something and you believed it to be a leprechaun. And and a thousand percent 
you saw something. So what I would say, and God's honest truth, I'd be like, all right, cool. Let's go check it out. And let's just say I explored for 10 years and I had no other evidence besides the fact that you swore to God and you really believed it. And let's say for the sake of argument, I believed you, right? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, cool. It could have been a leprechaun or Joe Rogan talks about this. <laughs> Many other people talk about this, right? Mm. Everything that we see in the world is based upon the frame that we've been given to us, right? Sure. So sure. let's say that leprechaun was really a different spiritual entity or a demon or Jesus. But because you were gr growing up in Ireland, you were trained to see as a leprechaun. So that's how you saw it. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't discredit. You could have actually saw a fucking leprechaun in your mind. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's what is really there. And let's just say, for example, there was an entity there. And you saw it as a leprechaun. And we, I didn't see any evidence, but there was a leprechaun to your eyes, right? And I said, Jesus, leprechaun, whatever. Yeah. And let's just say, I agree with you. Hey, you look, motherfucker, true. I trust you, bro. You know what? You give receipts for everything else. I trust you. You've been my friend. There's one thing I really don't have any evidence for, but you're saying you believe it, and I trust everything else you say. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take your word for this. And now I may not believe it was a leprechaun, but I would believe that something happened to you. Mm. Okay. And now that leprechaun may just be because you were growing in Ireland, but that leprechaun could be something else. It doesn't have to be Christianity. So, so what, if could, that is, what if that is the, the depiction of Jesus? It could be. It could be. How does that how does that make it any less valid? It doesn't. But what I'm trying to say to you is over the last however many thousand years we've been living, mm. is the only thing we've been seeing up until modern time when science is the new God, the only thing we've been seeing up until then time mm -hmm. is that Jesus and God and all that and Christianity mm. and Judaism and Muslim. All based on the same one God. That's all we've been saying. That was a control. And now the new control is government and science. Yeah. But for the longest time, they thought they controlled us with that. Yeah. And so if they control every way we thought and think, right, who's to say how we would think without that, right? Mm -hmm. Who's to say we'd see a leprechaun? Maybe we'd see a reptilian. Maybe we'd see a fucking bird. Maybe we'd see a spiritual entity. Mm -hmm. when I'm, and that's what goes to what I was saying to you about your son, right? Mm -hmm. I agree with you, bro. There's, there's literally nothing more beautiful in the world than a healthy baby boy. And, and I don't mean that from a pedophilic thing. It's like, what is more cool than that? Mm -hmm. It's like, you're a fucking man. You got a cool beard and you get to, you get to raise another son, bro. Mm -hmm. An, another male. I'm envious of that, bro. Mm -hmm. Not going to lie. I'm a hundred percent envious of that. But there are Buddhist people that do that. Mm -hmm. There are people that believed in Mithra. There are people that believe in Krishna. There are Satanists. There are all the people. But what do we have in common? The, the Muslim people that are out there, they only believe in Muslim in Saudi Arabia because, if, first of all, they've never been experienced or anything else. And if you believe in anything else, you'd be stoned to death. It's not because these people want to believe in Christianity or Muslim or anything. It, we're all people, bro. Mm -hmm. We all love our sons. We all love our daughters. We always have. It doesn't make a difference, Jesus or not, bro. Like, the thing is, like, that's a miracle. Jesus mm -hmm. or not, your son is a motherfucking miracle. And he's the reason <laughs> that I'm going to sleep well at night, bro, because you're because the true revolution is raising a good family, bro. Yes, 100%. And so your son is the second coming. <laughs> maybe not of Jesus Christ, but in a way your son is the second coming because you're teaching him, maybe not the sword, but you're teaching him the true ideals and morals and you're giving him the blueprint to operate in the new world in the age of Aquarius to fucking change the fucking world. And so there's mysterious shit that we can't figure out. There's Bigfoot, there's UFOs, there's all the shit. Doesn't mean it's Christian. Doesn't mean it's Buddhist. Doesn't, and it could be. And it could be. It could all be Christian. Mm -hmm. But for us to take the leap and say that, means we haven't done our homework. And it goes back to sharing a picture of fucking Henry Kissinger with a fake quote. If we share one fake thing, if we make one say, oh, I know for a fact Jesus exists. Oh, I know for a fact Henry Kissinger made this quote. No, we don't. We need to go into this with an open and skeptical mind.
Because the minute we start making assertions is the minute we play God. Mm. We know better than other people. No, you fucking don't. We're all here. We just got fucking thrown here. We don't know what the fuck is going on. We're all searching for answers just like anybody else. And anybody that tells you have the answers is a motherfucking goddamn liar. Anybody that says they have the answers and they have it all figured out is a liar. And never, ever, ever believe them. Ever. We're all here and we're all trying to figure things out. What's interesting is that Christianity says that. They say... If Buddhism any, says if, that. If anyone, and let me, if and, anyone and, believes that they have all pee. the answers, that a, they are a liar. True. And Buddhism says that too. Mm-hmm. And, and the thing is, I'm going to take a pee, but, but Buddha, hold on, hold on, Buddhism hold on. also acknowledges Jesus. No, it, it doesn't. Does. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't because yeah, there's look no... Deep, look deeper. No, I, no, because the thing is, there's no official writings of Buddhism. There's only rhythms, writings that have been attributed to Buddhism. And so here's the thing is... But the Dalai Lama... The Dalai Lama who is, who, who, no, who, no, 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 that's, that's, no, that's well, something different. On the mainstream tends to be the representative of Buddhism. No, 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 no. See what you're doing, what you're doing right there now. I'm just, it, I'm, I'm, I, I know what you're just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I know what you're just saying, but I'm giving you the exact equivalent. You ever heard of the Westboro Baptist Church? Oh, yeah. Of yeah. Course, so of course. what you're saying is I mentioned on here the, on the podcast. Exactly. So the, you're, what you're basically saying is yeah, the Dalai Lama, Christianity, the it, Dalai Lama, because you know how there's many different versions of Christianity. Yeah, yeah. You're, there's many Listen, diff- there's many vers- different versions of Buddhism. Sure. Okay. While I'm taking a pee, I want you to sure. I want you to count up the number of people dead to Buddhism. Versus, dead. I I'm gonna take a pee. I want you to count up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Sure. <laughs> the sure. number of people dead to you said Christianity is the best, right? Count up the number. I didn't say that. Okay. Well, I said either the way, teaching... either way, I got a question for you. Okay. I want you to count up the number of dead people due to Buddhist wars. Due to Christian wars. Count that up. And versus Islam? No one said anything about Islam. No, because Islam, no, 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 Islam, no, Islam is all the, rank, all the way ranked up. Islam, Judaism, and hold on. Islam, Judaism, Christianity, they all worship the same God. Buddhism does no, not. They do not. No, yes, they, they do not. No, they do yes, not. No, they do. No, yes, they do. No, they do not. Yes, they do. Look at look at the Hadith. Look at look look at the Quran. Quran. Bro, you're they still clinging not. to this. You're, no, still clinging to this. you're still clinging. I'm not clinging. You're still clinging to the Christian I'm not, shit. No, I'm not, brother. Yes, you are. Brother, listen. I'm I gotta not. take a pee really, really. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, take your pee. But I'm not clinging. I'm not clinging to the Christian thing. It's 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 the simple fact that Islam has a different aspect of God. They do, but they, it's still the same person. They it's not. Like, it's not. It's not because they don't, they, they don't believe. They don't believe in the same the Bible of Jews. They, they, they think the that same. they can kill Jews and Christians and the non-believers. How is that? Christians oh don't God. believe on killing the non-believers yeah. or Islam or Jews. They don't believe that. But they believe in the slavery. No, they don't. But it's in the Bible. No, they don't. They don't. They don't believe in the same. Enslavement is not. It's not the way of God. It's not the way of Jesus. <sighs> what an intense po- uh, podcast this is tonight. We're at six fucking hours. Part of my language, everybody out there. My goodness. I'm just going to look at the comments right here. Um, Dalai Lama represents Tibetan Buddhism. Yep. That is also true. And from my understanding also out there on the interwebs, uh, on YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, is that, oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Rumble... uh, Iron Metal, Mitsosu. Yeah, the letter J did not exist back then. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're going to say that, the letter, the word Jesus didn't exist. Yeshua, Yehoshua was was his actual name. And then uh, in Greek, it got replaced with J uh, as being as being Jesus. And, you know, you there's a debatable argument where where it says that J, uh, that Jesus means Jesus as 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 meaning hail Zeus, but that's all. Uh, that's all speculation. Also, we're at hey, hey, listen, we're at six we hours. Kick it. We gotta kick it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we we gotta end this at some point right now. Um, but 
uh, let people know where they can find you and we can continue the discussion and donate to you and find you all on all the platforms. I'm FakeMikeRealNews.com. YouTube Fake Mike Real News. Help me get to 20,000. Fake Mike Real News, MIC on all platforms. Come check me out. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. But more importantly, uh, share this video. Uh, share this sure, with sure, everybody sure. that you know. Because honestly, um, me and True are probably not going to come to an understanding today. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't make any difference because the more important thing is we brought up the questions. Yes. And that's what we need to do. The truth movement should be about the truth. And we just go upon repeating the same shit as the mainstream news does. And that doesn't make us any better than them. That makes us just as bad as them. So mm. what we need to do is we need to really look at what we believe and what we know and make sure if you fucking sharing some information, it's some real deal verified shit. I want to thank True for having me. And uh, I really appreciate the shit out of you, motherfuckers. Yeah, I, I, listen, I appreciate you, Will, for coming on here. FakeMikeRealNews.com. Make sure you like, share, subscribe on FakeMikeRealNews.com. Also, like, share, subscribe on the True Perspective, the TRU Perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. The True TRU Perspective, the TRU Perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. And also, we take uh, this channel takes donations on <laughs> Money Sign. True, true TRU Norseman, Norseman Crafts. Crafts. Dollar sign true, yeah. TRU Norseman N O R S E M E N Crafts. That's pay. That's uh, cash, cash app. app. Yep. Dollar sign true Norseman Crafts. True Norsemen. TRU Crafts. Norseman, TRU Norseman Crafts. Norseman Crafts. Yep. Send a donation and uh, help us continue, man. We're not getting makeup or financed by. Fox News or CNN or any of those warmongering people that cover up for Jeffrey Epstein and lie about weapons of mass destruction. So support support some real shit. Yeah, it's all viewer funded, and I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I appreciate the followers of uh, of Will Turbot, Fake Mike Real News coming over on the YouTube side, and also there's there's been a bunch of people that came over on the Rumble side, and I appreciate y'all. And on the Facebook side, Melissa, I see you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see on the Rumble side, Mitz Mitz. Mitso, Mitsohu. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Iron Iron Man Metal. GTN. That's my boy, Iron Man. That's my boy. Iron Man. GT, GTN 8K82. I, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, I think there's so many in the YouTube. Uh, Free Press. That's Fort my boy. Worth, yep, that's my boy. Out of Hell. Yep. Uh, Nitro. Oh, make sure you guys all it? subscribe. Ni Nitrum Case. Make sure you guys Nitro all subs subscribe to my boy right here. True. Luca Ma Man Mano. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing every everybody's name, but listen, I appreciate y'all. Subscribe to my boy. Like Will said, we may not have come to a full understanding, but this is what this podcast is about. To come to the like the comment, the you know, uh, approaching the, you know, uh. Uh, we just gotta have the yeah, discussion. Yeah, we, we just have to have the in discussion. In the first place, the, the, all the discussions are moderated, like I said earlier, by the people that control history: Harvard, MIT, Jeffrey yeah. Epstein, people. Yeah. The, all the people that control history and run shit. It's our job to not just take the word of the people that are the so-called fucking experts, and we have our own conversations, yes. and we we decide what's best for our future. And that might be a radical thought, but I think auto determination, self determination, and mm. just having a discussion about what really is going on in the world is probably a good thing because the Bilderberg group like we talked about for a long time they like to have discussions in private so we might as well have some motherfucking discussions ourselves to see what's going on and how we should best advance so yes. I really appreciate this time true yes and I just want to say one last closing uh, 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 thing here is that little does Will know and I love him but little does he know that he might actually be performing the word of God in his own way I am y you are I am. I do think that you are. Ephesians I, I, 5, 8 to 11. I, according to the if, Bible. Okay. So, according to the okay, Bible, okay, I'm doing so a better you, job than the Christians. All right. Well, I mean, see, there you go. So if you Christians are out there and you really want to hate me, good. Then then get in front of me. Start good. doing more shit than good. I do. Because Ephesians 5, 11, 5, 8 to 11 says... Take no act in parts. Uh, take no part in acts of darkness. Rather, work tirelessly to expose them. And I spent twenty plus years doing that. And uh, it's great to start saying, "Oh, Jesus said this. Jesus said that." Okay, we'll get. We'll actually do something about it.
Yeah. Actually, do, it's great to sit here and Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, and you know, Jesus, great motherfucker, do something about it. Jesus was even flipping the tables. According to y'all, he was flipping the tables on the modern day Federal Reserve. Yeah, what so have well. you done? Have you went to the Federal Reserve? Have you done anything? Or are you just sitting comfy and saying, oh, look at me. I'm cool. Look at me. Everybody look at me. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, oh look, I'm good. the leader. I'm the leader. Jesus. Oh, Jesus is weird. No, shut the fuck up, bitch. We got real fucking problems right now, bro. Mm, and mm. y'all over here, Jesusing. Jesus was over here flipping the tables at the Federal Reserve, the money changers. What have you doing? Have you even been to the Federal Reserve? Have you mm. said one fucking thing about the Federal Reserve? No, you haven't. Jesus said, give every, everything you own and live with the poor. Have you done that? No, or are you living comfortable with Wi-Fi and a hot shower? Ask yourself that question, Christians. You know, you're actually saying what John the Baptist would do or Paul would do. Right there. Right there. And, and guess what? All right these there. modern exactly. And all these modern day Christians, and I'm sitting here showing for a fact there's no evidence for a modern day Jesus. And extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And I'm giving you Jesus' information through what you guys say is Jesus. And at the end of the day, even though you follow Jesus before me. I'm telling you the same shit that Jesus says, and you motherfuckers still won't do it. And I'm out here actually doing it. How does it feel to sit on the sidelines? Because I'm out here doing shit. You Christians are out here, oh, Jesus, praise Jesus. Bitch, I'm doing this. I'm doing what Jesus would have done. And you're sitting out here doing nothing. You're doing n absolutely fucking nothing. That's why I can say, that's why I got receipts for shit that I can say. Because I'm out here doing shit. All you Christians, all you Muslims, right? So you guys can sit here and preach all the fucking shit you want, but you're not doing shit. Jesus did shit. The Bible did shit. And you're out here preaching Jesus, not doing shit. So fuck y'all. Fuck all y'all. Fuck Luke Rukowski. Fuck Alex Jones. Fuck Elon Musk. Fuck all you fucking fake Christians. All you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't doing shit. Drew's out here like doing a, shit. This sounds like a hit em up This sounds song. like a... <laughs> Mob Deep, Chino XL. <laughs> Don't you want to get sick of oh dead, dead ass facts? I'm out here. My I'm not. Goodness. I'm not the cute motherfucker out here in this truth revolution. I'm out here to tell you motherfuckers the facts, bro. So, like I said, everyone that's been following this channel, it's it's a channel. I just destroyed it's, it. Sorry. It's, no, no, it's a channel about passion. Obviously, will fake my real news full of passion. So am I true? The true perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. Listen, we got to do another part two part to this because this is six and a half hours. This is history in the true perspective right now. This is the longest podcast like that the bitch. true perspective has and we has, didn't even bring endured. up and we didn't bring up transgender people. You, we, we didn't we, we, barely. Yeah, barely. We barely. We barely did. We got to get there. And the part two. Stay and I tuned. I love my transgender Stay people. Tuned. I love you. Stay tuned. The True Perspective. I Spotify, love everybody. Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, Rumble. Make sure that you go to Will Turbot, fakemikerealnews.com, and make sure that, once again, the TRU Perspective, the Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. Like, share, subscribe. Go to Spotify. Go to Rumble. Those are the main channels of The True Perspective. Like, the, like share, subscribe on the page on, on Facebook. Listen, uh, DM... Talk about saying what topics that we want to bring up, but we're going to have Fake Mike Real News. We'll turn it back on here Whether because we're, like at, it or not, we're at six hours. The next one, we're probably going to do another six hours and, and go on the... This is how it goes. Brother, first and foremost, I appreciate you for coming on and spending time with me. Yeah, man. And, and, and going back well and forth. Well-deserved. I appreciate that the fact that you endured six and a half... We're at six and a half hours almost right now. I appreciate that you came on here. Clocking in, bro. Clocking in. Yo, this is like... This is... We're doing work here. Um, we may not have agreed on everything. We don't have to. That's we the don't have point. to. That's, that is the point. That one hundred percent of it is the point, and that is the point of this podcast. Because if we did, then there would be we whack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because then we wouldn't be awake. We wouldn't be searching for the truth. Exactly, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. There are things that you brought up that I, I, I myself have to do some research on, and but I do think that there are some things that you may have to do some soul searching on. Right, we're gonna talk about that off. Let's hurry up we and can. end this. We, shit yeah, yeah, we yeah. Chat. We can. So I. So once again, we appreciate y'all. Once again, fake Mike yeah. Real News dot com. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and follow on that page. And the true perspective, the TRU perspective on Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio, YouTube, and Rumble. And uh, you can donate to this channel at Money Sign Cash App Money Sign TRU 
Norseman Crafts. TRU Norseman Crafts. Money sign in the beginning of that. TRU Norseman Crafts. And, you know, anything helps. It's viewer funded. Uh, and I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Will, I appreciate you for coming on. Good once shit, again. man. This is great I love you, brother. Stream. And uh, everybody else, I appreciate y'all. Make sure that you have a good night. Be safe out there. Thank you for tuning in to The True Perspective. Thank you. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is the same. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. Any of us can be wrong to free. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is a struggle for the survival. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth. And this will be our last chance to say. Try to free your mind. It is this feeling of destruction. At last. No judge in U.S. history has ever told somebody what they can and can't say. The whole purpose of the First Amendment is to keep the government of the hell out of the business of speech. Any of us can be wrong. I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through. Civilization is weird. Civilization is weird.